Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Lee. Hi, Vital. Hello, Martian. Hi, Ryu. Hi, Easton. How are you guys all doing? I hope your day is doing fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Where What's the social media sells out? Okay, um, before I go live, here is the tweet. Go ahead and like and retweet that, guys. And uh, actually, this is one of the rare days where my Instagram posting falls on the same day that uh, I'm actually streaming. So if you do me a favor and go ahead and like that piece as well, I would appreciate it very, very, very much. <laughs> and I think I am all set. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. What, Hasten? What? I gotta, I gotta take advantage of my, uh, my community, okay? Gotta get those social media gains up. Because my social media gains, you know, they're not super good. <laughs> All the social medias. Dude, oh my god, Beastie. Uh, sit back actually did that last night. He, he literally, um, I think actually we're, we're all good. So let's go ahead. We'll go live. Hello. Sitback actually went through and liked every single one of my IG posts. I was like, holy shit, Sitback. <laughs> um, very, very impressed with the fact that he, he, he seriously went to like the ages of time. Hi, Zeus. Hi, Siege. Zeus, don't, don't be sad. You know you like it. You know you like it. I actually forgot to adjust this camp. Uh, or this mic. Eh? Eh? <gasps> Some. Oh my gosh, Sam! Sam, thank you so much for the sub! How are you doing? Welcome to the Ho Fam, Samarium! I think you know all the perks. I'm not gonna go over them with you, but thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, actually, for those of you guys who don't know, um, one of the perks that you get uh, as a sub here is a high-res illustration of any work that I created for the month of uh, for the month that you're currently a sub. So actually, we already have a piece ready because it is anyone who is a sub in October is going to get like a fuck ton of work uh, because Inktober is like the one month where I do a lot of work. Um, so ow. So we already have we already have this piece ready to go for uh, all sub, sub, uh, subs for October. Subs for October, there we go. That's that's the word that I'm looking for, right? Oh man, the lighting is no bueno, guys. Let's turn that up a bit. Yeah, I like, oh, I thank you, Sam, thank you. How are you doing? Hello, Tom Chi, how are you? Happy, uh, what is today? Wednesday, happy Wednesday. I have no relevance of time right now. Since... Conch of Ohio, Conch of Ohio. <laughs> Zeus, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. Um, if we end up hitting the sub goal for today, guys, I'm not gonna do the wheel spin today. I'm gonna go ahead and just carry it over till tomorrow. So if we end up hitting 20 or something tomorrow, then we'll just do two two wheel spins instead. Like I don't really like to interrupt uh body jam with the goal things. So um we're just gonna kinda keep it rolling. Although I need I do need to change that. But just just letting you guys know if we hit that sub goal, we'll do it tomorrow instead. Hello Morbid, Morbid, you're late. You're late. What is your excuse? Huh? Huh? <laughs> How are you, Morbid? Um, oh also I finished uh uh maybe I'll wait for tomorrow to show this. I don't know. I don't know, I'm kinda torn. Um well, I'll just show you guys anyways. I don't care. I like showing you guys my art. Uh, this particular piece is for this week's weekly prompt. If you guys are participating in my weekly prompt uh, for Inktober, um, you can post everything in Panda Ink. But this piece right here is uh, for this week's prompt. Um, and this piece will be a Patreon exclusive. Um, so you won't be able to get the illustration of this piece unless you're a Patreon, but uh, only because I have to censor it, and um, and the and the Twitch sub ones are uh, have to be ones that I can't, I can't censor. So that's that's mostly the reason behind that. But I actually really really like this piece. Um, I I think it came out really well, so I'm I'm pretty happy with it. You are having dinner. That's so not allowed, Morbid. I mean, you should be having dinner in like ten seconds flat, and that's it. You know, that's that's how fast James eats his his food. 
Like you need to take up for you need to take up for senpai more bit and you know go at it. Eat the foods. <laughs> I actually came up with kind of a cool idea for next week already so that I might be doing for Inktober. Um, maybe, I don't know if I'll have it ready in time for tomorrow. Maybe I'll start digitally sketching it tomorrow or something after we show up every, show off everyone's pieces. Um, but next week's prompt is Feather. Um, and I think for Tranquil, which is day two, I'm actually going to redo... A prompt that I did last year and make it bigger because I actually it's it's been one of my favorite pieces even to this day it's just that um it's on craft paper so I've never really been able to make it into a true print uh so I think I'm gonna redo it um and maybe maybe play with some uh some of the ways as it's done what's behind the post-it note I don't know oh actually you do know where it you do <laughs> Hi, Love Nightly. Hello, DK. Not going to be drawing. Mentally fatigued. Oh, DK, take a rest. Take a rest. Hi, Punto. How are you? Hi, Martian. No, mental fatigue. Mental fatigue is a real thing. It is a very, very real thing. Oh, I'm full. I had half of my coffee already, and this is like a giant thing of coffee. So I'm actually kind of done with it. Uh, I'm probably just gonna switch to water at some point. Hello, different times. Is it a smiley face? Yes. Big. It's a post-it note behind the post-it note. <gasps> Burrito. How did you know? How did you know? Why did? Why you had to call that man a bitch? Who? Which guy? Who they call a bitch? I call a lot of people bitches. But who? Who was? Who in the specific are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Punto. That's his name. <laughs> Wait, isn't bitch a different, uh, a different pronunciation? It's like close, isn't it? But it's a different pronunciation. You've been spotted. You have been spotted. You have been. How are you doing different? Did you, uh... Did you, um, did your headache go away? Uh, hello, Shabua, Bula, Shabula, right? I said punto, not, I actually don't know how to pronounce it. It's like puto, right, or something? I forget. That's how all bobs are? Are all bobs post-it notes under post-it notes under post-it notes? <laughs> post-it notes under post-it notes under post-it notes? Did I like your balsetta? Um, did you post it in the art channel? I haven't really looked in the art channel in a, in a hot minute. Um, punto. Or is it in the ink channel? If it's in the ink channel, I have, I've only glanced at the ink channel to make sure that everything's within toss, but I haven't looked at anything in depth. Uh, just because I want to like actually be able to like talk about it live kind of thing. Um, puto is a delicious Filipino dessert. Can confirm what's in it. What 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 is in it? Hello, Zara. Zara, I'm not gonna let you do these uh these these gambles unless you say hi to me first. Like, come on. You've had a headache for days now. Oh my gosh. Do you um do you take medicine for that at all? Oh, I lost. <laughs> I just realized that I lost. <laughs> Marvin. Marvin, can you please transfer the pizzas over? <laughs> no. Well, Zara, sorry. You gotta take it up with Morbid. You gotta take it up with Morbid. Uh, different. I used to be like you, um, or I don't know how often you get headaches, but I used to have headaches for days. Um, and sometimes, uh, what, hel what, what helps me? Uh, sometimes I just have to take Advil. Other times, actually drinking Coke, uh, really helps Coca-Cola. Um, something about, for me, something about the combination of sugar and caffeine and Coca-Cola, it seems to mellow out, like, whatever's going on in my head pretty well. Um... But most of the time, I just take Advil now because I don't really want the sugar in Coca-Cola. I try not to, but if it gets bad, I will dare take an Advil like when I'm about to stream or you want to relax after a long day. Yeah. I said drink. I purposely said drink, uh, Zussi. I purposely said it. <laughs> 
Just because I knew you guys were going to take it that way. I know how you guys are. You're all little trolls. Uh, it is a steamed cake made of rice that is always served during the holidays. Oh, that sounds like um, a dessert that I have, uh, that we have in Chinese culture, too. I bet you it's probably similar. Like, what, what is it? What are the flavors like? Is it kind of sweet? Massage your temples and the head pain goes away. Say massage the corner of your eyes or uh, side of head in your ear. That doesn't always work, Burrito. I, I think it depends on the kind of headache that you have, too. Um, and, and also if you're someone who tends to get migraines. Because I think if you're someone who tends to get migraines, um... The, the sense like the the intensity of your headaches I feel like are a lot worse because I, I used to get a ton of migraines um, and I still suffer from headaches like uh, maybe once a week or so not not as much as I used to I used to have headaches all the time like all the time um, but it, it's definitely gone better do not massage your eyeballs squish 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is sweet. Okay. What is CBD? What is CBD? Sorry to hear you have headaches all the time. Oh, no worries. No worries. It's just... I, I think it depends on what's going on. Sometimes I can actually go like a couple weeks and not have a headache at all. And then there's some weeks where like all I do is have a headache. Um, massaging it helps and it'll feel a little better. Yeah, exactly. Exactly different. Um, as soon as I, uh, as soon as I feel like stop massaging, my head starts hurting all over again. Yes, Morbid? Uh, oh, it's from marijuana. Okay. I thought the same and then you had your eyes checked. Oh, you think it's because of my contacts or my glasses? Um... I would say that's the case, but I don't think that's the case with me, uh, Morbid. Um, <laughs> it doesn't get your head high, uh, but the THC, THC is the head high. But CBD reduces inflammation. Ah, okay. I did not know that. All right. That's good to know. I'll have to look into that then. I'll have to look into that. A lot of times I just try to drink a lot, a lot of water. I'm totally ignoring you guys because I can see James's chat. And I know you're trying to spam me to let me know that he's ready for a voice, but I'm totally ignoring you guys. <laughs> I like how you guys stop. You're like, God damn it, this is not working. <laughs> Uh, Mexican degenerates use that a lot. Wait, use what a lot? Only Mexican use that word a lot. I'm so confused. That drawing is... The couple drawing is very cute. Oh, thank you, different. Thank you. If you're curious, there are marijuana patterns owned by the U.S. Department of Health. Google it. I am not trying. No, no. I will definitely look into that burrito. I, I will definitely look into that. I think, um, oh, where did he go? <laughs> where, where did James go? <laughs> I guess we're just going to keep talking longer. Oh, the word, uh, puto. Okay. Um, if you're curious, there's mer. um, I just read that. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely look into that though. Um, cause I think we're about to start, uh, our dual stream. But, uh, Beastie, remind me, or Punto actually, Punto, can you remind James to remind me to look up CBD uh, after stream about headaches? Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, I see James showing off prints. Uh, I'm going to show off the small ones just because I'm really excited about these. I like super super excited about these. Um, so we have the Akuma printed, by the way, but we also have Hollow prints, and they're all sparkly. Go, 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 go. Go, go. I have all of James's prints, so he has to be nice to me, cause I'm gonna hold him hostage. But look, can you guys see the sparkle? It's kind of subtle, but it's really cool. It makes it look like. You know. 
It's like glitter. It's so cool. Oops. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey, Mario. Welcome back to the, the Clap Crew with a tier two resub. Thank you so so much. Is that twelve months? Holy shit! That's a full year with Admire. Wow. 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 Uh, pa Papa blesses you, Admire. <laughs> hey, Pam, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I was showing off the hollow prints. Zeus says those look fucking nice. Looney Bird, hi, Looney Bird, says it looks great. Different Time says I want one. DK says, Pam! What, DK, what? <laughs> Ryu says, oh my god, he holophied the Lady Death piece. I am shook. Mm. I know. Look at mm. these guys. These, these, you know what? These are limited edition. Uh, so if you guys would like one, you should definitely tell us, like, today, today, because, you know, if we run out, then there's no more for you guys. So, send us DMs. <laughs> Wait, are, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you being serious right now, or? Huh? Are you being serious? What? Didn't you want to sell your shit? <laughs> oh, yeah, limited edition, guys. Limited edition, guys. Not, not the first one. <laughs> <laughs> this is all strategy, James, okay? If they buy them now, then we can just add on to more to our order. <laughs> That's true. Hey, a good point. What's up, Sad B? How you doing, man? <laughs> thank you, Admire. Thank you. And the burrito. Uh, burrito, thank you so much for the follow. Um, so the Kuma that you guys saw, by the way, that's James's. This is mine. We have this as a print. Mmm. Mmm. Because the official, traditional watercolor. Yep. Actually, yeah, that's kind of funny. So we've we shared two prints, I guess. Uh, we both have Akumas and we both have Moyers, but both of yours are digital and both of mine are traditional. Yeah. Hello, River. Um, how much is an MLG at DeVito? Oh, man. Um, $500. I, I guess, um, but I don't want to like quote any prices yet on stream because I think Pam and I have to work out our pricing for TwitchCon still. But I think once we figure that out, we'll be able to give you guys a better idea. But I'm actually really happy. Because um, like I've I've had stuff available on my print shop. I know Pam has too, um, but these are really nice, like actual like full bleed prints. I think they're they're mm -hmm. even better better looking. So, um, if you guys actually want the full bleed stuff, let us know for sure, and we'll try to work out the actual pricing and yeah. stuff. Honestly, for the you. sooner you guys let us know, the ease, uh, the better. Just because like our prints order is not fully submitted yet, so we can still make modifications if we need to. So, you know, if there's, like, a huge demand for it, we can, you know, adjust for that. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's better. It's better. All, all of my stuff is actually up on Etsy right now, um, except for the new Snow White piece, I think. Um, but, so, that's just kind of one way to let us know. And then, I don't know, just just spam James's DMs, guys. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if, if you want any of our stuff specifically, just DM us on Discord. Yeah. Um, I've had people actually DM me on IG, which probably isn't the best place to find me. And DMs on Twitch, are, especially while I'm streaming, are not easy for me to check on. So uh, just, dude, just, just DM me on... Fix news. Uh, just DM me on Fuck Discord. <laughs> That'd be really helpful. <laughs> Hi, Shantia. Raven Flame and Ogre Supreme. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> thank you, different. Thank you, uh, thank you, Tihi. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna catch up on chat now. Uh, Raven Flame says I would like to maybe do digital, but I'm an art new. But hey, that's no worries. Do you have any kind of um? Oh, but thanks for following too, by the way. Do you have any kind of tablet, or what would you be drawing with? But uh, yeah, it's it's a good good time just to kind of start practicing if you want to. We're mm -hmm. doing studies tonight, in case you guys didn't know. Yeah, so, this, um, this is a very very good day for practicing. Yeah, it's a good, good time to kind of bring out either new mediums. It's Inktober. If you guys want to do these in ink, you can do that too. Oh my god! Kind of really uh, cool. warm up your, your brushes there if you want to. Uh, uh, no, I, it did not bother me at all, Ryu. It did not bother me. It bother me at all. Oh, what's up, Wolfie? Um, Mod, can you do an announcement in study jam? <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> Before Zara says something. <laughs> uh, where are the study picks? Puffy Bunny's asking me. I can't find. All right, I can't anatomy to save my life. Okay, so Puffy Bunny, I'm gonna drop the command in chat right now. It's the SJ command. On both streams, I think we did, they're just they're just dropped it recently. But if you look at that command that is dropped in chat, Puffy, uh, there's three links. The first two are what, what's really important for you. So the first one's actually a Cadgar link, and on both streams, I really recommend hitting that link because you can watch both streams side by side with both chat windows on, on one window, which is really really nice. Uh, we both Pam and I draw very differently. We have very different approaches and art styles, 
it's kind of cool how we uh, we break down stuff a lot differently than each other. The second link is really important too, if you guys want to draw along. It's, it's actually the Discord link for our study server. So all the reference material we'll be using tonight and from all the previous like 35 plus weeks, whatever it's been at this point, are all saved uh, with times and everything else. It's, it's all saved in that Discord server for you. So if you guys want to draw along, join the Discord and hit, hit Kagar. It's a lot of fun, I promise. It's raining yes. for you, D? Wow. It actually looked like it was going to rain here, too. I don't know if it really is or not. Yeah? Yeah, it's 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 weird because uh, before I left the house, it said it was 78 degrees. But when I left the house, it was really, really overcast. And it actually kind of looked like it was going to rain. Um, mm. But it didn't feel cool. So, I mean, that's a plus. It's, it's raining a lot here lately. It's yeah? Nice, though. Yeah. Hmm. I guess it's about that time of year, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cooling down, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for tablets, Huion is a good... Yeah, yeah, honestly, um, what Agathorn is saying about Huion is actually pretty accurate. Um, they're a good kind of alternate alternate brand from the, the standard, like, Wacom tablets or mm -hmm. Cintiqs. And, uh, sad BP, thanks for following, man. How are you doing? Bye, dear friend. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will see you later. I hope your head feels better. Drink a lot of water, okay? A lot, a lot of water. Yeah, we can probably talk more about tablets. That's actually something I'd love to talk more about once we maybe kind of get the timers and stuff rolling. And we can kind of uh, have a fun topic to kind of discuss a bit yeah. more. But uh, tablets are yeah. a cool topic. Yeah, there, there's a lot of like different types of tablets out there. So if you guys have any questions, we're happy to chit chat about that too. By the way, I fucking love that PC of a new screen pan. Thank you. I, I'm excited I, I to honestly, see yours when it's. I'm not blowing smoke up your ass here. Like I think that's one of your best thing pieces ever. Oh, uh, well. It's super, super good. Like, I think it's, it's better like, than your Snow White. Considering it's like my second one of brush pen. <laughs> That's not saying much. <laughs> but thank you. Well, I mean, it looks really good. Oh, shit. Wednesday, I'm half year ho. Six Wednesday, where you been, man? And I can go pro. Holy shit. Is that really loud for you guys? Um, But Wednesday. Oh, my God. Hi, Wednesday. We were wondering if you were still alive. <laughs> I know. We we're worried about you, man. How you been Wednesday? How are you? Thank you. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. <laughs> oh, DK, do you really love the lines? Do you? Do you? Now, what about the, the colors? Do you, do you love Joby the colors? Joby, man. Guys, go check out Joby uh, Dorf if you're not already. Uh, really awesome dude. Excuse me. Ben from Scoop Stream. Tattoo Scoop artist. Dude. Really, really amazing uh, illustrator work, too. Show the man some love. Scoops, dude. Scoops, dude. Scoops, dude. Mm hmm. Don't do it. Everyone's just like, Wednesday, oh my god, it's Wednesday. We were just talking about you, I think last <laughs> night, Wednesday? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Wednesday. <laughs> Welcome back to the Clap Crew, Wednesday. Aww. It's going back in, Wednesday. You weren't looking. It's back in there. It's going to be itching right now. Uh, dude, thanks for the resub. Welcome back to the Clap Crew. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, we've been talking about you, man, like the last two, three weeks. Like, where the hell's Wednesday? Mm -hmm. like, I feel like we haven't seen you for probably like a month. At this point, yeah. It's good to see you, man. <laughs> Hope your you. journeys have been meaningful. I'm getting a recipe in on Texas speech. <laughs> Half a cup of butter, pound of sugar. That sounds like a really good recipe. Wait, what is that a recipe for? <laughs> I don't know, but it sounds good. What, what, what are you making? Enjoy. I don't know what you guys are <laughs> making, but I, I see pasta. <laughs> You know, and the minute it, I, I see pasta, I'm automatically sold. Am I mixing, mixing this dish and pouring it on top of your body, Punto? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> oh, that's very spicy. It's very <laughs> spicy. Shrimpy, run. Shrimp is part of the ingredients. Run. <laughs> yeah, run, shrimpy. Run. <laughs> uh, did I play Street Fighter today? I have not played Street Fighter in like three weeks, Zeus. <laughs> When's the uh, last time pretty... you played Monster Hunter? <laughs> like, like three, four weeks, too. It's been a while, man. Yet. Uh, Lots of Where's the kicking mask? Right, 60 hour days, dude. Yeah, you're, you've been busy. I, I figured you're, you're busy with work, man. Where has the time gone already? Anyway, us, us I'm us enjoying you, being a hoe way too much. I already finished. What's Sorry, up? then my text to speech talked over you. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shancho, thank you so much for the resub. What'd you say? You already finished your coffee? My coffee's gone, and I already, I'm already halfway into my monster drink. Oh, what the fuck, James? Sleep more. I'm gonna be caffeine the fuck Dude, up right now. Dude, you should not be drinking that much caffeine. You're gonna have a heart attack on stream. That's not, that's not true. That's not real. Yes! Be fine. Zara, there's English accent text-to-speech. No, I'm pretty sure if you follow up caffeine with a monster, 
You're going to have a I'll heart attack on stream. No, I won't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, I'm gonna. I'm gonna... You could call that call that one for me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Help stream help. Hasten, no, do not. That's too much. Ca Hasten, that is not fine. That's way too much caffeine. Like maybe if there was like an hour in between, but like right after that, it's kind of a fine. lot. No. Embrace the caffeine. James looks to be in good health. I think he will be okay. So, oh, Marion, thank guys. you so much. That's, that's like famous last words, okay? <laughs> Hi, Wednesday. James, don't you? die. Last time I checked, dying isn't healthy for you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ryu, for your concern. <laughs> Morbid says, actually, it is better if he does it in a row. Are you, are you trolling, Morbid? Is we're, there, just, is we're, there... we're loading up right now for the... Uh... For the caffeine burn. Dude, I didn't you know? even finish my coffee, and you're, like, into your monster. Yeah. Well, I'm a beast. What do you want from me? I, I don't know. Oh, hold on. Let me switch this over here. I need to find the peens. The peens. We found a lot of peens. We found a lot of peens yesterday. <laughs> no, we, we really, really did find a lot of peens yesterday. Actually, I was smart, and um, I, I knew that this was going to be a, a hard one. To, uh, hard. <laughs> Well, that, was, for the bees, man. that was a poor choice of words. <laughs> I knew see... this was going to be sorry. a difficult one to find, so I actually went on an anatomy website, whereas James yeah. still I'm went just Google. here for the outfits. <laughs> well, I, I didn't have the anatomy website. By the way, what did we pick for the order? Because you didn't put them back in order. David, thank you so That's much why. for the resub. Thank you, thank you. You didn't put these in order, Pan. Oh, uh, no, we decided front, back side or crouching side something Did like we? that yeah yeah front yeah back. it's front front back mm -hmm. uh okay. front back uh sitting and then uh chair that that was okay. the order we decided gotcha gotcha <clears throat> peens peens all the peens no problem i for yeah forgive you you forgive me wolfie what do you forgive me for <laughs> <laughs> why do you forgive me um uh, <laughs> <if you laughs> <DK! laughs> If you aren't seeing three seconds in the future, you need another cup. <laughs> Is caffeine the key to a time travel, you think? Maybe. Or the key to, like, you know, having a mental breakdown. I either way. Either way. Hello, Indian! DK says in your chat, by the way, James, if you have a heart attack on stream, can I get a hollow of Lady Deathprint mailed from Pam? Thank you. Yes, and I yeah. will take the profit, DK. <laughs> this is in my will right now. You can have a, a, a hollow uh, Lady Deathprint. <laughs> We doing a crouching tiger today? Maybe. Crouching tiger, hidden peen. I mean, what? <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty good, Pam. <laughs> Hi, Hexy. <laughs> Thank you, Wednesday. Thank you. This is uh, going to be part of the Patreon package. The, the one you see on screen will be part of the Patreon package. The what, what kind of drinks do I have? I had a, uh, I had a large iced Duncan's coffee, no sugar. That was black. Uh, no sugar, no milk. Black. And then I have a I have a monster drink right now. I'm okay. I, I've done this before. No big deal. We're okay. <laughs> Can you have my hat? Maybe I may actually bring okay. my hat with me. It's gonna be it's like a sacred thing that will die with me. Wait, if you had a choice to be buried, would you rather be buried in your hat or your beanie? Uh, Red Sox hat. Okay. All right. But what's what up, if Jump they Rush? Can't, what if they can't bury you in the hat facing backwards? It would have to be facing forward. They can put it over my face. You have Cover my ugly mug. Just had the beard kind of popping out. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is a strange discussion. Yeah, it's a little morbid. <laughs> uh, I don't drink coffee, so I don't have it to sleep, and I have seen the future and drinking enough. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll continue under your shoes, senpai. Beastie says, as long as you space it out by forty-five minutes tops, you're fine. He's not spacing it out though, Beastie. <laughs> I'll be okay, Beastie. He's just going at it back to back. We're back to back right now. I'm a big boy. <laughs> oh my god. Big Fox says, when I die, I want to be buried face down so everyone who didn't like me can kiss my ass. <laughs> That's pretty good. What's my problem? What's your problem, David? What's your problem? Oh, baby Zeus trying to troll. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Beastie, I'll be okay, man. I'm not, I'm not chugging it. I'm okay. Don't worry about it. We'll be okay. We'll be a-okay. 
<laughs> oh, beastie. Oh, rip. <laughs> uh, well, just don't chug him. <laughs> um, beastie, I think you need to like clearly define that because the 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 way James drinks and eats food is considered would be considered inhaling your food and chugging drink for me. Whereas I think that is normal for him. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I inhale food, BC. You've never seen me eat before. It's kind of crazy. Oh, by the way, Samarian, answer your question. You, you get a lock of my beard hair. <laughs> for what? For being a sub? No, if, if I pass away. Oh. She wanted to know, what can I have? You get a lock of my beard oh. hair. <laughs> All right. All right. Literally just you woken too, up Pam. for 10 nice minutes. I'm hair. sure the PPM is um, real. Can I just have all your art supplies instead? <laughs> Pam, I'll, I'll give to you my, my watercolor set that I bought. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Shy Wolf, thank you so much for the biddies. Thank you. Well, good morning to you. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how it how I feel that the first thing you do when you wake up is to uh, hang out with us, but uh, hopefully we will make your day very pleasant. Yo! Shy, man. Oh, off the Thank bed. Thank you, dude. Man. Off the bed. Shy Wolf, have a great night, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not good morning. <laughs> good, good night. Good night, Shy Wolf. Good night. Oh, um, what's up, Lang? How you doing, Lang? How you been? Easton says, but Pam, with how slow you eat and drink, any normal person is considered... No, okay, okay. To be fair, to be fair, James eats at, like, 200 times the speed that I do. I don't think James eats like a normal person. I don't. I, I recognize that I am a slow eater, but I also don't think that he is a normal uh, speed uh, consuming of food person. I eat pretty fast. What's up, Sam? I see you, Sam. Um, um, Lang is here. Been good. Been good. Just chilling. I'm doing great, Lang. Hi, I'm a little uh, antsy right now. I'm, I'm caffe caffeinated up at the moment. Feel good. Bye, Black. I have fun playing chess. <laughs> I'm a very um, slow eater. Uh, Martian says, I'm, I don't know why I, I eat so quickly, but I really do. You, like, I just scarf down food. Okay, so so when you guys were younger, did you guys fight over food, you and your sister? No, not really. So like, I'm, not, I'm not really sure where it came from. Yeah, I think I'm a vacuum. I, I've always eaten lots and lots of food. Cause, like, when, I got into, like, when I got into weightlifting when I was younger, like I just ate a ton of food, too. Like hmm. I'm, just, I'm just used to downing food. Blank! Thank you for the resub. Because I had an ex who basically consumed all of his food, like, in the amount of time that you normally do. But his excuse was that him and his uh, sibling used to compete over food. Mm. And so if you were a slow eater, you just starved. Yeah, we never really competed. Like, my sister and I were never like that at all. So huh. I'm not really sure why it is. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Easton says, kind of true though. James ate that whole pizza in Chicago faster than I could finish an order of mozzarella sticks. <laughs> That's so fucking true. That's really oh, true. Uh, Ling, welcome back to the Clap Crew. I appreciate that resub. Go see your doctor. Go get yourself checked out right there. There may be a little bit of an itch maybe showing up tomorrow morning. Is, there, is there a delay in delivery? Mm. Also, do you do everything fast, James? No, 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 no. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hasten, that piece was the piece that I ate. That's all the pizza that I got. To, to be fair, no, no, no. You had at least like two chunks. Like I ate about three quarters of that pizza. I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> I, I ate about three quarters. Two thirds of three quarters of that pizza. But, I mean, I'm like three times your size, so it makes sense. Doesn't mean I didn't want some of that pizza, goddammit. Yeah, Hi, fine. clone, clone. <laughs> If I thought about competitive eating, actually, I have thought about that before, Beastie. Like, I can chug a glass of beer so fucking fast. It's kind of insane. Doesn't that just give you a lot of, like, burps? Yeah, but it's it's just really fast, though. It's really oh. cool. So, so being fast is cool, huh? Not fast everything. Come on, Pam. Let's not, take, <laughs> let's not go in that direction. Maybe I'll grab a glass of water, though. Everyone that breaks will come back and just pound it down. And, like, there there you guys go. <laughs> wow, Toast. Holy shit. <laughs> it's got a yeah, deep throat it. You're right. It's got deep throat it. Open the oh throat, James. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> wow, guys. Wow. Have you ever seen speeding a, a hot dog? I've seen that before. It's kind of insane, actually. It's kind of gross, actually. Yeah, they kind of like, they literally kind of inhale gross. the hot dog without even like actually chewing it. Or sometimes they like dunk it in water to like make it easier to like swallow. Slide on your throat? Yeah, it, like, so they basically have to chew it, right? You don't spend time yeah. chewing it. And then like, they dunk the bread in the water, too. Mm -hmm. 
Sam. Sam, thank you, thank you so much for the. Holy shit, has it been five months already? Sam. Count it down. I love you. To, to lube it. <laughs> is, is that what you said to lube it? You gotta lube it up. Oh. Well, I mean, it is. It slides down the throat, you know. God. Cool. Okay. Anyways, um, let's, quite let's, the stream so far, guys. Let's, let's, We're uh, <laughs> thirty minutes in. What's up, DYNG? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dear God, we haven't even started drawing yet. I know, <laughs> I know, Junk Brush. How do how do how do I escape this dual stream? Whatever, you don't want to leave me. <laughs> no one wants to leave this dual stream with me. I don't I don't know. This conversation is is, is getting a little too intense for me. <laughs> mm -mm. Should we uh speaking of lube, should we uh should we lubricate the uh, beard hair live on stream? Do it. Do it right now. Mm. Everyone's watch and stare while James lubricates his beard. Put some beard oil in there. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, Oceanum, have I met James in real life? I have. I've met him twice in real life. Um, and then we'll be meeting up a third time, uh, in holy shit, in like three weeks for TwitchCon. That's kind of quick, right? Fuck, three weeks. Yeah, um, wow. <laughs> God yeah, beard oil. God yeah, God yeah. <clears throat> With the great beard comes great responsibility. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm. Yeah, Pam and I have met in real life twice. Mm -hmm. We did a uh, we did TwitchCon last year, a bunch of us, and then a bunch of us did um, Chicago Wizard World this year, uh, back in August. So uh, we, we get along pretty well, I'd say. Yeah, and then, maybe. Um, and then um, we are meeting up again in um, her hometown, TwitchCon this year out in uh, California. So we'll be sharing a table at uh, TwitchCon this year in Artist Alley. So if you guys are going to TwitchCon this year, come find us in Artist Alley. Uh, we have lots of cool shit to that's, show you guys. That's where you guys can get these really cool hollow prints. Yeah. <laughs> All the hollows. Yeah, I can't wait for those. I, I want to see them in person so bad. I'm going to hold them hostage. <laughs> are those I mean, hands warm and lubricated? Mm, maybe. They will be after I'm done. Oh, oh man. All right, wow. Sam's leaving. Sam, have a good night. Wait, Sam, are you gone? Gone, or are you are you just hanging out in my chat? Are uh, there are big cons in early August? Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah. Um, I, I need to start applying for conventions on the East Coast. So, I need to apply for Denver. There's a reminder yeah, for that. For, you for you really need to apply for Denver, like no joke, because you're you're gonna run out of time soon, very soon. So, uh, so remind me tonight, uh, mods. I'll, I'll reply for Denver tonight. No, you won't. And then um, I'm gonna apply for probably Baltimore and uh, for next year Baltimore Comic Con. I'll, I'll apply for Boston Comic Con, some other ones too. But uh, I want to start applying for, for conventions. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, Ocean, yes, uh, or Ocean. Um, TwitchCon is in California this year. Yeah, yeah, it's California. Wait, wait, why are you leaving my stream, Sam? Because what? Because she is Mamad. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, Sam. Sam says TwitchCon hype. Are you going to, you going to TwitchCon this year, Sam? Sam, Sam, are you going to TwitchCon? Is Nick going to TwitchCon? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You wish is on your side of the U.S. ocean? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I'm on uh, Northeast. I'm up in Massachusetts. So I'll be flying across country for TwitchCon. I mean, some people are flying. I mean, Tom Chi's coming from Austria, and then uh, Yuhoi yeah. is coming from. I think she's well, from coming from the Netherlands. Who, who is? Yuhoi? I don't know. Oh, oh, no shit! I didn't know that. Yeah, she's actually coming out to TwitchCon, and she, I, she's, she's. I think she's in the Netherlands. Hmm. I, I know Mia's coming from Florida. She's yeah. coming across country too. It's just it's sort of fun, like though. where you know where you want to go, or how far you're willing to do it. I honestly think that if you're close friends with a lot of people on Twitch, it's totally worth going to meet all of them. It's sort of like this once a year sort of thing, you know? Um, but I think going casually and you're across the country, it's probably not worth it. Wait, why am I a traitor, Sam? I said, I said you're my favorite. What a traitor. What a traitor. what I do? I said, Nick, are you going to TwitchCon? <laughs> Alright, we should probably start going over the, um, the first reference, huh? Should we? Should we? Maybe. Is my timer stop? Like I, I didn't check my timer. I don't timer feel like it. Guys, let's just play hooky and play Overwatch instead. Do you guys want to do an Overwatch stream instead? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not doing that. Sam, you are not the unwanted Sam. Sam, you can be one of my side pieces, okay? 
Wow. All right, my timer's good to go. Let me go find the uh, the actual Discord channel here. Announcements. Oh, look, look at Poppy Chaos getting the announcement going there. Thanks, man. Let's see. Let's see. References. Let's see. I hear Pam giggling. I don't know why. I don't like that giggle I hear from Pam. No, I'm good. I'm good. Nothing. Nothing. It's Vaughn. Oh my gosh. Hello, Vaughn. How are you? Um, Ocean says, see, I have money, but not that much. I'm close with a lot of people, but none of them are going to TwitchCon. Maybe um, if some of the foreign ones were going, I'd look into it. Yeah, I, I think you have to kind of look and see who's going to see if it's like sort of worth your time. I mean, obviously, since I stream and James streams, I actually think it's probably worth our time to go, especially now that they have Artist Alley. Like I'm probably going to just end up doing Artist Alley every year to help compensate for the cost of TwitchCon. Um... Mm. And that's, that's, that's sort true. of a benefit. And plus, like, I feel like we're constantly meeting people every single year. Um, yeah. So it's it's sort of really just worth going and having that, like, once a year meetup to hang out and everything like that. It's Hi, a big Tucky. party overall. It's a big it party. is. It is. It's a lot of fun. Dude, it's like, really good. I was hanging out in Gear Street last night, and he's already planning, like, he, he's got, like, his dinners all planned out already to meet up with, like, everyone who he really? hasn't seen in a while and i'm like man we are not that organized yeah first of all what's up vaughn what's up wade what's up guys i think we're gonna end up winging a lot of it i think so too all right i'm gonna drop the first reference are you ready to go pam i am ready to go let me switch my canvas over here real quick uh vaughn actually asked though is any are we doing uh inktober uh yeah i don't have anything actually worked on yet but the one that you saw on my stream a second ago is gonna, gonna be my poisonous prompt uh, I, I got like it's already all transferred over to uh, an actual 14 by 17 piece of vellum, so I'm gonna be doing that one traditional. Maybe tonight if I get around to it. Tom, she says traditional for me tonight. Oh, you should do it, man. Uh, what's up? Oh, is BC gonna do traditional? Yeah, you should. I think you so. Should. Uh, no, I was just gonna read what Tom she Tom she said. I only I only kind of want to go to meet everyone from the art community. That's that's how it was for us last year, Tom. Uh, we we basically only hung out in the artist alley. <laughs> I think we went uh, one loop around like the actual TwitchCon, and then that was it. Pretty much. Uh, Von Black says, "Can I join in?" Yes, you can. Be warned, I may be drinking. As oh long as God, it's yes. uh, as long as it's toss friendly, Von, you're more than welcome to join in. Um, one disclaimer for everybody: uh, no drawing kibbles and bits. You can't draw any genitalia mm -hmm. on, these, on these references on your pieces. Actually, we didn't center out nipples in these, Pam. Does it matter? Oh, just don't draw the nipple. We won't. We just won't show them on stream. Um, so, 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 no dongers and no nipples, okay? No, no pepperonis sorry. and no dongers. I forgot okay? to censor out the nipples. I only censored out the peens. All right, but uh, these will be thirty-minute references. Again, if you are just joining in, this is a weekly study stream that Pam and I run every Wednesday, seven p.m. Eastern, four p.m. Pacific. Mm -hmm. This is our study jam session. Uh, tonight's subject is what, Pam? Tonight's subject is thin-framed males. Thin frame males. Thin frame males. A lot of them who, for whatever reason, seem to have very large dongs. <laughs> Lots of dongs yesterday. <laughs> A lot of hanging dongs I had to censor this morning. <laughs> Wade says, hi, Pam. Hi, Wade. And IP, what's up, man? I see you in chat. How you doing? So we have 30 minutes to do a rough sketch. Yeah, you have 30 minutes to do however you want for the sketch. If you so can do a full render, do a full render. But, you know, if you are stressed and you can only do a sketch, then there's do a sketch. Don't, you know, don't yeah, let it just, dictate. Just, just to reiterate, these, these uh, the non-master study sessions, which is what we're doing today, these are our basic 30-minute sessions. We're aiming for four tonight. We have four references. We're hoping to get to three to four of these tonight. These are meant to be much more kind of gestural, in, in gestural studies and more proportion and anatomy focused. So don't stress over having a super finished, polished, like a rendered piece. It, like like Pam has said, you know, work at your own pace. If you can, if you can get a, a fully rendered piece done in 30 minutes, then go for it. But we would rather see you get a nice gesture down and work on the actual proportions and anatomy more than anything else. So that, that's much more important for these studies. Next week will be master studies where we actually give you just two pieces to work on for 90 minutes each. Mm -hmm. So that's the focus for tonight, guys. Oh my um, God, we... I, uh, I'm good to go, by the way. So you have your timer ready to go? Yes, I am ready to go. All right. First reference is up on Discord, guys. So if you're just joining in, go to our Study Jam Discord. 
the first piece is posted underneath references okay and when you're done posting your pick put it underneath the study channel right there and i'm gonna go for the timer if you are all right ready set yep. three two one go, go. Three minutes on the clock, guys. You ready? Let's do it. Hi, Kiriji. How big do I make the paper? Um, well, I'm working digital ocean, so I'm kind of... My paper is just my standard square, which is 5400 by 5400. This is actually the same size that I work on for emotes. Um, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. that's right. You work insanely large emotes. Yeah, sizes. yeah. I, I mean, I understand why you do, but yeah, it's just crazy. But I, I have the benefit of being able to resize, so just keep that in mind. Yeah. So just starting off on this one, I'm looking for like a nice kind of like slightly curved sort of gesture line down the center of the torso, right? Mm -hmm. Like from where the neck is, the collarbone down to the pelvis. Look for like a slight curve. It's kind of angling to the right. Not his dick, but his body's angling to the right. No, his dick is hanging to the left, by the way. <laughs> it's hanging to the left, okay. Yeah, I mean, well, if you look, his hips are actually angling down to the left, so therefore his uh, his peen wall's hanging down that way. Fair enough, fair enough. But I guess from there, I'm looking for a, a lower kind of line, like a diagonal line to kind of imply the gesture or like the, the angle of the hips right there. So it should be kind of a diagonally up left from low left to upright rather. And that's, that's your kind of hip, your pelvis location right there. The reference oh, is in the reference channel on the Study Jam Discord Ocean. That's what I'm looking for at least. And then from there, I'm kind of just looking for um, basic structure. Like I'm trying to find where the rib cage is. Make sure that space between the rib cage, where that, where that angle, that sharp angle, the rib cage kind of juts out on the left. There's enough space between that angle down to the uh, the pelvis below it. IP, how you doing today, man? Hey, IP. This is actually kind of almost a very feminine pose with this, the way his yeah, hips are popped and everything. Yeah, it's, it's very, it is definitely. It's good though. Again, guys, no genitalia and do not draw the nipples. No nipples. So we, we actually won't be showing the reference on stream. Yeah, sorry, my bad. I totally forgot. That's okay. We kind of like did these study picks super late last night mm -hmm. and then we did, kind of just ran out of time. So interesting note though is his his shoulder blade is like really popping out on the right side. It is. It's kind of weird. It looks like it's a little disjointed. Yeah. How's your day, Pam? My day's been pretty good. How's yours been? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah. A busy. Yeah. Did you get a lot of work done today with art wise yeah. or just uh work? Everything work? in general. Alright. And then I went to Dunkin's, got my coffee, drank that. It was productive. Yeah, I ran out to get coffee too. I was like, I'm craving. I might as well try to get it. Yeah. The sugar kind of uh, helps last for these like long streams, you know? Yeah, I, I think so too. Uh, one quick note is most of the weight on this pose is on the canvas right leg, the one that's very vertical. So if you can find, find out where that kind of that, that cocked up hip, hip is right there. On that right side. <laughs> so you use that phrase on purpose? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, that leg is going almost straight down vertical. It's slightly inwards to the left, canvas left, but it's pretty much going straight down. That's because that leg is really supporting all the weight of the figure right there. So it's kind of being, being mindful of those shapes, that's all. Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday, be careful, okay? I hope you feel oh, better. Oh, dude. That's, that's, better, that's Yeah, that's not good. That's that's actually a really big risk with uh with people who do yeah. this, guys. So you should always always be careful. Um, I ho I hope the shot helps Wednesday. What about Denver? Beastie, whose side are you on? Is that alert still going off in your channel? You said productive. You said what about Denver? That's true. That's true. What about Denver? What about it? <laughs> Have you applied yet, James? Been busy with other stuff. It literally takes. Five minutes. Literally. 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 I'm busy. Yeah, Wednesday, dude, I hope you feel better, man. Kiddoji says, I will try and do the next one. You have a headache? Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better, too. Seems like today is like Headache Wednesday, huh? Right. 
Uh, if you look also, just make sure, uh, if, as you're kind of drawing these legs out, make sure your knee locations, like the heights of your knees, are about equal. Because even though the uh, the canvas left leg is actually kind of extending out to the left, that little sassy uh, kind of hip tilt, the knees are actually very much a level with each other. Uh, the way it's kind of angled right now. Hides in pillow fort. <laughs> Oh god, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's tired. very tempting to just uh, to like dump everything right now and just do Inktober. I don't know if you feel that way, but I really want to. Um, kind of, sort of. Like, I actually wouldn't mind doing. Um, like, I want to work on this one piece I'm doing. That mm. uh, the uh, kimono one, the snake tattoo. Yeah. I'm actually liking that one a lot. It's looking really cool. How did you like doing the that. transfer thing? That's the first time you've really done that, right? Yeah, it's the first time doing it. Uh, I mean, it went really well for the most part. Uh, lesson learned, though, is that uh, like I had to print out the four sheets of paper to mm -hmm. make it fit onto 14 by 17. Yeah. But the way I actually kind of taped it down, there's a lot, a lot of paper overlap. And the overlapping paper made it really dark to like actually oh, see. Oh, yeah. So I had to actually, at one point, to actually get the, um, the tattoo detail transferred. Mm -hmm. I had to actually undo one of the four pieces and uh just to do that one solo by itself could you just cut the papers oh um, yeah i guess i could have done that but like i just i just kind of took all uh four together basically but anyway it ended up working out pretty well like yeah. uh do you, do you like it do you like having the cleaner lines or do you just sort of miss the sketch lines uh, i don't know i guess we'll see because i kind of like having my some of my sketch lines when i do my ink portraits too so i'm not gonna have like the cool like rough sketch as a, yeah. as a extra line of extra detail, I guess. So you can kind of play with uh, play with the sort of transferring style that you do. Uh, a lot of what I've been doing lately is I actually end up not creating a super super clean line in um in in digital anymore. Like I get all the important stuff done, or if it's something like really detailed, like a head uh, like a head piece or like you know stupid fucking flowers or, or things stupid like that <laughs> i'm so angry at these flowers right now um, that's how you really feel yeah i know i know but if it's just kind of like a, a sketch of like a face and everything and like a, a composition sort of thing I, I actually keep it kind of loose so that when i transfer it then i transfer it loosely and then after i um i get the basics of the transfer done i actually go back and do like a, a sketch i clean up the sketch that way so it still okay. has like a kind of um organic feel to it if that makes sense yeah, that makes sense. It does. It's sort of uh, kind of involved, but it's actually a really good way of... Uh... It's not a bad idea. Yeah. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, because I, I like the feel that of like sort of having like that raw sketch, you know? But my my composition skills on traditional, like in eyeing what space I need for everything, is not, is not like very strong. So, so what you're saying is you like it raw? Yes, I like it raw. <laughs> Sorry. That was a little inappropriate, guys. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sorry about that. Um, Wednesday says the references you and James have been selecting are so good. I really want to dig into these. Miss studying with y'all. We missed having you. Uh, Seriously, we actually like really noticed that you weren't here. Yeah. We really, really missed having you. I think um, I think the, like the last couple study days we've been we've actually com commented though they're like hey man where's Wednesday's studies? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. so I don't know if you can talk about it, but it was what you had the deadline had to work on for involving Apple? Because you were saying that until next year. Kiriji came for art, not for lewd talks. What? You're you're definitely Whoa. in in the wrong stream then. <laughs> Wednesday <laughs> says, "Wow, James." Sam wow. says, "My poor My... virgin ears." Bullshit, your virgin ears. Sam. Never pull out, never surrender. You came from Future Twitch partner, James Hansen, everyone. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> I mean, they partnered me and Sarah. I'm pretty sure they'll partner you. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure Lunas is almost like a Twitch partner requirement at this point. You guys like it. You love it. Maybe. Uh... 
It's kind of a, it's a cool looking reference. I'm actually liking this one a lot. Yeah, it's actually a good one to warm up with. I feel like. Yeah. The shapes are pretty uh, it's pretty clear. Yep. I think so too. Wow, Tom. Tom's looking for that timeout in my chat with the uh, misrepresentation of my name. Oh wow. Oh wow, Tom. You cannot be protected. <laughs> Sirsty, she she fucked up my name a whole bunch. Who? Sirsty. Zirsty? Sirsty? Sasha? I, I, yeah, her. Yeah, Sirsty. <laughs> that's her. That's I thought her. it was Zirsty. Is it Zirsty? Yeah. Like the, like the 300 villain? Uh. Xerxes or something? Yeah, I think so. I always call her Sirsty. She never corrected me. I don't know. Yeah, she called me Jason a whole bunch. Oh, and then she got, really? and then she got called out in her stream by like by the viewers. Well, but I think she think it might, it might actually been Tom that called her out. <laughs> maybe maybe that's why she never she never corrected you because she <laughs> she's like well. Like, not, 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 that's name. a big joke. <laughs> Bro, she don't make me do this. Is it, you pronounce it Sertse? Sertse? Zertse? Zertse? We said Sert like S E R T like Sert Sertse. Sertse. Sertse? Sertse. Why well, I, I closer than Pam? I didn't have a Z in mine. Like Pam had a Z in hers. Or you could just call her Sasha. <laughs> I call her Sasha. That might be easier. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Just saying, guys. Just saying. Give, give just it saying, how just difficult. Just call her Sasha. Fuck off, James. Just call her Sasha, guys. You're just as bad at names as I am, okay? You might be worse than me. No, I don't think so. M M Miss Miss Sheaf. Shut up, dude. What, what was that person's name? The Kansas oh, City Chiefs. I mean, Chiefs. I mean, you 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 can't even get Dev's name right. So. <laughs> I got her name right. What are we talking about? Mm -hmm. Dev, dude, Dev and I are, are so close are you now. So, are, are you sure it's about? Dev and it's not Des? Pam, you don't even know this person. You're on this salt out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, Flo okay, says he does look like a Jace. Oh wow, Flo. Flo, Flo. You, know, you know he's a mod in here too, right? <laughs> Oh my goodness! What? What? Oh no! What happened? <laughs> oh, rip flow. <laughs> uh, Wednesday says sort of when new iPhones are released, they're always screen dimension changes. Oh, okay. So you have to do the changes for all the the like in app stuff. That makes sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense. That also sounds like a pain <laughs> in the ass. Uh, seventeen and a half minutes to go. Mm. That's more like it. Cerse, Cerse. Sasha. Sertse. Someone's gonna end up sending a clip of us fucking up her name to her, aren't, aren't they? Probably. I actually haven't checked my clips in the last, like, three streams. I'm like, really? I don't know what I did. I mean, I don't even want to look at these clips. No. <laughs> Lately, the screenshots and the clips have been pretty bad. I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, sometimes it's just better not to, not to it's, look. It's better not to know. Ignorance Sh is bliss. Shiki says he never looks at his clips. He really? never looks at his clips, and I'm like, I get, oh, I get, man. I get really random clips, too, sometimes. It's like, what what did you clip this for? Like, I'm, do you ever get those? Like, some, you, you look at your clips, you're like, why did this person clip this this moment? I, like, nothing actually, nothing actually happened. Okay, so this is weird, but I get a lot of people who clip me saying their name. And, yeah. And not like I fucked up that name. It's just like, I say hi, like, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, like, I, I'll, I'll notice after stream that, like, I have a clip of me saying that person's name, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why is this a thing? <laughs> and it's happened often enough that I'm, like, really kind of questioning it, you know? You sure you're not fucking up the name? No, I, I'm, like, generally not fucking up the name. Mm. It's it's just, it's, like, a, it's like actually a pretty normal name um, when it does happen. I don't know if it's, like, I don't know if it's, like, one of those things where, like, you know how, like, some people always come to stream and they're like, hey, say this, and then I don't yeah, say it. I, I don't know if they just... Like want a clip of me saying their name for some strange reason? Maybe. What's up, Jaw Dog? How you doing, dude? Jay Hansen born. I like that. Sometimes the clips are going to go back and hear what they said, but I don't publish it. I'm pretty sure as a streamer, though, we get to see all those random like clips that people make. Like, I think even the if it's minute not you make a clip, it's it's there whether or not you publish it, isn't it? I think so. I, I don't know because I, I feel like some of the clips I, I look at like. Like, there's no reason for those to exist. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. Wednesday says, I wouldn't look at any clips if I streamed either. I know I'm a dumbass. I don't need video proof. 
I mean, it makes for some really good moments, especially since Sticky never checks. So it's like, you know, when, when you sent me that clip, James, of him uh, singing Thirsty Thursdays, or no, Thick Thursdays, Thick Thursdays. Dude, um, that, that shit cracked me it, up. It just so happened that the la next time I went into his stream, it was a resub day for me. So I I, I made the resub message uh, sing Thick Thursdays. Thick Thursdays, Thick Thursdays. <laughs> it was so great. <laughs> it was so funny. Shiki cracks me up. Kiraji says, I will... Kiraji, okay, can I ask, how do you pronounce your name? Because I've... Kiraji? I think, yeah, I've heard Kiraji, and I've heard, I think Scoobs pronounce it differently, too. Uh, and I, I think I pronounce your name more like I'm reading a Japanese name, so... Out of curiosity, how do you pronounce your name? Okay, I see we it no right. Kiraji? Thick Thursdays, thick Thursdays. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, I just wanted to make sure. How you say it? Kiraji? Kiraji. You <laughs> both do? Mm. Oh. Kiraji. Oh. That's confusing. That's... No, no, no. Only one of us can be right. This is not how this relationship works. <laughs> you made some clips. Yeah, that's, that's probably what it is. I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is, Samaria. Clipping it now. <laughs> Clip it. You get the pose down really well, Pam. Thank you. Yeah. 13 minutes, guys. I like how Vital's giving the updates in chat at the time. <laughs> 15 minutes. Honestly, this all this timer needs is like uh, an actual beep. Mm. That would be really helpful. I wonder It'd if you helpful. can like submit that as a, as a thing. Maybe. Guys, I made the belly button too low. We've got to adjust. It just, it just... Adjust, adjust. Button. This is going to sound weird, but I actually really like rib shadows. Yeah? I don't know what it is. Like, I just, I, I think I just, like, like how defined they are, I guess. Hmm. I mean, obviously, if it's, it's super, like, you know, the person's anorexic, it's... I don't, I don't like yeah. it, but like when they're stretched out like this and you can see like, especially like the middle of the, the what is it called? The sternum? Like, I don't know. I've yeah. always really liked those, those bone lines. You did yours a pen? Nice. Ooh, and Shrimpy's really nice. done apparently. Damn. Mm. I see you over there, Kareji. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to suck up with Pam over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pam says it better. Thank you, Kiraji. Thank you. I know I say it's better. So you know how we had that issue with our order? Uh, yeah. Order, uh, um, after I corrected them and I sent that email, I haven't heard back yet. I don't know if the person went on lunch or if they were done with their day, but they totally blipped out. They're like, fuck this girl. I'm so that, that order's not getting approved today. <laughs> really? Oh, man. So, you know, if you if you have any last minute shit to add. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. No, probably not. Or, you know, if you guys want to buy us out of inventory, just do it tonight so that we can order Yeah, more. yeah. Yeah, you know, if you want to buy all the hollow prints, because they we only did we only ordered a limited amount, you know. We're breaking up, by the way. We need to switch. We're breaking up, but why? What I do? Oh, uh, everything. <laughs> Let's uh, reconnect real quick. Wow. <laughs> Let's just reconnect. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back, Pam. <laughs> My heart 
hurt. It still hurts right now. <laughs> Are the Come eyes on. cross eyed? No, they're not. They're just, I think they're very small. And uh, he's very zoomed out, so I think that's why it looks the way it does. BC, I'm having heart palpitations right now. Is that normal for uh, caffeine? Oh my god, James. Are you okay? You have like the shadow under the nose? Yeah? Only finished one? That's okay, Puffy. No worries. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That's always the response you want to hear from your medical person, right? I'm having heart... The third walker? What's up, man? Thanks for the raid. How you doing? What are you working on tonight? What's up, man? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Where are you up to tonight? Guys, welcome to the stream. Anyone is new here? I'm James, or Jay Hansen Art. I'm a digital portrait painter and ink artist. You're actually catching us during our uh, weekly study stream uh, with a Pamata K. She's my uh, partner in crime for uh, these study nights. Say hi, Pam. Hello. That's her. But yeah, we're doing uh, figure studies tonight with the uh, community. So if you guys want to join in, there's eight minutes left in this particular study. There's a Discord link in case you want to get the reference material and jump in there and draw along and share your work. We show off everyone's work at the end of uh, each reference. And then uh, there's also uh, a Cadgar link to watch both, both streams, too, in case you want to hang out. What's up, man? Yo, Hercule, what's up? Welcome back, dude. Marlene, thank you so much for the follow. Flo there's says... a bottle cap. Oh, sorry. What? Dude, that's awesome. Sorry, go ahead, Pam. No, sorry, I cut you off. I didn't. I didn't quite hear what you said. Ah, uh, he says he was doing some bottle cap artwork. That sounds pretty fucking what? cool. What? What does that look like? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Flo was saying can't join drawing on the road. Where are you going, Flo? Are you leaving us? James already broke up with me, so like, please don't leave me. <laughs> Shut up, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> you woke up. You woke up with me. You did. So you mean. Me. So mean in front of everyone like that too. Like so rude. <laughs> so rude, guys. Come on, that's pretty funny. It's almost that's as pretty bad funny. as a text. Come on. Almost as bad as a text. I don't actually have time to check out links from from your work, dude. But I'd love to see it if you want to drop it on my Discord, man. I'll check it out after stream for sure. Uh, these are the one stream nights during my week where I can't actually pull up links because we're actually on a uh, a timer at the moment for the study. But, uh, yeah. I'm not really familiar with a lot, of, a lot of artwork like that, so I definitely want to check it out. Finger studies? It did sound like that. Finger studies, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> it's interesting. His um, what do you gonna call it? Uh, oh, what is the name of it? At the base of your neck, collarbone. Yeah. Is there's a, but there's another name for it, isn't there? Like a technical name for it. I don't, what I don't, part? The, the, not the like name. Right here. Like, I don't know. If you look at my screen, like this part right here. Show me. Clavicle! Uh, Thank you, Indian. Clavicle, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his clavicle is not obvious at all. Yeah, it's kind of odd, actually, considering he's definitely very thin, right? Yeah. You think the clavicle would pop out more. I would actually, yeah, I'm like, I was actually looking to draw it in, and I was like, oh, it's not, like, you can't even see it. Yeah. Yeah, dude, third, it's, it's really cool, man. Like, we've been doing this since January. Uh, it's, it's been a long, long series. So uh, we, we did the entire human body with the community uh, for studies, for anatomy studies, and then we're jumping into different body types now. So it's it's been like an ongoing kind of uh, process here. It's been pretty cool. But yeah, the whole community draws along. They share the work up on Discord, and then we show everyone's work off at the, uh, the end of each reference timer right there. It's cool, though. 
We could talk yeah, it's been this. really cool seeing how everyone's improved too. Yeah. I think that's the part I've enjoyed the most. That's definitely the best part. Six minutes left. Actually, about five minutes left, guys. Holy, holy crap! Holy. Clavicle. The middle butt. <laughs> Actually, any middle butt on these references? I can't remember. Um, no, I don't think so. I'm trying to think. I don't think so. There's, I mean, there is a butt reference, but there's no actual <laughs> but, middle butt reference. But and no actual butt. There we go. Let's fence in there real quick. I just made him into a eunuch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one way to do it. Didn't want to take away the guy's manhood. I mean... True. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Miércoles? Miércoles? What does that mean? Is that uh is that a day of the week Wednesday miracles? I can't remember. Lunes. What are the dude? What are the days of the week in Spanish? Oh man, I actually speaking of Wednesday. Wednesday, I feel like we should warn you that um Nick Nick has reached like Uber troll level, um and so I'm pretty sure the next time he sees you, and it's not a Wednesday, you you'll definitely hear about it. <laughs> Nick's streams are like next level right now. Oh my god, they're so fucking hilarious. Kind of funny. But you, d you definitely have to be in the mood for it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel exhausted when I'm in there. But they're good. Yeah. Three minutes, guys. Three minutes to go. If if he's ever actually on after one of these streams and we raid him, we have to come up... We have to change the name of the raid call to something super fucking trolly. Uh, Yeah. We definitely should. I mean, I'd be down for raiding Nick at some point. Yeah. Miyakure is Wednesday, yeah? I knew it. I knew it. Uh, Nick who? Give yourself a high five, Joby. He's a, uh, well, pri primarily an art streamer, but he's also doing a lot of video games, and he's a super trolly guy. But really, really good dude. I think he actually took out most of his creative streams now. They're not part Did of he? his main streaming, uh... No shit, huh? Yeah. Huh, that's unfortunate. I mean, yeah, it is I what it he's, is. Like he's he's really good. I don't I don't know if he's it's like having nerve issues and it's it's just getting too much. Yeah, um, I don't know. Way, but yeah, nice. his graphite work is really gorgeous. I know, makes me a little sad. Just evolutions, just evolutions of uh channels, right? Yeah, very true. Like how, how, you're not really an art streamer anymore. You're just a. Uh, I chat. do. What are you talking about? I had an art stream last night. <laughs> do you not remember this? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> See. See, I, I, am a, I totally am an art streamer. Mm -hmm. uh, there is one minute left. One minute. Oops. Oh, did I not save this? I'm pretty happy with these. Oh, I did not. All right. Pretty, pretty, pretty happy. Only English, por favor. Solamente as, uh, inglés, por favor. He took out art, yeah. <laughs> Sam. I really just enjoy these like more casual, like non-rendering nights and just practicing line work and sketching. It's super fun. Mm hmm I like it a lot. Yeah, these are these are really fun nights for me. Not sure how you guys feel about them, but yeah, I, like, I about... like them a lot. Yeah, less than a minute, guys. Less than a minute. It definitely encourages me to like just want to go back and start drawing more too. Mm -hmm. Like get my sketchbook out and just drawing. There's something fun just with just sketching, you know, yeah. and not like worrying about stuff being super perfect and just yeah, to capture like, form. Yeah. Keeping it kind of loose and yeah, you know, like, not like over rendering stuff and yeah, it's good.
Ventriloquism streams, yes, that, that's what they are. Vent ventriloquism streams, hello. I'm pretty happy with that. We're about five seconds, guys. Five seconds. Five seconds. Oh my goodness. Time is up, boys and girls. Go ahead and save your piece, load it up on Discord, and we'll start recapping these in a second here. All right. Not bad. Oh, I need, I need anybody hashtags in my stream. Fuck. Oh, see, isn't that annoying? Like, the fact that you have to redo it every single stream. Like, some people do stream the same stuff every time. What'd you do for yours? Um... Digital art painting? <laughs> Anime titties? I just threw anime in there. I don't know. I just throw anime in there all the time. <laughs> what what else would you, what'd you the, do though? Um, I did digital art, uh, illustration, anime? painting, sketching, and anime. Anime titties, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh yeah, thank you, Indian. Yeah, yeah, guys. Um, if you guys are posting in the uh, study channel, um, and you would like a critique, please make sure to mention it in the body of your yes. post. Otherwise, we will just kind of uh, move on into into your stream, uh, the next yep. ones. Well, we'll still show it off on stream. Don't worry about that. We'll still show it off on stream, but we'll just like kind of look at it and make some positive observations, and then move on from there. Yeah, your work will always be shown. Do not worry about that. But yeah, for critiques, just request a critique. Mm -hmm. Time is up. Thank you, Lee. Appreciate that. Get the charcoal. Actually, I, I found a whole bunch of sticks of charcoal last night. Um, Did you? I was actually debating when to transfer this to do this in charcoal, but I'm going to do ink, I think, instead. Gotta get... No, I, you gotta I, I, do I, inks and ink tool for me. I don't really give a shit about ink tool, if I'm uh, being honest. Like, so I funny. mean, it's fine. What's like, you? But you I'm, came I'm, up I'm, with I'm some not, of your not... best pieces last year. We have, like, two of them. Okay, let, let me talk. No. What I'm, say, what I'm saying is I don't really give a shit about taking advantage of the, the hashtag. Like, um, I'll do ink, so I like doing ink. Like, I, You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't care if I do this as ink or charcoal. But I think the fact that I put a lot of detail into the actual dragon... Like, I want to actually get that done in lines. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. It could actually work as a uh, charcoal piece, but the tattoo, I think, would be a pain in the ass to do in charcoal. So. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I see that, and I think ink. Honestly. Yeah. Um, Kiddiji says, has ever tried doing body jam, but both of us do traditional instead? Um... No, we, we end up both doing our studies digitally. I think, honestly, um, from a streaming standpoint, it's just easier to do it. Yeah, I'd be a nightmare, uh, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, it's, it's just, like, way, way easier to do it digitally. Um, yeah. Just because, like, if you have to start and stop, and, like, I don't know, like, I find that when I do traditional, I get lost in it very a lot easier than I do digital. Pencils down. Toad says, uh, would you ever do an art challenge or using actual pieces of untreated Kingsford charcoal? Of using ac actual treated, untreated charcoal. Are you actually using actual pieces of untreated charcoal? Uh, oh, wow, maybe. You never know. It'd be kind of cool. <laughs> what does untreated charcoal do? Is it I mean, like, Kingsford is like, is like charcoal you use like in a, a barbecue grill. Oh, oh, sh shut up, really? Yeah, thanks for I mean, you probably could. I mean, people make art out of coffee. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Coffee ground stuff, so you probably could. The big thing, too, about the um, doing digital or traditional on stream is, for us as streamers, like, I just kind of got lost in the thought there for a second, but uh, mm -hmm. having to like take photos of the work and stuff, too, like it just it's it, it adds another like le 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 layer of yeah. complexity on top of already dual streaming and reading two chats. So it would just be kind of a headache. I don't actually mind doing traditional. I know Panda doesn't mind doing traditional on her uh, own stream, but mm -hmm. you think they would they sponsor me? Maybe that'd be pretty sweet. Get a, a Kingsford uh, <laughs> sponsorship. That see, that's how that's how you get big. You you do the the unique kind of art that like no one else is really doing out of yeah. unconventional stuff. I do a barbecuing stream and then do charcoal. There right you after. go. There you go. Just make sure it's not so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pam. I, you know, just just letting you know. It's you know, sometimes when you're on stream, you don't think about these things. Hold on. Kidder G says, "Yeah, sounds easier. Digital is quicker and less distracting. Yeah, especially with sharing and like all that kind of stuff. It's just it's just way way easier." Let 
<clears throat> you don't even have to photo, just snip the OBS preview? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, I guess that could work too. The OBS pre- oh, that's, that's true. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Hmm. Actually, that makes it a lot easier. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, I didn't think of that at all. 200 IQ play, right? That's like, that's really, really smart. I definitely did not consider that at all. Wow. Wow. 3,000 words per minute. 3,000. Oh, right. Nipples. <laughs> yeah, no nipples, guys. No nipples. Our, no nips. Our, our people are um, nippleless and they are uh, genitalless, okay? Yep. They, they are born we're, we're... out of AIDS. <laughs> we're, we're drawing the eunuch from uh, Game of Thrones. No, but even the eunuch has nipples. These these guys are... I've got nipples. Can you milk me? <laughs> yeah, hmm? there you go. You're drawing the mascot from Community. <laughs> or that. Wait, what's or the mascot that. from Community? I actually don't know. I don't know if I've watched Community. I don't know anything about it. Um, do you want to start showing these off? What do you think? Um, they are gender neutral. Yes, kind of, sort of. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a few to go through already, so we can go ahead. Guys, keep posting, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, start showing them off as you guys post. Yep, yep. Um, and that way again, we won't get too far behind. Again, be very sure to not have uh, nipples. Nipples. Also, Ooh. I think. Um, Shrimpy, can you try reposting yours? By the way, it looks like it's a, it's posted as a file. Yeah, um, it's a huge. Well, it's not a huge file actually. It's weird. It's not. It's not. Um, if there's some way, maybe ask a mod to help you. Um, to post it as a file because I actually don't want to download anything on yeah. your computer. Sorry. What's up, Diablo? How you doing, man? Hi, Diablo. All right, guys, are you ready to show? <laughs> some Samarian says, my nipples are covered. Okay, good, Samarian, good. <laughs> All right, here we go. So here, I'm not going to show the reference because we didn't center the nipples in the actual reference. GG. But here we go. Ooh, yo, WC, that looks really good, man. Yeah, this is, I really like this. I love these I love... loose kind of sketches. Yeah. It's really Very nice, pretty. man. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love how you're not scared to go over the actual, like, outside sketch edge, too. Mm-hmm. Like your your cross hatching actually kind of breaks the actual mold, I guess. For, you know, on the actual uh, piece here, looks really good though. Uh, Diablo, we are doing a dual study stream with Jay Hansen Art today. Um, this is a community driven study stream, and right now we're actually we just finished up with one reference, um, and we are about to go over the community studies. Um, but there is a Cadgar link if you'd like to watch us both, and then also the link to our Discord if you want to participate because we'll be doing at least two or three more references today. Yep. Wayward, what's going on? I see you in chat. How are you Hi, doing? Wayward. Uh, we got shrimpies here. It looks like it just got removed, so maybe we can... Uh, oh, no, it didn't get removed. Uh, but maybe you can uh, maybe re-upload your actual mm -hmm. image. That'd be good, shrimpy. Uh, Puff did one, I think, from last week. Yeah, the pose looks like last week's posed. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on from Looks really nice. One. It does look really nice. Like so just to, just, uh, just to kind of reiterate, though, uh, going forward, if you're doing, like, uh, pieces from, not from the current study week, just drop those in the actual Ketchup Studies mm -hmm. channel. It's uh, three channels down from where you're dropping it right now. In the Ketchup channel. Not the Mustard channel, but the Ketchup one. Wow, that's... You guys hear how shitty that joke was? <laughs> the joke was so bad. <laughs> oh, my God. It was amazing. What are you talking about? Wow. <laughs> it was amazing. Vampire Panda, what's up? Welcome back. No worries. Go ahead and lurk. No worries. How you doing? That was I one of the worst jokes I've heard in a while. Such a straight face, too. Joke was so bad. Jesus. Wow, okay. Let's, till it's wow. Who's let's keep moving down. On? Let's keep moving down. Vital, Vital not sponsored. Oh my this. god, Vital. <laughs> Holy uh, shit, Vital. I like it, man. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, this is amazing. That's really, really good. I love how angular your lines are. Um, yeah, me too. They look beautiful. It looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Even and the uh, the head is actually um, rendered like it's very loose, but the hair and stuff, it's all really well done. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, I, you have to, you got a really good feel for this piece. Yeah, I actually really like how you gave his legs muscles too, while keeping like the sort of slimness of his limbs. Yeah, looks looks good though, man. We got uh, Wayward jumping in here and chat now, too. Nice. That looks really good, too. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Again, really guys, fantastic. remember, if you want a critique, just request it in the channel. Mm -hmm. 
in case you guys missed that. But this looks really fantastic, too. I think you did a great job with the face, actually. Yeah, the head is really well rendered, mm -hmm. right? And That's super, positioning super and well done. Is pretty good, too. Hi, yeah. Caster! Yo, Ricky! What's up? How are you? It's a study thing again. Yeah, what's up, Ricky? <laughs> we got plenty of time to join in, man. You have not missed it. This is just the first reference. We have, like, two or three more references to do. Yeah, we got a lot of time. Yeah, really nice work, though, way work. Yeah, I like the, the shading you're, you got going with the graphite, too. But seriously, the mm -hmm. face is really well done. Uh, she says, I like how everyone did angular. Yeah, I mean, it it's kind of depends on how you want to approach it. Um, mm -hmm. I do think slender, more slim slender. I guess we, you know, maybe more bony kind of looks. Kind of, um, kind of uh, relate to more angular, I think, naturally ang angular. Yeah, but. yeah. I, and it also, I think, depends. Because I think men in general, they're not drawn as soft as females, right? So I feel like drawing men angularly just naturally sort of makes sense where um even yeah. when we were doing the women's studies last week i think a lot of people still drew like you know like really smooth curves um yeah. so i, I think that that's sense. part of it too and ricky thank you so much for the follow yeah that's that's a really good point it's it's kind of funny i think people just naturally equate more mm -hmm. curvaceous in, in rounder shapes with females but yeah we got junk <laughs> brush dude this looks really good too man yeah junk brush this looks really nice I like that kind of like the torso structure on the right, but it really mm -hmm. translates to the actual figure you got down. The form looks really fantastic. I, I also like really appreciate. You got going to yeah, it. I really appreciate how you're actually doing like the cylindrical kind of shapes too, to kind of imply the mm -hmm. cylinder shapes for the arms, the thighs, the calves, and stuff. But it, it just it reads very three dimensional because of those extra line weights you're putting in there. Yeah, it's it's really this is really nice. It feels very like it actually feels very gestural. Like it's got a lot of energy right? to it. I think so too. Uh, Samarian says, I don't draw dudes, just dongs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Samarian, wow. It's like, it's like the opposite, uh... uh of what? Of, of, um, like our study tonight. Because we're, we're drawing dudes, but no dongs. True. We actually got rid of all the dongs. Um, Risa, it says Crick, please, but we don't actually see your piece. Yeah, you Risa... Yeah, drop your piece in there. If you drop your piece maybe further down, we, we see the crit, the crit message. We'll, we'll definitely mm -hmm. drop you a critique. Uh, Ricky, we got... Go Ricky ahead, says we're drawing Ken dolls. <laughs> <laughs> we are, right? I mean, technically even worse than Ken dolls, Ricky, because these guys don't have nipples either. Right, we got totes critique, please. All right. Totes looks nice pretty toast. damn good, too. Yeah, good angle to the hips. Um, you managed yep. to capture the angle of the hips as well as the straightness of the shoulders. I think the only thing that... Um, 13 is my lucky number. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Mikey, for the resub. Um, <laughs> I, I think for me, the first thing, like right off the bat, that I would sort of mention as a critique is that the torso is, is too short. He's a very long dude. Like he's, he's pretty tall, if you see. And so I would actually like extend out your torso more because right now he's reading kind of average height. Um, and I also That's... think because of that, it's making the arms feel like they're a little bit long too. Actually, I kind of feel like the torso is actually, I think, almost there. I think it's just that the legs look way too short. Do you think so? Yeah. Like, I mean, I, th I think the torso could be extended longer. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the uh, reference from the shoulder up to the hand, like up to the wrist, that length visually is pretty close from the shoulder down to about the uh, the V line of the hip bone, like right below mm, the belly bone. Okay. So I feel like the, the torso could be a little bit longer, like Pam is saying. But I think what's really kind of maybe throwing a, a wrench in here is that the legs are just too short. Yeah, I see that. I, I definitely agree with the, the legs being short. Yeah, because your arms actually look like they're really well... They're, they're actually... The, the proportions are really well rendered for the mm -hmm. most part. Like you got that negative space between the top of the head up to the wrists down pretty damn well. Um, yeah, I, I think, honestly, you have a really good start here, Totes. I think just maybe look and address the length of those thighs. Mm -hmm. And I think if you got the thighs down lower and the kneecap down lower, it's going to make the pieces look longer and kind of just flow a bit better. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I agree. Um, yeah. And then I guess a smaller nitpicking point, which is just for future reference, not not necessarily not necessarily for right now, but just for, for future references. Like when when someone's like this uh, thin and they're stretching their arms up, you'll actually see the rib cage stick out, like yeah. just a little bit. Yep. Which <laughs> I think they, they I think Toads try to imply with some shadow work and stuff there, but I think you could probably get a little bit more. Uh, like more of like a, a confident defined edge there to kind of get those ribs showing like a like divot. a like a divot. a divot there you go but uh yeah i think it's a really good start um mm -hmm. i think just 
get that get the pelvis down just a touch lower get those thighs down a bit longer because if you think about it right now from your shoulders to your elbow the length of the upper arm is actually longer than what you have from your hips down to your knees which is kind of mm -hmm. a little bit of an inaccuracy right like your legs should be a bit longer than your actual arms yeah so and right, right now they're about equal length uh, or maybe the arms actually being even longer in that case so uh i think there's a lot of really good stuff there though so far oh my god samarium Wow. What? <laughs> it's the next one, too. Oh, wow. It's, it's a happy place. So, you know, it deserves a smiley face there. Um, you know, and I very much approve of the bless emotes to use as censorship. Good job, I think Samaria. so, too. You know, good job. Uh, it's actually, this is really good. I mean, you didn't ask for critique. I think you did a really good job on this one, though. I actually think you did a really good job capturing his energy, Samarian, because I actually feel yeah. like he's stretching. So you, mm -hmm. you did a good job with that hip tilt and also getting the the, the, the energy in the arms. Yeah. I, I like that softness, too, like your shadow render and stuff, mm -hmm. especially along that left edge, because it's very hard in shadow on the uh, the reference material along that like outer left line, all the way down from the wrist to the actual ankle. So I think you've got a nice kind of defined shadow put in there really well. Yeah, this so is a really, really good study. Looks really good. Oh, it's hot in here. We got Miss Pamada. I'll take a quick peek at yours. I think you did a good job on this one too, Pam. Thank you. This was fun. This one was definitely yeah. fun. Uh, sorry, one second. I'm turning off. I'm turning on my fan because it's actually getting hot in here. I see you on your phone right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. No, this it's one okay. was a lot of fun. I think I definitely went more angular, kind of like we were talking about with other people. I think, you know, just when you're doing uh trying to convey something to be more masculine, you tend to do more angles too, so... Yeah, can I make one critique? Sure. Just make the last of the head make it like 10% bigger. Oh, okay, yeah. The head was seriously an afterthought. I was I was more so yeah. focused on the body. The body looks really good though. Thank you. It's like the angular kind of like stretched out look really, really well done. Thank you. Very nice. And we got, we got yours, uh, a very nice black box. <laughs> Big black box right there. <laughs> not, not a unique here, guys. This one is properly censored. <laughs> Hi, Lizzo. Do you love the colors? <laughs> uh, Lee says, looks like charcoal to Pam. Yeah, I think so, too. It has a really cool touch to Pam's. Oh, really? Hmm. Yours looks really nice. I, I really am enjoying these sketches that you're doing. I actually really yeah. like how you ended up doing the knees, too. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one so far. Looks good warm-up sketch, I feel like, for mm -hmm. both of us here. Uh, Poppy says, just wanted to participate. Don't critique, don't critique, and don't showcase. Fuck off. Showcase! <laughs> We're showcase, show, showcasing right now. Showcasing right now. Um, your but figure on this looks really good, though, Morbid. Your your lines are actually... I feel like your sketch lines lately are, have a lot more confidence to them. Yeah. It's really nice. Especially in the Guy's looking pretty here. good on this one, too. Mm -hmm. Good job, man. Beastie? Beastie, do you want critiques? You generally ask for critiques, but he's not asking for one right now. Very nice, Teehee. You got me, fam. <laughs> got him. Uh, Beastie says, eh, sure. Thank you, Wednesday. So, right at the bat, dude, uh, I feel like the body, the torso, the, the hips look pretty good. Um, I think you... you I think you kind of lost a little bit in terms of, like, the hand locations. Like you're, you're kind of you're kind of tilting the body properly, but I feel like you need to have the uh, the the canvas right shoulder over the actual canvas right hip a bit more, because right now the way you drew it, you're, you're, all the weight is on the straight a vertically straight canvas left leg going down. We're oh shit, wow, dude, DK, Aww, thank you, man. DK. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, dude. I I, I really do appreciate that. Uh, Papa bless. <laughs> All right, so I, I think I think what happened is you got the hip tilt down really well, but I think you you kind of missed um, missed the opportunity there to kind of get that canvas right leg straight down with the canvas left leg out. And I think that's actually what's throwing off the uh, the overall look because the, uh, the that left the canvas right leg needs to be straight underneath the torso more, and that would actually create the appearance of the body tilting canvas right above it. And uh, mm -hmm. so I think that just not getting your the hips and the legs sort of foundationally set is kind of throwing the upper body off a little bit. If that makes sense. Yeah, I, I can see that. I'm actually I'm looking at the reference right now. Um, I also think your arm placement beastie could probably be exaggerated slightly to the right too. Like it's 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 uh, like if I'm looking at the reference, it's actually coming toward the left a little bit. 
Mm -hmm. Um, So, like, once you sort of, like, get that leg placement done and then also shift the arms a bit towards the right, I think you'll actually get that sort of feeling of extension in his torso. Yeah. That's kind of being lost right now. Yep, yep, I think that's that's a really good way to do it. So, yeah, BC is jokingly saying I did start with the bush, but honestly, like, I think if you kind of gotten the um, the pelvis down, it kind of established, like, that lower frame of the body a bit more and then got the upper body kind of tilting up properly to the canvas Mm -hmm. right. I think that would have just kind of thrown everything kind of in, into perspective for you properly. But other than that, though, man, it, it's definitely a really good start. Your proportions look really good, too. Like, the, the shape and size of the head in relation to the shoulders and stuff, too. Mm-hmm. There's, some, there's some good takeaways from that piece, for sure, man. Uh, and, uh, yeah, yes, I'm doing good. I'm doing very good. Thank you. We got uh, Puff dropping another one. Another recap one. Puff looks fantastic. Very nice, Puff. I, I like that you're doing this with pen, too. Yeah, it looks really good. I like how loose it is, too. And uh, then we got uh, Ocean. Ocean. Uh, wants to be critiqued. To be critiqued. Dude, nice. <laughs> I think Ocean tried to draw a little potato face down there. I think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, Ocean, I think you actually captured the tilt of the hip and the and the shoulders really well. The arm, the arm extension looks nice, too. It actually... The torso actually reads... Like it's extending out quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you did a really good job at that, I think actually. So too. I actually, I think the only thing that I might, I don't, I feel like the arms are a touch short. I think so too. I was gonna yeah. say that. I think that's where I'm seeing um, uh, an area of improvement. Is I, I just feel like the arms are just a touch on the short side. Yeah. Bye, Wizzle. Thank you so much for mm-hmm. hanging out. Better, Wizzle. And uh, Gina, what's going on, man? Hopefully you got the link from uh, a mod there. I think they dropped it in chat. But uh, welcome to uh, Study Jam. And if you want to join in, the Discord link is there. <laughs> plus, the Cadgar link is there for you, too. Oh, man. I just want to say, though, um, before I move on, Ocean, I think this one looks really good. Um, I think really the only main critique proportion-wise, like Pam said, is just maybe increase the length of the arms. Uh, it looks really good otherwise. Like I, I actually think you got the anatomy down exceptionally well in this piece, mm-hmm. in proportions on this piece. Um, I would just actually maybe... Inc- Increase the height of the elbows a touch more, and then get the the length of the forearms just a bit higher up, and then kind of really emphasize like that extension, right? Mm-hmm. But I think it looks really good otherwise. Holy fuck, Shrimpy! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow! Shrimpy, this is amazing! Wow. Amazing! <laughs> Eight out of nine, right there, Shrimpy. <laughs> Dear Lord! It's it's kind of perfect. I just. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, admire Sheldon I don't think the shoulders are wide enough or something critique thank you Papa Bless <laughs> well thank you great, great job Shrimpy <laughs> admire this is really nice though I actually love the way you did the legs I, I think yeah. you got that hip tilt and, and the angle of the knees and the thighs down really well um, I think I think maybe the neck looks a little bit thick, maybe, mm-hmm. in, relation, in relation to the size of the head. So maybe the head could be a bit larger, I think. Just ever so slightly larger. I, I do I, it, I do agree with you. I don't necessarily know if it's a, if it's the what? shoulders that are not... Cause she, she thinks that the shoulders are not wide enough. I actually think it's more the rib cage. Uh, because if you look in the reference, his rib cage kind of like barrels out in a way because he's so yeah. stretched out. So I actually feel like if you exaggerated the extension of the ribs... Yeah, um, I agree with that. Then it would read more like the reference because um. So with if you're looking at the reference, um, his rib cage actually it's it doesn't taper in. It actually uh, kind of is almost like a square because he's he's extended himself like that. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> no, no, no. I think you actually make complete sense because the rib cage actually in the canvas left side, admire, the rib cage itself is vertically in line with the actual like up the by the tricep of that that same arm mm-hmm. where like you have the arm itself on the, on your on your drawing further out so i think just playing up the the slenderness of that waist and then kind of bowing out that rib cage more mm-hmm. to kind of increase the mass of the rib cage because the in your in the actual reference material the upper body of the torso is probably wider than the hips or as wide as the hips yeah or, yeah or I feel like your hips are a bit wider in your drawing so I think just ex- maybe giving more mass to that torso, it's, it's going to make those arms look a little bit more slender. And I think also just, I think the head is a little bit undersized too. Mm-hmm. Just very, ever, it's just very slightly undersized, but like I think that's what's kind of throwing you off here. Hello, Rendering and dog. stuff. 
sorry. Wow. I didn't know you were done. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's all good. I, I think rendering otherwise, like the, the actual legs, the pelvis, the torso and stuff looks really good. The rib cage rendering, even like that middle line for that, like the rib cage itself below the sternum looks really, really well done. Mm -hmm. So good stuff. Senpai level. BRB. All right, no problem, Ocean. We got Punto. Hey, man, this looks really good too. So long. He's he's so long that he's a genie in a bottle. Never is he? Never pull out. Never. Yeah, never pull out. Never dot dot dots. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, Lorenzo, what's uh, up, man? This looks really good though, Punto. I I like that you captured his rib cage, and I like the extension you have in his arms. I like, I like the hairy thighs. <laughs> 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 it's, it's honestly a good small detail to have noticed, though. It, it really it's it's is. the details, right? It's the yeah. details. Uh, okay, this is this is uh, Rizza's. Uh, it says oh, there we go. Please. There we go. Thank you, Beastie. Uh, this looks, this looks really good too. Yeah, this looks really good. I'm actually. Um, I, I think you got the length of him really well. Um, I do yeah. think he's a little pose wise. He's feeling a little bit straight. A little um, rigid, right? Huh. He's a little, little bit rigid, I feel like. He's very Yeah, vertical. yeah, that's that's a really good way to do it. Um he does I feel like he's just missing like a little bit of a bend into his uh what is it, the right side. Um just mm -hmm. to, to sort of like uh convey that he's like stretching. Um, yeah. and so I think you just probably need to sh uh tilt him just just a little bit. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think Pam nailed it though, like you really got the proportions and the length of the body down really well. Mm -hmm. uh, it, just, it just looks like you didn't quite get the kind of like gestural feel of the sketch. It feels very, uh, just very kind of rigid and vertical. Which actually, I mean, the way you rendered it though actually works. Like, yeah. I, I think this actually reads really well as like a stretching person, right? Yeah, yeah. But, but I, I just feel like that maybe that hip kind of, the hip tilt a little bit's a little bit missing. Like that kind of like sassy kind of like, kind of throwing yeah, that hip out to, to be honest, I, I agree, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it still looks really good. Like I think your proportions otherwise are reading really well. Mm-hmm. It's just, this is a really good study, actually, Riza. I think you, I think you just need to put in a little bit of energy into his pose, and it'll it'll actually sell like the whole thing so so well. Is something wrong with your Discord? Cause you got kicked. Did you get kicked? Uh, maybe uh, Lorenzo, talk to a mod. Maybe I'm I'm not entirely. Um, maybe I can take take a look at that for you. Art Geek, what's up, dude? How you doing? Also, uh, Riza, who who are you in chat? Show yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. Think, who's Riza? Actually, I just realized I'm like I, I don't know who that is. I think it's your first time here, Riza. How you doing? Zara says jumped in late, but destroy me. Destroy you. <laughs> Dude, this looks really good. Wow, Zara, this looks really nice. I actually love how you managed to capture that little uh, dent from his rib cage down to his hips, like yeah, his torso yeah. extends out. That that's really really nice. Um. It actually it reads really well, man. I think it. Let me let me pull up the reference again, just so I can kind of compare. I actually think you captured his shape pretty well. Yeah, I, I do too. I'm kind of going back and forth myself. Yeah, right now, me too. Look. I'm trying to figure out. I think the only thing, the only thing that I would probably mention is he feels in terms of perspective. In terms of perspective, where you have his um. The, the his middle line where his rib, where his rib cage meets, mm, I think it actually yeah. needs to shift to the left a little bit yeah, and I curve. Think so too. Like I, I think yeah. the line that you have here, Zara, is too straight. Um, and, yep. and keep in mind that your ribs they, they do this, you know. So um, especially he's at a slight like turn, so that yeah. that curve is gonna show through. So yeah, basically like that that like sternum shadow that, that center line of the between the nipples mm -hmm. and kind of curving down to the uh, that like inner line of that rib cage. Like Pam is saying, just shift those and kind of curve that. Like, there's like a nice little curved arc to it, mm -hmm. um, angling towards the canvas left. And I think that kind of helps sell like that upper body being kind of tilted with it. So I think that vertical line just looks too rigid. It, it, that's actually what's throwing it off right now. Um, I do think too the canvas right thigh, like the butt kind of going down to that thigh, maybe widen out that leg just a, a smidge. The butt. Because it, it kind of like tapers in, like almost concaves a little bit on that outer edge. Mm -hmm. Right, I think it kind of needs to be a little more, um, kind of curving down towards the knee. More oh subtly. yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah. But like, it's like super minor tweaks, man. Like, I, I think otherwise your proportions look really good on this piece. I mean, he did say destroy him, so you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shrimpy, have a great night too. I'm glad bye, you came Shrimpy. By. Have a good night. But, but yeah, otherwise, I think this looks really good, man. I think your proportions are really well uh, rendered on this mm -hmm. one. Seriously, I good job. Again. 
We got a, oh, a couple more entries on here, too. We got Black IP. Dude, Dude, this is nice. a beautiful render, Black Eye. Yeah, right? I Dragon, what's up? Yeah, yeah, this is this is really, really nice. I think you, you did great a great job capturing the in the values in such a limited time, too. Yeah, this looks pretty fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your values are, I mean, you, you got this down pretty damn quick. I also appreciate that you kind of skeletoned it out first. Yeah. Uh, just to sort of understand the gesture of it. Mm-hmm. Very good. It looks really good. Very, yeah, I think it's a really good. nice study. Good job, Black IP. And Junior. Junior. JJ. <laughs> good, good job, man. Good job. Oh, I love this. This is really beautiful. Again, so Indian actually went a little bit. He, he kind of almost did a combination of having like semi jagged lines. Like you can see it in the bone and um, even sort of transitioning into the the waist into the hips and stuff like that but then like he added some curves for the muscles of the arms mm -hmm. and the thighs and i think it reads super super well in the end that's a good way to do it yeah mm -hmm. you kind of keep the straight more rigid lines like for the more bony features and then obviously musculature those longer musculature structures like thighs triceps biceps forearms you can kind of go more towards the curvy side to them too but yeah this mm -hmm. looks really good man yeah this is really really solid jj good job that, 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 that's a great study <laughs> All right, boy. Oh, there's there's Rizza, by the way, in, in chat over there. What's up, Rizza? How you doing? Oh, hi, Rizza. Hello. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> You're welcome, son. Oh, oh my gosh, Rizza! Thank you so much for the sub. Holy shit. Um, thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, Rizza, there is a sub-only channel that you now get access to. Um, just make sure that you are a part of Discord and that your Discord is synced with Twitch. If you have any issues with that, contact a mod. Um, and in that sub only channel, you can actually download the illustrations that I created for the month of September. Uh, we probably need to reconnect. Let's, let's join the um, Study Jam voice okay. Discord because we're actually breaking up a little bit now. Okies. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello? Hey. Okay. You started off really soft for some reason in this channel, and then it's like it adjusted to your volume. That was kind of strange. Sorry about that. Uh... Yeah, oh, I'm here. I'm just talking to you. Sorry about that. No worries. Is everything all set, uh, Lorenzo? Oh, is, is Lorenzo still having issues? I don't, I don't really know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> the Discord was like, Lorenzo, you don't have enough clap. I'm going to kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> you need to have an extra dose of clap right meow. Right meow. Should we play, should we play that song on stream? Oh my god. Yes, go ahead and play the song on stream because I don't have to hear it, right? <laughs> that, you know what? You should take a snippet of that song and use that for your sub alert. I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, that would actually <laughs> be you, Dad, by the way. perfect. Perfect. All right. Um, Are we ready for the next one? Yeah, one second, it's playing. <laughs> oh. I do, I do. It's the theme song of James's channel, Dragon. It's the theme song. <laughs> no, there's no clap in here, goddammit. My hoes are STD free. Can't make money if they have STD. I do, James. I do. There we go. Alright, no more no more clap. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and grab the next <laughs> reference. Me, it says fuck, there goes the theme song that I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we can cycle through them. We can cycle through them in the end. Hi, Rose. Who How wants to you? clap? I do, I do. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys ready for number two? Is, is that the What's part up, you're going to snip for uh Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So fucking perfect, man. It's so good. <laughs> she likes clapping. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> All right. Number, reference number two, guys. Get ready for it. Is your timer ready to go, Pam? My timer is ready to go. All right, let me go ahead and drop the link. Number two, 30 minutes. Back view with some kibble and bits hanging there. No, there are no kibble and bits hanging. None. Well, I mean, don't don't draw the kibble and bits, but, you know, it's, he it's there. He definitely had some hanging kibbles and bits. <laughs> we, we had a hang, hanging donger there. All right, guys, timer is going. Ready, Pam? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Go. Who wants to clap? I do, I do. Do you now? Do you? Aren't you the clap giver though? So you. I think this fell over. So you should was not it, was want it, was to. Was it your dog? No. I, I don't know. Something was probably just balanced in the wrong way and it, it fell over right now. Yeah, no, Lee, no problem, man. Go, go get some sleep before work. 
Bye, Lee. <laughs> Thank you so much and for participating. Re- <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a good song. Um, it really is. Oh man, there's, right. there's some command fun that you can have with that too. I feel like. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm gonna look for the center point. The center of his spine. Ass. His yeah. his middle butt. His middle butt. So if you look at so the the majority of the back, like two thirds or three quarters of the of the back shot of the torso, right? It has like the actual shoulders, like down to the like where the pelvis is. It's slightly vertical with a slight curve to the left and then like the actual pelvis actually does curve like his hips actually are turned so just trying to find like those diagonal lines he is also he, had, he, he basically has kind of a similar stance to the other dude just not as yeah. uh, stretched out where all of yeah. the, like all of his weight is on his uh canvas left foot yes yeah that's a really good thing just to mention there so yeah if you can kind of find the hips what you want to do then is, if you start finding the legs, the weight, like Pam said, is on that canvas left leg right there. Actually, it's canvas left and also left leg, right? Oh, yeah, he's actually facing, like, I guess the right way. <laughs> yeah. The first. Hey, what's up, Rose? I see you in chat. How you doing? So what you maybe want to do then is to emphasize that weight distribution. Like, I typically just do, like, a straight line from that hip straight down. You don't need to be accurate with it, but just kind of find the length of that leg and then from there you can kind of like work out like where that butt cheek is how that butt cheek works in in relation to the other side like that because the other the right side butt's actually a little bit lower so they're the uh the angle of that hip kind of matches the angle of the butt cheeks right mm-hmm. and so if you kind of find that kind of rectangular shape you can then work out where the other leg is going to be so start finding your different distances right so Here's my butt cheek. Here is the the back of the left knee. I'm going to find the back of the right knee over here. It's slightly higher than the left knee. Not, not that much higher, but slightly higher. And you can do like a, a nice diagonal line from the the right leg down to the back of that knee location you just kind of sketched in right there. Just a little basic stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Let's draw James's butt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Miriam, I think that isn't how we get banned. Yeah. We, we don't want to get we're... banned before TwitchCon. I'm pretty sure we'll lose our table, so let's let's not do that, guys. Oh. I'm, wor- I'm working. I'm working towards partnership and not getting banned, so Marion. Yeah, okay. yeah. But as soon as as soon as he's done, as soon as he's done getting partnership, that's when the 24 exclusive, you know, not safe for work Patreon comes out with all with all the exclusive butt photos. By the way, also, um, I know you've been you've been um talking about my my uh, exclusive nudes on your your uh-huh. uh, Patreon. Yeah. People are actually asking where where the uh, the nudes are now. <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've been asking. Uh, they've actually been telling me. Like, I still haven't gotten the nudes yet. Um, they're you know they they come as they're available, and for some reason James isn't sending me any guys. So you're gonna have to take it up with him. All right. So once you have this established, actually, if anyone's to blame for that, it's Morbid. He's the one that wrote the marketing for that, so technically, he's the one liable for this. So Morbid, start sending those nudes, okay? <laughs> Do you need more uh, nudes, Morbid? Let me know. Let me know, Poppy. After part, we draw the butt. Then there we go. Uh, Morbid says, "You draw the left butt cheek. I'll draw the right. We fusion them and present it in study channel." <laughs> God. Oh, God. Fusion. I look forward to Googling this man ass for the next half hour. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of how I, I approach these at least, right? Mm-hmm. Um, if I'm looking for other observations, like that little kind of like inward, like hip bend to the, where the waist is and it kind of angles back out to kind of the hourglass shape on the left side. That wherever that little like indent is, is kind of where the elbow is going to be located on that left arm. And that left arm is almost straight down vertically from the shoulder. You kind of do like a straight line down to that, that elbow's location. So once you kind of like start eyeballing like where things start and stop, you can kind of like start like sketching those like cylindrical shapes. Like find like the shape of the shoulder, maybe do a cylinder straight down from the shoulder to the elbow. You know, things like that. Find out where the, uh, the hand's going to be in relation to the butt. 
So I'm actually noticing in mine right now, I think my butt is too short. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and lasso this and bring it down a little bit. You have a short butt, James? I, I actually, I really don't. I've got a pretty long body on me. So is your butt long? <laughs> I think I'm about, I must have a long butt. I don't know. Is there such thing as a long butt? <laughs> Probably. Like a, like a droopy long butt. <laughs> you have a droopy long butt. I'd say I, I'm, I'd say I have a droopy butt, but there could be like a droopy long butt, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if this is a thing or not. Find those shapes. I feel like we're learning way weird, like a strange amount about James today, guys. Hmm. Tangents on the canvas left side are really throwing me off. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. It, it, there's like a lot of like lines that are very much in parallel with each other, right? Mm hmm. Yo, what's up, Sil? James is well versed in butt relations, maybe. <laughs> Hi, Sil. What's up, Sil? How you doing? You can also look for um, some guidelines, guys, where the shoulder blades are to sort of help uh, see the angle of um, like his his shoulders are s they're they're almost straight, but they're actually slightly tilted down to the left, and you can you can actually see yeah. that in the. Um, in the shoulder blades, which the the canvas right one is like sticking out like crazy. Subscribe to Pam's Patreon to see if James has a droopy long butt or not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. What what are you gonna do for your Patreon at this point? We're we're selling you out so hardcore online. You know what they say about guys with droop with long butts? What what, what do, they, do say? they say? I don't actually know. <laughs> is this a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to know? I feel like I don't want to know. Who's got the clap? I do, I do. That song stuck in my head. They drag <laughs> ass and ruin your coffin. Long poops. Oh god, he's thin. Long poop socks, Pam. Not long poops, poop socks. No, I still, same thing. <laughs> Well, it's not the same thing. A poop sock is not a poop. Come on. It contains poop. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you have a long poop, though. It's mean a long poop I sock. I mean, if you have a long poop sock, you're probably going to have a long poop if you don't break in between. It could just mean that you have a, a nice, firm, solid poop, you know? And you just need more, a more sturdy poop sock to contain it. No, you know? it still can totally mean a long poop, dude. But you're making an assumption right now. How, how dare you assume my poops? I... I mean, are you saying you have a long droopy butt? Because that's that's what you're saying right there. You're making a lot of assumptions right now. Okay? You're, you're the one saying that. <laughs> Confirm, James has a long droopy butt, guys. <laughs> oh, his elbows are slightly bent. This is like fucking me up. <laughs> it's flattened like origami. That arm, that hand What's up, starts right around doing, man? butt cheek. All right, so hand about halfway down that left thigh. Find out where that wrist shape is. Find that wrist shape. And then kind of map out that shape of the forearm. Like so. Get some finger locations. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Very technical term right there, guys. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. It's very, very important to your studies right now, okay? Make mm -hmm. sure you take notes. Blah blah blah. BC. BC, are you taking notes? Also, Sil says, Hi James! Hi Pam! Hi Shino! Hey, so A poop sock is a sock filled with poop from various dumps. Therefore, poop sock. Thank you, DK. Thank you. In all honesty, just a, a longer poop sock just implies that you have more room to work with. You know, it might actually be more useful for a longer session, you know? But I'm still saying that, you know, if... Say, say you're just having, like, one big push or something and there's no break in between. You could have a very, very long poop. Y you could, but that doesn't, doesn't necessarily equate to a longer poop sock. Like... If I am a frequent user of a long poop sock, it just might mean that I, I use them for longer duration and I have more room to play with and kind of fill it up, you know? Or you're lazy and you don't change it out. 
Well, that's exactly what it is. That's that's what we're talking about here, Pam. That, that's you're, you're making the argument for me, you know. Why are we talking about? I don't stuff? know. You know. She, Regina, thank you so much for the follow. I apologize that we are talking about poop, as you have uh, entered into the stream. I'm so confused, but I will follow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> literally, literally. Um. Listen, I'm making sense right now. Uh, Pam is just throwing fucking hot air out there. No. I'm confused, but I'll follow. Literally. 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 Uh, JJ says, forget the partner push. Let's talk about long poop stop push. Let's, let's talk about bowel pushes, right? Bowel movement. Very, very important, guys. Very important. Well, the stream is going to be uh, deleted. The VOD. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. We're supposed, to, we're supposed to show these. You can't tell me what I can, can't you? I can too. I tell you all the time. Well, it doesn't mean I listen to you. I mean, obviously, considering last stream you went through Vista print, Moo sticker mule, but then everything before you actually arrived at cat print. <laughs> God, you're so funny, man. I know, I'm hilarious. Thank you. I'm glad you acknowledge that, James. <laughs> um, Literally. Yeah. Laterally. <laughs> Laterally. 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 Hey, it's approved. Yay, finally. That took a long time. Holy shit, it's already like blown up too. Um, sometimes there's a slight delay too between when you actually get a when you get the approval and when it's been approved. Like it sometimes I, I've had one where like if you guys don't know what I'm talking well, about, I'm talking about uh Instagram ads. Um, but I, I've had one where uh, it it actually got approved but I didn't get the approval message for like hours. Well, I'm just gonna say it's already done half of what I did for my other one. Oh wow, nice. Yeah, so this one's actually doing really well. Good, good. So how's your uh, how's your commission going for uh, for Kiester? Kiester, um, it's going pretty good. It's getting close to being done. Um, yeah, it looks really good, Pam. Thank you. It's it's getting there. I, I definitely need it to be done though, because I got a lot of other stuff to work on. Um, but I actually just ordered a gold pen to finish it off with. So mm. if I can get my, I. <laughs> Excuse me, I just burped. Um, you know all that cleaning that I was supposed to do? I haven't done any of it yet, so I really, really need to finish this commission. Uh, just not, not to go off topic, um, Tote says the nude color background is actually making it tough to find a silhouette. Interesting. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. I hadn't really considered that. Um, we'll try fucking with the contrast if we pull from the source again. Yeah, well, Sorry, that guys. definitely noted. That, that's yeah. really good feedback, by the way. Yeah, 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 that's actually extremely... Extremely helpful feedback. I actually, yeah, we hadn't even thought of that because we we saw like this model was really good. Like the body mm -hmm. type was exactly what we we're looking for. So, uh, yeah, we'll we'll definitely take note of that going forward. I read that wrong. Squinting. Mm. Stretsky, what's up, man? Hey, Stretsky, what's up? Yours looks really good too, Pam. Fuck. Oh, thanks. She. Actually, I realized looking at yours that my um my torso wasn't long enough. I was oh, really? of, yeah, I was like, uh, like I started mapping some of the stuff out, and I feel, I, and I realized I was running out of room, and then I happened to glance at yours at the same time, and I was like, oh, like my my torso to hip is like way too fifty fifty, and like he his upper torso is a lot longer. Mm, his, uh, yeah, that's watch. actually the first thing I, I think I mentioned. Like it's, yeah. it's weird. Like the, from like the, uh, like the, like the, 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 the back dimples. He actually has little back dimples, I think, on mm -hmm. there. To the, uh, the back where the base of the neck is. That's probably like seventy-five percent of the back, because in like the bottom quarter is from the dimples down to the underside of the butt cheek. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like 75 to maybe like two thirds of 75 percent is like the upper back from those locations. Yeah, I, I made the same mistake early on. I was able to kind of pinpoint that early and make that adjustment. That's where like sort of seeing your negative space and where things sort of lie into each other comes into a, a really handy. Negative space is, is super. Uh, it's important. It's good. Yeah. yeah. It's a really, really good, important point of referencing to learn and see. Is anyone else getting Michelangelo's David from behind vibes? Yeah, yeah, I, I could definitely see that. Actually, I saw that statue in person. I can't remember where it's actually located, though. But I did see that in person. Um, is that in Florence, I think? It must have been remember. in Florence, yeah, because I don't... Because I went to Rome, and I don't think they... I, I definitely would have checked that out. I, I saw the 16th Chapel, but I didn't see that. Yeah, I think it's in Florence. Elden, thank you for following. How you doing? Yo, and Shino, what's Shino. up, man? Hi, Shino. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, it was either Florence or Pisa. I can't remember where I saw it. I think it might be Florence, though. It's been a while since I've been to uh, Italy. There are many copies, I think. There could be uh, different copies. I'm, I, I think I saw the original, though. Um, I can't think of where it was, though. You did as well when you were in Italy, yeah? You saw it in Florence. Okay. That, that's where, I'm pretty sure that's where I saw it, too. Because I, I, I was in Florence back in, like... 2003. That's the last time I was in Italy. I kind of would want to go back to Europe just to see art. Yeah, dude, that'd be, that'd be it's cool. So it, it it's really just so much. I mean, it it started there, you know, right? Mm -hmm. We're we're a, we're still a new country in a way, but um. Just the architecture is so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Love the uh, there's just just so much history in the actual buildings and stuff. Yeah. Europe. It's kind of nice. That's actually what when I was in there, small fucking world. That and you, yeah, dude. The Eindhoven was amazing. I, I really like that city too. Dude, yeah, she know. I can't believe TwitchCon is so close. It's actually freaking me out a little bit, honestly. How old am I? How old do you think I am, Rosalie? <laughs> we'll play this game real quick. I'll, I'll tell you how old I am, though. How old do you think I am? Um, do you ever fear the day when you play this game and it doesn't work in your favor? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, it is what it is, honestly. 32? Older than that. Oh my god, don't make me. But it's such a fun game to play. Older than 35. Oh my god. So Mary, <laughs> 50! 50 now, we're, 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 we're pushing a little, a little too like, high now. You went, you went too far, too far. <laughs> She's like, fuck this game, just tell me. I'm gonna guess 50 to make you tell me. I'm 37. Fucking tell me. Price is right rolls. <laughs> too far. One dollar. Too low. Too low. The closest price is. I, I know she know, but I barely leave the house. Like actually, you know, Siege is gonna be in San Jose like a few days early. And I was kind of like, I will definitely try and hang out with you, but I cannot promise. <laughs> this close to the con, I cannot promise. That's crazy. You don't look at day past 36. Yo, thank you, Junior. I mean, the good news, though, for you, Junior, is that uh, you got good genes from me. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Wait, if we're both the dads, who's the mom? I don't know. Junior, do you have a mom? <laughs> yeah, Ocean, what about Morbid? What about Poppy Chaos? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I've been 15 for five years, oh yeah? Rose, how old are you, since you're asking me? Hmm? Uh, yeah, well, technically, you're not allowed to ask you, is that changed? Oh, Rose, I don't want to know how old you are, never mind. <laughs> if you're over, if you're over 18, Rose, go ahead and answer, but if you're not, then don't answer. <laughs> Wow, it sounds like Ocean is a, a one bearded person. More bearded. It sounds like your beard's not gonna measure up. Oh my god. I feel left out. I have one but not on my face. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? What? Morbid? We call him Mor Morbid's also known as the Grand Bush. He's uh oh he's working god. with some uh some thick shrubbery. How do you know this? What? No what? That he's working with a grand bush. Do you guys swap premiums he, or something? He just said, I have one, but it's not on my face. He didn't say exactly that. Well, what do you think it means, Pam? I don't know. Come on, put I'm two giving, and... I'm giving Morbid the benefit of the doubt here, okay? Put two and two together here, you know? I really don't want to. I really, really don't want to. That's a leading question objection. Guys, don't be like that. I have a beard for... See? That is the benefit of the doubt, is bearded for cosplaying. <laughs> Yo, Indian says, great jeans from you, but the ones I got from Pam were, were cut up and shit. Don't tell her, though. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Indian. You should appreciate those jeans, okay? They're designer shit. They were very expensive. Complete side note, by the way. Eight minutes to go. Oh, your figure looks really good. I think you captured his torso super well. Thanks, Pam. Welcome, James. Appreciate that. I've never been proposed to before. No? Well, today is your lucky day. What are you going to say? Wow. I think Ocean's waiting for an answer. I just gave, I just gave the... Wow. Oh, that's not really an answer, though, James. That's what I'm going to say, though, is wow. <laughs> <laughs> 2 plus 2 equals 4. They said, what? how old are you? I said, 22. They said, wow, you look like you're 17. They said that with, like, a take back? <laughs> I love Love lines, I love lines. No more painting for me. I'm, I'm done painting. <laughs> there, there goes your study commissions. I know, right? <laughs> Sorry, Melissa. No more uh, wedding commissions for you. You get all line art. Although I think I've told you actually, your sketch layer uh, with like some solid uh, flats underneath kind of reminds me a little bit of what you do with watercolor and ink. Mm -hmm. And I think you should actually play mm. with that style. Maybe. Mm. Love the lines, DK. Thank you. Thank you. Do you guys love the colors on Pam's piece? Because I love the colors. I'm over the colors. I need compliments on my lines. Totally a bush beard. Thank you, Morbid. I'm glad we're on the same page now. Why is your bush beard for cosplaying, Morbid? Hmm? Have I seen the, the Owen Wilson compilation? I have, actually, Toads. It's pretty good, man. <laughs> so good and tasty. You get card all the time, do you really? It's, honestly, it's not a bad problem to have though. It's it's annoying right now, but like if you have jeans, like good jeans where you, you mm -hmm. look young, like you're gonna love that as you get older. So maybe annoying now, but embrace it. It is kind of annoying if you're in a professional setting and no one takes you seriously because you look young. And you yeah, just, I can see that. You're like forever trying to prove yourself in that way. But mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Yeah. Yes, Pam, that's what it is. Yes, Rose agrees with you. What? Oh, in a business setting? Yeah. It's it's really, uh, really a... Uh... Am I making fun of you? Stop, oh. James, just stop. What did I do? What did I do? I don't know. Why are you getting yelled at? What'd you do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Jesus. 
Uh, I'm not ready. I'm too young to get married, I think. I mean, Ocean, you did say, uh, you did say that you really like James's art style, right? So are you trying to make it into, like, a one thing? Are we getting buffers in my stream? I think we're okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I think we're okay. okay. I dropped 240 frames, but I think we're oh. okay. No, I'm too young to get married, guys. You, you still, you still wanted to spread the clap around instead of just giving it to one person? Yeah, I mean, I really just want to spread it around. <laughs> I'm, I'm being real here. I've commitment <laughs> issues. Oh. Who wants the clap? I do, I do. Buffer twice, we're good? Okay. Uh, Shefra, are you lurking? No worries, man. How you doing, by the way? Yes. Oh, because you said I like them colors. I got you. <laughs> I got you, Sam. Looking for that free wedding commission if he puts the ring on you. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Don't make me. I will draw myself for Pam's first week of Inktober. Our Morbid is very possessive. Oh my god. Wow, Morbid. By the way, guys, three and a half minutes to go. Just an FYI. I really do. I do love doing line work. We are. We all. We all want James, but we can't split him. So he is my. Actually, does Marvin have dibs? Is he's your student. Uh, I mean, technically, he is my student. I don't know. I think it's gonna be a be a fight to the death over here. <laughs> Jesus, what is going on tonight? <laughs> we are bidding for your, uh, for your, your, uh, or Morbid is anyways, is bidding for your marriage. The highest marriage. buyer at TwitchCon. There you go. Get my hand in marriage. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Wow. Logan! Thanks for following, man. What's up? <laughs> Fuck did love wins. <laughs> but but Morbid loves James too, Ocean. Morbid loves James too. What what I don't understand. <laughs> Hugs and pugs. Hugs and pugs. Hey, marriages do. Hey, some marriages do that. Bidding for that long, but true, true. Although I don't I mean, think I those know, marriages happen in the U.S. I know long butt's pretty desirable right now, and okay. I know uh, I know one packs are pretty desirable too. So I, I get it, guys. I get it. <laughs> Yo, Michael, what's up, man? Thanks for the host. Holy shit. Mr. Dina Cola dropping loads all over us here. Holy shit, man. What's up? What are you working on today, man? Welcome, guys. We got a minute and 15 seconds left, guys. No. <laughs> dropping loads. Dude, Michael, are you loving the uh, Inktober stuff? I feel like it's perfect for you. <laughs> dropping loads. Dear Lord. What's up, man? What's, what's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. Oh, shit, mm -hmm. Bell. You fucking hate it? It's so stupid. You don't like it, really? Fucking Bell, Tor. Bell. <laughs> wow, my Thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back to the clap crew. Enjoy the Papa Bless emote in your tissue box special right there. Go see your doctor. You may have the clap. You hate it, do you really? Jinhan, what's up, man? What's up, Silas? Waste of time. But I'm doing it. I feel like it really, like... I mean, obviously, your, your ink work's really good, man. So I feel like you can, like, naturally transition into uh, Inktober, but... Because of peer pressure? Yeah, I feel like it is a lot of pressure to kind of keep it going, right? I've done zero Inktober pieces so far. I feel like when you do, like, ink for a living, though, like, that's, like, your art medium. Inktober really isn't for you. You could just take advantage of the hashtag and do your normal art. You don't have to do any of those. 
the prompts or anything like that. I feel ink. I feel like at least for me, like Inktober is for the people who don't really do ink, and it's actually a chance and a, yeah. gives them a reason and motivation to do it, like actually do ink, you know? Yeah, I, I think so too. But I'm doing it. Yep. Uh, yeah, Mikey, uh, the dual stream link is right there for you. So if you guys are just tuning in, first of all, welcome. I'm James J Hansen Arts. We're doing uh, well. F about me, I do mostly digital portraits and paintings. There's links and stuff oh, down shit. below if you guys are curious. Time's up, James. Up? By the way, time is up. By the way, <laughs> and uh, we're doing uh, we're doing studies tonight. So if you hear another voice in the background, that's Pamadike, another streamer you guys should check out. Um, I dropped the SJ command in both chats. We'll drop it on Pam's too. Um, but that'll actually get you three links. The first two are what are really important here. Uh, first link gets you Cadgar, which means you click on that link. It brings up both of my channel and Pam's channel in both chat rooms side by side. You can watch both streams that way. And then the second link is actually for the Study Jam Discord server. So if you guys want to draw along and get a reference material and stuff and post your work, uh, we just finished our second reference for the night, and we're about to go over everyone's work in the community in just a second here. But, uh, yeah, we'd love if you guys join in. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Dude, Mike, seriously, man, thank you very, very much. Are you ready for uh, TwitchCon, Michael? You good to go? Yo, what's up, Ron? How you doing, dude? Yo, Mikey, hello. How are you? Beer beating to pee, no problem, man. <laughs> I am Yeah, guys, ready. please check out Michael DiNicola. Please check out Mikey Mega Mega as well. Check, check out Bellatrix, too. Uh, these people just all rolled into the stream. Fucking guys. You're not sure if you'll make it, really? Are you not, you're not ready because, like, materials and stuff? Or is it, like, travel expenses? Or... Like, well, what's holding you back? Go, go take a piss and come back. Actually, speaking of, I kind of need to as well. So will you entertain the you? chat? Sure, sure, sure. All right. I will be right back, guys. Yeah, so again, guys, if you are tuning in, we're doing a... This is a week study stream that Pam and I do. It's every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. And uh, we've been doing this since January. Uh, we did anatomy jam for like all the way up from January up through end of August, beginning of September. And now we're into body jam or BJ studies. So you guys are down to BJs. We've been doing uh, BJ studies now. Uh, we're on week five of this next series. And uh, we're basically exploring new body types and stuff. With anatomy jam, we did very much kind of standardized like anatomy studies. Like this very kind of, gen not generic, but stuff that'd be more universally applicable towards like more study types and more reference material. So now we're doing uh, full figured, thin figured, which is what we're doing today is actually thin figured male studies. Um, we'll be doing like muscular uh, studies and stuff going forward, and we'll be exploring things like age, how the age affects the body, um, skin tones, everything else like that too. So we have a lot of stuff planned out already for it, but uh, you guys should definitely come come hang out with us and check out these study streams. And Pam's taking a piss. <laughs> What are you guys up to? I'm not sure if, uh, did Mike say what he was working on stream today? What do you got going on? We've also been dealing with some wedding proposals today in stream. <laughs> hey, Kayla, what's going on? Yo, long time no see. How you been, Kayla? Hey, guys, please go check out Kayla's sketch, too, if you're not already. How you doing? You doing good? Good. Poetic Justin, welcome back, man. I see you over in Pam's stream. How you doing? Kayla, are you doing uh, Inktober? Is that actually, are other people doing Inktober? I know Michael's not really feeling Inktober. I actually want to do at least one piece for Inktober. I haven't... I guess technically I started my piece. I need to actually work on it tonight, I think. Yeah, yeah, BC's a mod here. I'm here and there. I did one already. Yeah. Do you guys enjoy Inktober? I think Pam's right, though. I think Inktober's a really cool opportunity for people that don't traditionally use ink to actually explore that medium and maybe kind of ex expand their repertoire, you know, or at least get your feet wet, you know? Yo, what's up, Grim? Guys, please follow Kayla and go, please go follow Grim, too, if you're not already. What's up, man? Dude, Grim's been killing Inktober, too. Okay, I am back. Hey, Justin, also, I, what's up? I, I, I loved Kate's or Belle's uh, portrait of Grim for Inktober today. For roasted, it was really good. Oh, was that? Oh gosh, I, I I saw that really quick. I didn't realize that was grim. That's amazing. Yeah, it's That's pretty actually amazing. Actually, amazing. <laughs> You're not an artist, but you enjoy seeing all the drawings. Well, that that works too. And uh, welcome to the stream, Justin. You can explore Sumi Ink. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna do too much. I, I don't have time because we're a lot. We're well, Pam and I are doing uh, TwitchCon this year. We're actually sharing a table. So a lot of like this month. 
unfortunately it is tied up with this TwitchCon preparation and mm -hmm. getting everything ready to go last minute. Um, I do actually have one piece I'm kind of working on. Um, I actually just transferred this. I did a digital sketch. I'm going to do an in ink though, on 14 by 17 vellum. But I'm doing a uh, like a nice kind of like cobra, uh, Japanese cobra tattoo on her back. So I, I just got this transferred onto my vellum today. I'm actually going to work on like doing some ink washes on this and some nice like Pentel brush pen stuff on it. Probably later on tonight, but I'm looking forward to doing that. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, guys, if you want to um, join in, um, join the Discord. Also, if you guys want critiques on your work, make sure when you drop your study, just oh. go in there and make sure you actually request the critique on there. I realized I didn't drop my study in yet. Once I didn't do mine yet either. Shit. Oopsie. Go ahead and do that. I, I, like, I had to pee and I was like, just jumped up and did it. Where's my Discord? Oh, oh Justin, thank you so much for that host, too. I just saw it. Thank you. Sorry, I was like BRB and I totally missed it. Her portrait is so good. It was really good, right, Grim? It was really, really good. Yanka. Bye, Kate. I love you. You gotta run. Hey, dude, safe travels, Kate. She's heading out to uh, New York City I'm for... I'm uh, so jealous. Yeah, Comic-Con. Yeah, me too. I'm so jealous. Thank you, Wednesday. Thanks, man. What's up with Monster Hunter World and dropping uh, augments on everything but my weapons? Dude, are you playing too? What are you, what are you playing, Grim? Pam and I were we were grinding that game out for a while too. Like a bunch of us were actually playing Monster Hunter. <laughs> and then and then uh and then can't can't play anymore because rip TwitchCon man. I know. I, I put a um, solid like 170 hours into that game on PC when it came out. Like, dude, I'm you out, guys I'm, poop soft a lot. I think I'm like HR like 75 or something right now. Jesus. Um, I was playing Insect Lave. Uh guys, go ahead and drop your, your studies in, please, please, please. We're gonna start recapping these right now. You ready to start going over these, Pam? <laughs> My re mine is showing sass. It's that's good. He's got he's got a little sass tilt to him, Marvin. That's that's <laughs> how it should be. Uh, Silas says I'm hanging out tonight, but not doing an enemy. I'm painting. Hey, yeah, uh, no worries, Silas. You've been doing a lot of work mm -hmm. too for October. It's all good. All right. Um, let me scroll to the top. I'm not gonna show the reference again on stream because the nipples are right above it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Um, okay, so the first one is actually jump brushes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this jump on brushes. screen. All right, give me one second here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. What? I got a uh, congratulations for my engagement DM. Oh. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> you technically didn't say yes, though. I think you're being forced. Do you, do you James, blink twice if you need help. <laughs> do I need help? I'm, I'm a single man right now. <laughs> So are you agreeing commit. to end this engagement? <laughs> I, I, I didn't agree yet. I didn't agree. Stop leading. I, I, stop leading Ocean on. This is not nice. I, I, I need. I need to be wooed right now for this engagement to work. Yo, play, uh, hi. How are you? Heavy bow gun, light bow gun. Okay, okay. I'm playing Insect Lave. That's that's kind of like the only one I've been playing. I, I got Sword and Shield too. Um, I'm fully decked out, fully augmented, upgraded, everything. I just need to get more decorations for my my more optimized set. I'm a T. I'm not a tease. Come on. You just Come said on. you were a tease that you needed to be courted. <laughs> All right, here I we mean, go. Ocean has like the invitation set out already, James. You know. <laughs> All right, here we go. So first one we have is junk brush. Had to do this faster. Got to eat. Wow. Yeah, this looks really good, man. Let me go ahead and pull up the reference too, so I can look at it. Compare. Yeah, this looks really good, junk brush. I don't know how quickly you did this, but it definitely has the uh, energy of like a a very fast gesture study. It looks super yeah. nice. It does look really, really good. It is really good. You didn't look for a critique. I, I think it looks slightly thicker around the hips than the mm -hmm. reference, but other than that, though, man, I think this is really spot on. I love the looseness, too, of your gesture lines. I like the kind of curve mm -hmm. lines, including with, like, the more cylindrical shapes, like the thighs and the back of the arms and stuff, too. Yeah, this is really uh, solid. That base, too, really kind of roots and kind of anchors that study, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. We got Joby. Any feedback would be cool. Right on, man. Yeah, this looks really good, Joby. I love this. This reminds yeah, me right? of a pen. Like, I, you're on digital, but it has that, like, sort of ballpoint pen feel. Yeah. It. it looks really good. My my initial kind of thought is the it looks a little broad across the shoulders in mm -hmm. relation to the size of the hips. So I think you can maybe kind of tone back just the upper body width. It looks very kind of uh, muscular, I think, across the back of the shoulders. Yeah. I agree um, with that, actually. I'm looking right now, and um, he, he's actually yeah. more proportionate, like, and very straight, and your shoulders feel like they're, they stick out quite 
a lot more than his hips do. Yeah, you you, you kind of bulked out like that left deltoid in particular, that left mm -hmm. shoulder. Um, because you if you actually look at the uh, the left shoulder on the on the reference, um, it's actually almost it, it's barely further left past like his forehead and nose. If you look at the reference material. So it, it might be a combination too. The head may be a little bit small on your uh, your rendering here, mm -hmm. but I do think the shoulders are a bit broad in relation to the actual hip size here. But uh, this looks really good, man. Yeah, these are some solid lines. I, I think you yeah. actually got the overall essence of him down really well. Yeah. Yeah, your your rendering is really fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think your value work is really strong on this one too. The the actual length, the proportions too, like of the arms, the legs, the torso, all look pretty much spot on. I, I just think you may look more a little more linebackerish than the actual reference is all. But it's not yeah. too it's not off by too much, really. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's super. Yeah. Uh, we're, again, we're, we're kind of nitpicking here, but uh, and I think you can kind of tell too. If you look at the the negative space between the the, the right side of the body and in, in between like the inner part of the right arm, it looks narrower in the reference versus what mm. you have there. So I think it's just a symptom of the upper body being too wide. Kind of forcing it like that you can actually if you do a straight line from the canvas right shoulder straight down i think it would actually be it's almost above that canvas right knee on the reference material slightly further out but i think it's just a little more exaggerated here other than that though man seriously really good job yeah this is this is i'm just kind of looking and comparing right now i do think your legs are slightly short too As, mm. um yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just like going back and forth and looking to set the different points and everything. I think it's mostly in the calf area that your legs are a little bit short. Um, okay. But that also may kind of play into the fact that the, the shoulders are, are a bit broad. Yeah. It's, it's kind of funny how like a one little like proportional mm -hmm. tweak can kind of skew visually what the rest of the body looks like. Cause, yeah. Because I mean, in all honesty, the legs are, are pretty good. Um, but it, it, it might be kind of like playing tricks in your eyes like pam is saying yeah i i do think the calf to or not not the knee to knee to the toe could be slightly longer um and i think part of it is because like his leg is also bending forward a little bit too you know yeah um so i think the uh the force running that just it probably needs to be just sold a little bit um but it's i mean your upper body and everything aside from the shoulders is really really solid yeah one other really minor nitpick you can make too is the uh, the left knee should actually the bend back there. The crease should be lower than the right knee because mm -hmm. your right knee is actually coming forward. So I think you have it slightly inverse on your actual drawing. But other than that, man, this it's super super good. Joby says, "Now that I see it small on you guys, is yeah, that's actually the benefit of thumbnails. Um, and and actually, right. when I when I work on stream, I actually look at my little stream preview quite a bit for my thumbnail, and it's you'll spot like so many issues that way." It's really, really smart to do it that way. We got a uh, Wayward Raspberry asking for a critique as well. This looks really good too. Nice Wayward, very good. I, I, I love the uh, the head rendering up on here too. Mm -hmm. Wayward, your 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 heads are actually done really well, like your face, yeah. your facial uh, features and stuff. Um, let me see here. Well, just just one note here. It looks like you are working traditionally, so I'm guessing it's the the lack of the feet and kind of basing or anchoring out your drawings probably just because you didn't probably scale properly the size of the paper, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. um, so that kind of skews it just a little bit. But uh, yeah, what, do you, what do you think, Pam? I'm looking, and I think um, I think your body is a little bit too straight on. Uh, so your shoulders seem very level, and so do your hips. And if you look at the reference, if you were actually to take the references and draw over it, um, you'll see that the shoulders are slightly down tilted. Mm -hmm. uh to to the left and then the the hip is actually up tilted towards the left it, it's very small and minor degrees yeah but just that toss that those small degrees of tilt actually adds like a little bit of a curve to his back um yeah. whereas I, if you I, look at your ahead, spine is it's it's just very straight right now yeah the, the spine i think the spines actually was kind of throwing it off a little bit I, I can tell that i think wayward actually tried kind of getting those tilts in mm -hmm. but uh, i think in a situation like this you probably want to you probably want to exaggerate it a bit more. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of like lower that right butt cheek just a bit lower, and kind of just make those like shoulder tilts just a, a touch more. Because I, th I think you, I think your eye caught it, but I don't think it really translated quite enough on the actual drawing. And I think what Pam is saying too, like that that back, that spine, it looks kind of rigid. So probably some minor tweaks you can make right there. What's up, Uber? How you doing, oh, dude? Oh no, poor Uber. Poor oh Uber. no, no. 
What's wrong? You're, what's wrong with your uh? Did it blow man? up? Overcome. Thanks for following. How you doing tonight? Yeah. Other than that, though, I think your rendering is looking really soft and really nice. Like I like your values you're throwing in here. Mm -hmm. the, the head, it, it's slightly tweaked, I think, in terms of style, but it, it looks really nice too. Like it really fits the body well. Uh, Drummer Life, thank you so much for the follow. Um, actually, I I want to I do want to point out one thing with the head. Like I, I think your shape and everything. Like I love how you rendered out this back jaw and everything. I think mm -hmm. it looks really good. I do think his head suffers a little bit from what the rest of the body does, where it feels very straight. And if you look at the reference, um, it's actually yeah. again looking a little bit more downward, and it has a slight tilt downward too. Yeah, that's a good point too. Yeah, you can probably address that just by kind of adjusting the hairline on it a mm -hmm. little bit, and kind of, kind of angling down like the top edge of the hair right there. Yeah, it definitely has more of like a straight, like gaze to the left, right, versus yeah. more like downward angle. So it's probably some just minor angle adjustments you can make, I think, on this. But I think and, what you have this on... one, it's very difficult to see. Yeah, I think what you have though, in terms of your rendering, the arm lengths and proportions to the torso all look really, really good. There's a lot of really good stuff going on mm -hmm. here, Wayward. <laughs> Uber, don't lie. You'll never leave forever. You'll never, ever leave forever. <laughs> <laughs> um, got toast actually, Flo, Flo points out a really good thing. When you guys are looking at your references, both references have shifted to hips, i.e. favoring a leg. And that's actually can, mm -hmm. how you can kind of tell, you know, how a sh uh, a uh, where the weight is and how the hips are going to tilt with that weighted leg, too. Yeah. And Overcome, how you doing, man? Um, if you want to join in, there's a, a Cadgar link you can click on to watch both streams. There's also a study Discord in case you want to draw along with us, too. We got Totes. Critique, please, didn't do anything shitting because I wanted to focus on proportions. Good, honestly, Totes. That's I'm, I'm happy to see that you're focusing on the proportions and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the Ghostbusters, Totes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, man. Um, okay, let's see. You did a really good job. I, I like the kind of just structure you're, you're you're kind of putting in here. Mm -hmm. kind of breaking it. You're kind of finding like those those key anchor points, the uh, like wrists, the elbow locations. A lot of really smart stuff getting going on here. Uh, what my eyes immediately noticing is, I think your legs are a bit too short. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, your arms and legs are looking about the same length. Where in a human body, your legs are going to be a bit longer in mm -hmm. in in relation to the arm length. So I think you just got to kind of get those legs just pulled down a touch more. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, what else here? I can see. I think, I mean, I think you actually did a pretty good job capturing that shoulder tilt and that slight hip tilt. Like, I'm actually mm -hmm. seeing it in your guidelines too, which is really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, the hip tilt's really good. I think the shoulder tilt's mm -hmm. working pretty well. The shoulder's maybe a touch broad, especially the left shoulder, I think. Yeah. Uh, one of the, also, one of the tricky details, I think, it's kind of hard to see. And again, we'll, we'll definitely take note of the background color now for the well, next one. We'll start well, not... popping the contrast more. Sorry yeah. about that, guys. But the left arm, because it's the shoulder is slightly down, and the, you can kind of see the hands actually further back on the leg, too, versus the right shoulder. So there's, so there's a slight twist to the body. Mm -hmm. And as a result, that left arm tricep is actually overlapping the, uh, the lat muscles here, the back muscles. So you have like a very kind of straight line right here for that, that arm, and you have like that angular line for your lat muscle that the shoulder or i'm sorry the uh the upper arm should actually be overlapping that back a bit more like it shouldn't be the uh, the back detail shouldn't be coming straight up into the armpit right there it's actually the arm actually overlaps those lines right there mm -hmm. that makes sense right there but uh and then yeah I, it's, it's nitpicking i think i, I think there's some just minor tweaks you can make yeah and then one thing i do want to comment on since you since you do want to sort of focus on your lines and everything um for your neck to head, um, make sure you're actually putting those lines in as well. Because right now you sort of have it, um, the outer edge of it defined. And so it actually kind of looks like one shape. But if you were to add in like um, like that shoulder blade and then put mm -hmm. in a, a straight line for this neck. And then even put in that crease for where his jawline hits his neck. Yeah. That the would actually jawline. sell that, that back sort of view too. Yeah, jawline into that ear shape would be really mm -hmm. good. But other than that, though, uh, Toads, this is really good, man. Super, super good. We got Mr. Busted. Epic Beast. Beastie, where'd his head go? It's so dark, Beastie. It's hard are to you, see. Are you going to make him into the pumpkin man? <laughs> uh, this is actually a pretty strong start, though, man. You didn't mm -hmm. ask for crit critique, so no worries. Uh, I think your eye for negative space is working out pretty well for this one so far, though. 
Um, Beastie is, uh, actually this is totally a little bit off topic, but this, is this gray the shade of gray that you normally start all your pieces at? This, this is pretty dark, man. It is bump it up. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're definitely... 25%. Ahead, <laughs> yeah, you're definitely, uh, you don't want to go white, obviously, but this is definitely a super dark canvas. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious, but I, I think... think it looks, it's a good oh, start, sorry. though, man. Yeah, I think oh, this good. is a really good start. I, I think with your, your gray being this background, um, with this dark, your, your darks are going to be probably too dark. Um, yeah. So you want to bump it up a lot more. I do think, though, your angles for the hips and your shoulders are working out really well mm -hmm. on that piece right there. I think you got the pose down actually really well. I actually feel like one shoulder is coming back and one shoulder is coming forward. Yeah, you it reached really well. You did a really well. good job with those overlapping lines. We got Vital coming through. Dude, nice. Very this nice looks really good, vital. too. Yeah, this looks really good. I, again, I love that kind of loose sketchiness mm -hmm. you're putting for your shadow detail. You Vital's know, sketches remind me a little bit of Wednesday with how technical they can get, you know? Yeah, I can see There's that. There's aesthetic to it. This, this is great, man. I, I think you did a really good job on this one too, Vital. Yeah, good eye. Like, I, I like your your rendering technique. It's it's very subtle for your your values, but it works really really well. Yeah. It's good it's stuff, really man. Good. We got a Wednesday setting again. How do you do at least go. one study tonight? Then get the mesh Wednesday. out of here. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. You've been gone forever. Come on. Come on. You can't be going meh. Come on. Uh, beautiful piece though, man. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at it. The uh, it's a, it's a little confusing. The confusing the shape of the um. You didn't ask for a critique, but just, it's a little bit confusing the shape of that that elbow, the left elbow into the forearm, mm -hmm. overlapping that back shape. It, it, it's a symptom of the actual reference. It's super hard to see. I think they're actually. I think the reference. Yeah, I think in the reference there actually is a small division between like the mm -hmm. uh, side of the body and where that elbow is. I can't say that with confidence, but I'm pretty sure. There, there's a small, very small gap, I think. But yeah. it's, it's actually, it's extremely hard to see, and I apologize, guys. Yeah. But, I'm, dude, I'm happy to see you back, and I hope you're feeling okay. And seriously, this, get some sleep, man. As always, this is an awesome study, so just shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Lulu. Yeah, it looks good, though, man. I'm, I'm happy you're back, Wednesday. You should go truck driving. Fuck off Wednesday. <laughs> James, James oh, shit. your your fiance is requesting for a, a critique. Oh, I thought I thought you were daddy though. Okay? Oh, that's actually true. You're poppy. I'm daddy. Yeah, I'm not oh, daddy. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, critique though, Ocean. This looks really good. Yeah, I actually I really like this brown paper. It, it almost reminds me of like tone paper for this sketch. It's kind of cool. Yeah, your proportions look really nice, mm -hmm. Ocean. I think you did a really good job good, on this piece. Yeah, good tilt, good good shoulder tilt, good hip tilt. Um, pretty pretty good start. The blue honestly is throwing me off a little bit. Yeah. Uh, in terms of trying to identify stuff, um, but I think overall you you've actually managed to capture everything pretty well. I think so too. Uh, your, your values, are, I mean, you're, they're kind of subtle, but they're actually working pretty well in this piece too. Mm-hmm. I would say actually, if you're gonna do rendering like this, don't be scared to let the paper your canvas actually bleed through to kind of dictate your mid-tone like because you, you kind of have, have this kind of like chalky effect going through over the entirety of the body which you may not even need to do that much in terms of the yeah, rendering just kind of get more of the highlights point. more of the highlights and, and shadows mm -hmm. kind of put in but i mean i, I think it's working really well yeah and then I, I, I've, I've mentioned oh sorry do you want to finish no, first no no go ahead no go ahead um, I, I've mentioned this on other studies before when we've done, um, I guess, back studies, but um, just be careful of your shadow lines going into the butt crack and the um, and the actual spine line, uh, because right now it actually kind of looks like his butt crack goes all oh, the way up yeah. into the middle of his uh, back. Um, so you he you can see that there's like a very a lighter a lighter value of mm -hmm. um, but, but, yeah. of shadow there. So try not to make it the same. Um, yeah, because otherwise it, I mean, just, it, it looks like he's been cleaved. It's it's a it's a symptom of long butt, you know. So. <laughs> Are you very familiar with this? Did your butt go all <laughs> hey, the way gonna, to your back? I'm not gonna reveal my secrets here, but no, I think Pam made a really good point. Uh, there is like an actual <laughs> back part of your spine, and like that will actually protrude up against the skin. So mm -hmm. there will definitely be a highlight in this section, which is gonna separate the uh, the crevice of the butt cheeks, and then where the actual indentation is of that lower back, the spine itself. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just get, get that highlight kind of put in there. But other than that, though, I think it's a really strong start. Yeah, I think, uh, I think so. you could, you, yeah. could, you could probably play up some more shadows and stuff too, like hit some more shadows to define that the curve of the calf muscles, for example. Um, 
maybe go a little bit harsher shadow too for that right shoulder blade for example but other than that though i think it's a really strong start <laughs> long butt butt long over light. long butt <laughs> <laughs> algernon bleu um, legs hi. are too short <clears throat> what's up excuse me uh bqc twitch what's up man how you doing Things are too um, short, inky mess, but just trying it out. I looks, love that you're doing this in ink. Looks cool, man. Looks really, really cool. Didn't uh, ask for crit. We're not going to go into anything yeah, heavy. Yeah, I, I think you're actually spot on with the legs being short, though. Yeah, that's a good observation, I think. Mm -hmm. I think if you just kind of eyeball the lengths of arms in relation, like from wrist to shoulder in relation from hip to ankle, you're going to have a good idea if your arms are too long or legs are too short or not. So... But the, uh, the application of your values, in, in kind of combination of hard black line, with a lot of like energy to it and like the nice kind of subtle washes for the midtone looks really good, man. Yeah. <laughs> so Miriam dropping one in here too. Did not ask for critique, very but this looks nice really good, Miriam. Why are you very, very good butt by the way. Nice, nice contours. I also like that She's you a... did that little tiny break. You're disappointed. So Miriam Stop it. <laughs> wow, you, this is you really made, good. You made him angry. You I made know him you angry. made me angry. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, but honestly, like, don't be so hard on yourself because you actually captured like his overall like pose and gesture really well. Um, yeah, I think so too. Like you, like this part right here in the shoulders, like it, you can actually feel like that shoulder muscle is coming back towards you, and the mm -hmm. one on the on the right is actually going forward a little bit. Like you did a good job with that. As Tote says, booty on fleek. Yeah. There you, you go. That? Yeah, see? <laughs> you hear that, Sam? You hear that? Booty on fleek, Sam. Okay. Um, one, just one, one interesting observation is it's kind of cool to see your approach to drawing it because it's very kind of soft and round and a little more feminine the way you kind of rendered it. Where mm. like a lot more, a lot more angular, like kind of carved in like a, like a shoulder muscle, for example. But I think what you're doing here is really working. So, And booty on fleek. Mobbed crit, please. No, not for you, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna address you probably here from a just from a rendering standpoint. I think you okay. um, it's it's looking a little dark across the board here. Yes. Um, so I, I think your midtones are are way too shadow or too shadowy. Like this whole left side of the back, the left butt cheek. You're you're kind of missing some of the highlights areas, and I think your midtone is just too dark. Um, so I think if you're gonna from the rendering perspective, I think you gotta get more of a, a more of a neutral base skin tone and then work from there and getting in because your shadows right now are almost blending into your mid-tone like on that left side for example like these are these are nearly the same i i think part of the problem morbid is um and, and so we, we kind of mentioned it with mentioned it with beasties but i think your gray canvas is actually too dark um like if you look at mine mine is actually a pretty light gray and I, yeah. I think that maybe what be what is throwing off your midtones as well too. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I think you just need to kind of bump that up with just a smidge mm -hmm. to the um, the background canvas. It's funny how the canvas can actually influence your values that you're picking. But um, yeah, I think from a running perspective, just address your mid your mid values, and then I think your shadows will will read much better because they're going to have a darker or more of a contrast against your midtones, and then your highlights will actually read uh, properly on there too. Yeah. I think body-wise, it's actually looking really good. I think your proportions look pretty strong. Um, I do think the legs feel like they're kind of... He Honestly, he has really long legs. Like His, yeah. his legs are not average. He, he In general, um, he's just a very long person. Um, and it's, so, it's, it's, it's pretty close, it's honestly. Close, but, it's close, but I, yeah. I do think they could be a little bit longer. Yeah, but I think your angles and stuff look really good. Like the actual hip tilt, the shoulder tilt is actually reading really well. I think your your general proportions are pretty damn good on this piece, man. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think just some of the rendering it's, it's getting lost just due to the values on it at the moment. But I, I think you had a really strong start here. Seems to be your thing, honestly, Morbid. I had the same problem when I first started doing gray backgrounds. I kept making them too dark, and. Um, Actually, if you, I don't, I don't think it's on my Instagram anymore. Um, I'll have to, I'll DM it to you later if I remember. But my Wonder Woman piece, I actually think suffered from that because once mm. I put her on a white background for Prince, her overall like look and and values was so dark, like it, it actually got super con like it, it wasn't readable. Um, 
So that's just something to sort of like slowly start to improve with. Uh, so Marion's heading out for the night. Her hubby just got I home. That's good seeing you. Booty on fleek. Booty on we fleek. Got, we got Pamana. Yo, Pam, I, I love your rendering technique on this one. Thank you. You definitely switched it up. Uh, yeah, I just started doing... Well, I, I also didn't realize the time, and I was just hashing a lot oh, instead. Uh, re reconnect and reconnect real quick, because okay. we're breaking up. There we go. Yellow? Yeah, there okay. we go. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what you'd really change, but I kind of like this cross, this, like, hatching method you're doing here uh, a lot. I, I started doing team better. more directional. Instead it, of all one direction, I actually started changing the direction more. Probably. This, I think it's working really well. Thank you. Thank I, I kind of like this direction. I mean, not no pun here intended, but like, I think, <laughs> no, I, I, I think I think getting a little more um, a little more purposeful with the with your uh, cross hatching is really working well for your rendering. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this this looks really really good. Thank you. Nice. I think my shoulders are. I'm looking at the reference now. I think my shoulders are too short. Um. Yeah. And too oh. short and down. Or the this line is fucking it up, I'm realizing. Yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't usually critique our work, so we're yeah. going to keep moving on. <laughs> uh, that's mine right there. I'm pretty happy this I one. Actually, so it's funny because um, your your lines tend to mostly go just one direction, but I kind of like it because it almost feels like a screen. Does that make sense? Like a It screen? almost feels like he's like moving in like a, like a, a, like a binary like sort of screen. It's like Take On Me, like that, that music video. I haven't no. seen that video. What? No. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm pretty happy this one. I'm Are you sure. really surprised? Like, mm -hmm. I think 90% of the stuff that you tell me about, I'm like, I haven't seen that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Thank you, oh. Sam. Broken Pam. What the fuck? What? You get the reference? Thank you. Thank you, Junior. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> Wait, why am um... I broken, Silas? <laughs> Uh, and Meyer says, left shoulder is a little small, maybe he's not thin enough, he just doesn't look as long and tall as reference, but I check the legs since I usually shorten them, but they are pretty, they're pretty proportional. Let me know what you see. Thank you very much. Admire. Okay, let's take a look here. Admire, this booty, this booty is on fleck. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, I think you're right about the leg lengths, they look pretty mm -hmm. good. Uh, my initial thing here is I think, what maybe throwing you off here is I think you made the legs more muscular. Than the actual reference, they actually look me a little bit thinner in the thighs in the reference, but like it's a an... yeah. And he, and he has like he has really thin calves and like thin mm -hmm. lower legs, so I, I think he just looks a little bit more muscular, if anything. I I agree with James. I actually think because his legs are thicker, it's actually making like his torso read like it's short too short for his body. Mm. Um, and you could probably honestly elongate the torso a little bit, not not a lot because you're you're yeah. you're almost there. Um. But you could probably elongate the torso a bit, but I actually think it's just the way, like the the, the muscliness of his legs or the thickness of his legs, that's throwing yeah. off the balance of his torso. Yeah, Win, thanks for following. Oh yeah, I definitely agree with that. I, I think the proportions are overall look really strong in this piece. Um, and I think your rendering is always really, really well done. Mm -hmm. There's honestly, there's not much to say about this piece. Um, I I really think this is a pretty fantastic study. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I, th I think the thighs just being, and the legs in general being a little bit thicker is maybe what's throwing you off. Mm -hmm. um, no, I, think I, you can, I think so too. I do think you can maybe drop that left arm down a touch lower, like get that hand down a bit lower, because the uh, the base oh, yeah. of the palm should line up with the actual base of that left butt cheek, where you have like the actual first knuckle lining up there. So I think the left arm is a bit short. Because mm -hmm. keep in mind too, the shoulders are tilted, the left shoulder is down lower slightly than the right shoulder, and it's pulled back. So the hand should be a touch lower, where your hands are very much at level or eye level with each other, right? Actually, it's the same on the other side, too. The hand should be... It, it's not as off as the other one, but, um, but the hand actually, the, the, the full part of the hand right here, it actually comes halfway to where the butt cheek is, and yours is coming up a little bit higher. Yeah. So maybe maybe a slight tweak. Just maybe make those arms just a touch longer and get the hands down. Usually, a standing pose, your hand goes down about halfway down your thigh. Mm-hmm. That's, that's generally where it's going to be lining up, where your hands are kind of lined up almost at the hip or slightly below the hip. But other than that, I think this is really, really good. Let's keep um, moving on. We got Black Eyed P. Oh, one second. Faith Den, thank you so much for that host, by the way. Hey. Black Eye. Ooh, very nice. 
Looking pretty good here. I like your color choices, actually. Yeah. You aren't really asking for a critique, but I will say I think the legs do look short in relation to the torso length here. Mm -hmm. uh, just to kind of give you a little bit of feedback in case you want to maybe... Uh, you're working digitally, so you might be able to make some uh, adjustments there. But, uh, yeah, I think the uh, the torso maybe looks a touch long or the legs look a touch short, from what I can tell. But I, I do think the skin tones and the values are looking really good on this piece. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, we got Punto. Oh, yeah, beautiful James during a skateboard. Hey, dude, you, you definitely capture me here, man. <laughs> James, wow. did you often skateboard in the nude? Yeah. How did Punto know? Did. Steph. What's up, Steph? Steph. Um, who wants the clap? I do. I do. <laughs> Holy that's, shit. That's... Punto, I, I swear to God, your studies are always some of my favorites. Just because just nice of these man. little quirks. <laughs> oh, it looks really good, man. Yeah, no, this <laughs> Thank is, you for really capturing me in my prime. You know, back in my early 20s right there, you know? Wait, when you used to wear the skater shoes and all that stuff? Mm-hmm. Well, before, not in this before case. Before the long it, butt became a long butt? In, in this case, I guess nothing. There's no skater shoes on, on me, oh. but... Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Junior coming in here with his study. Looks good, man. Dang, that looks nice, too. You're honestly, um, we're not really gonna critique this one, but I, I like that. I think your your skin or not skin tones, um, your color choices are really evolving. I feel like, mm -hmm. like you're getting. A, I feel like I feel like you feel much more confident finding your skin tones and putting them down. Yeah, I think. But so this too. looks really good, man. Um, I will say one. I know you weren't looking for a crit, but um, I, I do want to point out one small thing. Um, uh, uh, Indian. I don't know what to call you anymore. I'm so confused. It's, it's junior. It's junior. <laughs> that, that's my junior right there. I, I, I think your waist um, it tapers in a little bit too much. Yeah, um, he, he is he is very very slim and his waist does taper in because he's slim but he's still you know masculine and um men's waist don't taper in as much as females and so actually because his your waist is tapering in um i, I think more than is necessary um the form without any uh physical identifiers is actually reading a little bit more female than it is male yeah i, I think what you could do is uh, i think your right side of the body looks really good i think the left side because i Again, I think it's just uh, the nature of the reference material mm -hmm. being really tough to kind of decipher there. I think if you kind of extended out the le the left side where the where that little uh, indentation is and bring it closer to where the uh, arm and the elbow, like eliminate some of that negative space in there and kind of widen mm -hmm. out the body in that side, that's actually going to help. If you maintain that right side as is, it's going to kind of help um, sell like the hip hip turn too. Yeah. Because then, it, cause then it puts the uh, negative space on the right hip where all the weight is no longer. It's all the weight's on the left side now, so it kind of gets an indentation in where the weight is not going to be. And like that, you have a nice straight line kind of going in from the, from the armpit down to the uh, hip, down to the, uh, the the leg itself. So, just a slight tweak right there you can make. But a but Looks good though, man. <laughs> Didn't ask for a crit, but he got one. Yeah, sorry, Indian. Sorry, sorry, Junior, sorry. But sorry, I, I figured just a, it's a small thing that you can easily fix, too. Yeah. Steph, I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing today, Pam? She's asking. I'm doing good, Steph. Guys Steph. can follow name that girl, in case Only you don't know. three more weeks I know. until we meet. Eek. <laughs> you just gonna eek from you? Eek. Eek. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> Dear Lord. Eek. I'm excited to meet Steph, okay? I'm excited to hear this freestyle in person. Ooh, we got we got a good one coming out next. Um Junior, that sounds terrible by the way. <laughs> uh Junior says, no worries, plus it's it's way better when both my dads force it on me. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Right on, man. <laughs> All right, moving, moving on. Are you are you guys ready for this third reference? Uh, Toad says, "Wish, wish I could stay for more, but I gotta go to, go to bed." Hey, Toads, no worries, man. Have a fantastic night. Night, Toads. I'm glad you're here hanging out with us tonight. It was, it was good, good seeing you. Um, my third reference is ready to drop. Uh, let me go ahead and get that posted up on Discord again, guys. If you want to join in, we're about to drop our third reference. If you want to join in, do Command S J. For study jam and either stream that will get you a link to cadgar which so you can watch both streams and how we both draw and then also gets you a link to discord more importantly which is the second link and that will let you get you all the reference stuff in the reference channel right there so and that is how you get to participate 
Yes. So if you want to draw along, just when you finish the 30 minute timer, just drop your piece in that discord underneath studies. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right. You guys are ready. I am ready. So three, two, two. one, go. go. 30 minutes, guys. We have 30 minutes to go. Let's get, let's get sketching here, shall we? Okay. I come up with a clap song again real quick. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> kind of. Oh my goodness. I'm clapping my hands. So this pose, guys, is a good one. Um, Alpha Vixen, thank you so much for that follow. This is actually a good one where you might want to draw out your the, ch the shape of your chest a little bit 3D. Because if you look, you can actually see the top of his shoulders. And they actually Watch out, I can hear you. Punch out. <laughs> How long? How high did you put the volume? It's loud. Thanks, James. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Whatever. I'm just gonna draw. One second. I'm sorry. Nope. It's okay. All all information has been lost. You guys can thank James for that. I do. I do. Okay, we're done. Sorry. Go ahead, Pam. Nope. Nope. I'm done. No, no we're good. Pam, I, I really that was such an important, crucial thing nope, you're saying. I'm and done. And, you know, my, my stream's really getting into that song. We, we totally missed it. What are you saying, Ben? I'm done. I'm done. You're rude. Go away. <laughs> I'm not rude. All right, so I'm looking for a center line. I'm going to try to find a rectangular shape for this torso from the shoulders and then down to the uh, the hips and kind of find it from there. Alpha Vixen, thanks for following. I'm, I'm glad you liked the clap song. <laughs> that song actually just got me a follow, I think. No other reason. Pam, are you are you angry right now? Oh no, I'm concentrating. Fuck off, Pam. <laughs> Come on, I was playing the song. What do you want from me? Mm. Come on. Don't, don't I'm just this. saying I actually had something nice to say about the beginning part. That well, you I didn't know you were gonna. Over. I didn't know you were gonna go into a whole spiel. I was playing the clap song. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Fine. Clap, clap for the win. Thank you so much, Alpha Vixen. I'm glad you're there. You understand. Thunder in Paradise. <laughs> what is this song? It's an amazing song. Well, Pam's trying to be all sassy over there. Anyway, I'm going to try to draw like a rectangular shape for this body. Um, it does kind of curve as it gets down to the pelvis. You can kind of see the belly button kind of like angles in a little bit there. And then from there, you can kind of... Once you kind of decipher the top part of this rectangular shape, you can kind of just try to find where the uh, the angle of the shoulders here too. It's, it's, it's almost straight across. It's not quite, though. I think the right shoulder is a touch higher. Because a lot of the weight's actually on that back arm. He's kind of propping himself up. A lot of the weight right there. But Pam! Pam, the clap! The clap song, the clap! <laughs> the most innocent voice, but Pam, I was just playing the clap song. <laughs> uh, Alpha Fixin says, I have no idea what the clap represents, but I approve. <laughs> well... It's, it's an STD, Alpha. <laughs> yeah, I mean... When you sub to my channel, you un unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know, you get a little special gift from me. You get a tissue box emote, and you also get a uh, three-day injection of uh, the clap, courtesy of me to you. If you uh, wake up the next morning and it's a little itchy down below, you may want to see your doctor. But, uh, yeah, that's all. All right, so halfway down this mm -hmm. section, I'm noticing that's where the uh, elbow's going to be for that right arm. I'm trying to find cylinders and shapes and all that fun stuff. Pam, how are you doing over there? Good. I'm just uh, figuring out the torso part. Yeah. And yeah. uh. Are you mad, Pam? Maybe... Mad, Pam? Don't be mad. Hmm. Don't be mad. I'm not mad. I'm fine. Guys, is Pam mad over there? Can I get a little update on on the Pam status over there? Is she mad? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, God. <laughs> I take I take back the approval. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really know how that happened on my stream, but it just happened. You know? Alpha, let me let me give you a point of advice. If you don't know what it is, and James is excited about it, don't 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 say that you like it until you find out what it is. Hey, what's up, Dave? How are you doing? That's what they all say. The clap just kind of happened. It's a lovely gift he gave us all. Thank you, Lulu. What's up, Lulu? How you doing? It's kind of a tricky pose, huh? Yeah, it's got like some foreshortening. It's 
the way his like what? hip is like curving up and in. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Alpha, I didn't sign up for that gift. Well, technically, right now, Alpha, you are you are Alpha, you're clap free. You're clap free. It's just that you know, if someone gifts you a sub or if you sub yourself, you will no longer be clap free. Just just an FYI. <laughs> Something to be aware of. I don't know how. <laughs> Silas, is she really though? Is she really annoyed? I don't know. I can't tell. I'm pretty excited for TC. I'm also a little bit stressed out, uh, honestly, stuff. <laughs> Just cause like, um, and, and and it's it's not really like, it's not really Moss's fault or anything like that. But like, not all of the information is available for the booths mm. yet. Um, and and he's trying. He's he's trying. You know, uh, it's it's not really like his deal, but. Some, there, there's just some stuff that like it would be nice to know uh, so that we could actually really properly plan out the layout of our table and right now we're kind right. of like guesstimating yeah so like, it's, the it's fact that like hard. they didn't have like the actual like table dimensions confirmed yet yeah or, like it could either be like two three and a half by three and a half you know what I mean I was like oh it's okay like two tables three tables four tables ten tables I don't know what are we working with here it's gonorrhea it's gone okay <laughs> Yeah, it'd be good to plan. Yeah, it, it would be. It would be. But I understand, like, I, I think there were some issues. I honestly think there were some issues this year that they uh, obviously can't tell us about because, you know, it wouldn't look yeah. good from a PR standpoint. Because, like, I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but, like, the uh, the actual announcement for TwitchCon and everything came pretty late. Yeah. I think a lot of it had to do, like, like fire codes and stuff, right? Um, I actually think they may have found, may have had a hard time finding a place initially. Um, and just oh, ended really? up in San Jose. Yeah, because normally, so last year, the Tw TwitchCon was announced, like, early, or, like, mid, I feel like mid-January last year. Um, mm. Whereas, like, this year, they, they announced it super late, which I, yeah, I, do, true, I do hope is not the case for next year, because uh, I think that's when you run the risk of booking yourself at another convention. Hmm. Side note, what's up, Royalty? How you doing? Welcome, Hi, welcome. I see you in both our chats. Doing tonight? Yeah, it's yeah, a actually, new convention. That, they're they're not totally figured out yet. That's true, though. Yeah, they actually did announce it pretty late. Mm -hmm. Now that you mention it, because I, I remember we were all like, "When's TwitchCon? When's TwitchCon?" And then they, and then like they announced it so late that I think a lot of people like really didn't know how to plan for it. And yeah. um, and then and then it ended up being in like one of the most expensive cities. So GG that. <laughs> yep. Yep. I think this goes lower. This is this is. A, I'm I'm kind of struggling on this one. Are you? Yeah, this is not easy. Pam. Hmm. I apologize for playing the clap over you. <laughs> it's fine. You know, I I, I didn't realize you're gonna go into in depth conversation there, and I actually I regret not hearing what you had to say. And uh, I apologize. I'm going to suck it up and say I'm sorry. And, uh, <laughs> if I could take back the clap, I would. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. But it's fine. No, really, it's fine. Guys, is it fine? Is she mad over there? I can't tell. I can't tell if she's mad or not. Should we just let him suffer? Steph says you look really sincere. Does does he look really sincere, guys? Does he? I do. Uh, Eon Win, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Alpha Vixen says I relate on a spiritual level. <laughs> James has feelings. She's good now. Oh, she's good. Okay, she's good. <laughs> okay, James, now less sincere. Alpha says oh. you're smiling. Don't try to be sincere. <laughs> Alpha says you're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to be okay james is now less sincere don't try to be <laughs> sam says yeah i feel this is see okay you know what i gotta believe sam i don't think that was a sincere apology guys it was mm, what i believe sam hmm. i believe sam will have my back <laughs> the tension is making him suffer hmm <laughs> Uh. 
So how about, how's everyone enjoying this pose right now? This is a hard pose. Yeah. It, this I think it's this this front bending leg is like throwing me off quite a bit. It's <laughs> tough. Mm. I'm just here to observe for now. Alpha Vixen, do you uh do you draw or sketch at all? Where do you hail from? You come from Twitch Creative? Are you now a Twitch art viewer? Do you uh do you do any artwork? Who are you? So many Tell questions, James. Goodness. You gotta you gotta yeah. like ease your way into these things, okay? I'm just asking. Uh, she's. Uh, well, I'm assuming she's. Oh, you just assume too. <laughs> well, it's Vixen. It's Vixen. Wow, I, don't, I, don't know, wow. I don't know where you come from. Wow, Pam. Jesus. What are you all like that for? <laughs> moo? Is it the moo sound? Is the moose the cow song playing? No. I don't play that on my stream usually. You don't? No, I, actually, I usually don't play that song. It's a funny song. It's just, uh, it doesn't really fit my stream, per se. Oh, oh, really? Dude, my proportions are <laughs> fucked up on this. You one. say what? Ask for consent? Why, why is the moose going on over here? I don't know. That's why I asked. That's why I thought that uh, you were playing the moose song. Yo, ugly naked dude, what's up? How are you? Uh, no pose for you. I'm still goddamn stippling. Dude, how much more do you have of that piece? Stippling is the devil. Is <laughs> the devil? It really is. Is the, is the devil? Mm. <clears throat> God, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> Are you, are you having some issues over there? I don't know what I'm having. I, I think your base is looking pretty good. <laughs> so is that your face joke? <laughs> no, I said base. Base. Oh, I think you said your face is looking no, pretty good. No, your base like, oh. is looking good. I was like, well, that's mean. But let's make your mom joke. I, I Okay, even if I said face, I would have said your face is looking pretty good. How does that mean? <laughs> It's purely sarcastic. No, there was no sarcasm. Everything, there. everything you say is sarcasm. There was no sarcasm. Everything there at you all. say is no, sarcastic. No. Your face looks good. And like, uh, you're probably like grimacing over there, making like a funny face, no. making fun of me. <laughs> Hi, hack. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? <laughs> <laughs> My the your face things are purely safe for insults, guys. Okay, I would never actually compliment anyone on their face, <laughs> unless you're a girl. Unless you're a girl, then then wow, you sex know. is much, huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, girls are just better than guys. That's fine. Wow. Wow. Oh, a new episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia recording right now. Yes. This new season's really good. I've been loving it. Yeah. Holy fuck, my sketch is done. We have 16 minutes. Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> also, I think, I think my caffeine still hit me hard right now. Wait, are, do you have the jitters or something? I feel very high energy at the moment, and I love it. I'm wide awake. I'm going to crash so hard after stream, I can't wait. Hack. <laughs> Don't say that. Anyone tried those auto stippling pens? There's auto stippling pens? How do those work, Mikey? Uh, we're doing our study stream, Hacks. We are doing our study stream right now. You should uh, join in, man. Yeah, it'd be actually kind of fun. I don't know if... Or actually, I don't know if you're done with the move yet. But... It'd be nice to have you join in one day. Hey, Xbox Play. What's up, man? Welcome back. How are you doing today? Stippling's a special kind of hell, yes. No, that's I draw and paint. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna keep reading. I'm trying to catch up on chat. Okay. <laughs> I just totally talked over you. Um, Alfix says, I draw and paint, but I look for Twitch creative channels for to find my mutuals. Hey, awesome. Well, welcome to our streams. I, I see you in uh, Pam's stream and my stream too. It's good to meet you. Hey, Troy Backer, what's up? It's like sewing machine on a pen. I feel like. I don't know. 
I don't I'm sorry, know. I Vital. About that. Vital says, you said no hard ones today. You lied. Did we say that? <laughs> I don't know. Did we? I don't, I'm pretty sure we would have never said that. Uh, Steph says, I had coffee for the first time in a long time the other day at work. An espresso and, espresso and two cups of coffee. I was sweating. Oof, yeah. You had coffee for the first time and you had espresso and two cups of coffee? Steph, are you trying to kill yourself? Right. <laughs> Poppy says, Senpai, I want to let you. I want to tell on Pam. She didn't start with the bush. Feels bad, man. Well, you know, if you had listened to the very beginning, Morbid, instead of the clap song, you would have found out why. Itara, what's up, man? Welcome back. Is this the last reference for the night? Well, we have one more planned after. It kind of depends on how long this one goes. We have 15 minutes left, and then how long the recaps take. Uh, but I think we're playing for all four tonight, if we can. Mm hmm How you doing, man? Welcome back. You've been busy modding some other channels, man. You're, you're, you're getting to get your name out there. <laughs> Are you going to become the next Uber mod? The next ham, ham stripe? Yeah. I've got the clap and I'm giving it to you. You've got the clap and I'm giving it to you. I've got the clap. BC, did you have any eggs today? Can I offer you a nice egg? Tasia, what's up? Hey, Tasia, how are you? How can you keep matching the drawing as you spin your canvas? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I eventually reset the, the canvas, uh, Wolf. And I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I have to spin my canvas in order to get the lines that I want. So I, I guess mm. for me, like visually, it doesn't affect me. Uh, Ricardo Medens, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Well, I forgot we had a banana command in my chat. It's for the banana song. Well, I mean, we actually, uh, <laughs> Morbid uh, gifts of my stream elements bought to your channel. No, no, no. It's because, um, it, it's not because of that. It's because, uh, stream elements no, I... is a, is a permanent, uh, has a permanent subscription in my oh, channel. Oh, really? Yeah, so it carries over. So if anyone has stream elements in their channel, they can actually what? use my emotes. Oh, no shit. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Ricardo, thanks for following, man. How are you doing? Yeah, I actually was testing it out. I I'm actually the one who made the banana command. Um, oh. Because I was I like, I was kind of wondering. I was like, well, I mean, technically, it's the bot is one account, so it should have access to... My emotes, hmm. even if it's not on my channel, and like sure enough, it works, no problem. Uh, do uh, do we nutter? I I totally butchered your name. I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. You say do we nutter? Maybe that's how you're pronouncing it. Is do we n t e r r? Is it do we nutter? Do we nutter? It's <laughs> a great name. I think uh, it might be. Oh, that's really cool, Zara. All right, I, I got you. A yeah. doobie nutter. Uh, if globals are bots are subbed anywhere, you can. Yeah, dude. I actually I don't know if there's a way to look to see what bots are subbed to what, but I, I kind of wanna um, I kind of wanna go check this out and see what other emotes can be used with the bot. Right. Yeah. How do you find out? Do a nutter. Well, do you? What's up, Wade? <laughs> Welcome back, man. Dun, dun, dun. You can sketch down pretty well, too, Pam. How are you feeling? Um, not bad. Not bad. I, I, I still feel like there's quite a bit to figure out. I will say the last reference probably a little easier than this one. 
Yeah, I agree with that. Sit, I feel really like sitting though. poses are always so hard. Yeah. You need to find some badass emails from other streamers, right? Right, Houston? Like we we gotta figure it out, but I don't I don't know exactly. Is that Venom? Uh no. This is um uh, we're doing a study stream. Um Naked dude, and so we're actually working off of a reference right now. I mean, in the, in like the tendril, the tendrils are kind of covered up by that little uh, dog face, you know. So interesting uh, venom observation. Wait, what? Nothing. I was making a tendril dick joke. Okay. Venom has like those tendrils and stuff. Uh -huh. it's, it's equating it to his penis. It's covered up. Oh, yeah, that, that went over a little over my head. <laughs> I'll give it to you. That was actually a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, okay? I don't... I, don't... I, I went for it. I saw an opportunity, and I went for it, okay? All right, all right, all right. Uh, I just wasn't I wasn't sure where the, where the venom came from, that's all. So I was thinking, like, venom, tendrils, naked dude. I mean, I can see it. It's a, it's a little bit of a reach. It's a little bit of a reach. It was a reach. I'll I, give you that. I can kind of see it. I'll give you that. I think I'm making people really dizzy. For some reason, this piece is making me turn my canvas a lot more than normal. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know why. But it is. Because Wolf Knight is act uh, actually asking me, he's like, how are you looking at the reference and like tilting your canvas around like crazy and understanding what you're seeing? Well, the reference is like, stays straight up and down, right? Like, we're not actually adjusting the angle of the reference when you're tilting your canvas. Yeah, I'm just I'm just uh, looking at like my, my lines and like how I want to. Yeah, like the... It's more about just like observing the actual reference and then getting the canvas in a position where you can put the line, the lines appropriately down and like the line weights that you need. Mm -hmm. You know? We've got about eight, oh my god, eight minutes left, guys. Eight minutes left. Fuck. This one's actually, I need more time on this one. Yeah? Yeah. What are you finding tough about this one? Uh, just to getting the general proportions and anatomy down. I'm, I'm still doing my second line pass. I haven't gotten to the shading yet. Mmm, okay. Tentacle porn! Sweet joke, bro. Oh, thanks so much, Wolf. <laughs> thanks, man. Glad we're on the same page and we both really enjoyed it. <laughs> Shorting this leg right, but hopefully, no? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I mean, you know, you know me. I'm not super good at force shortening. It's pretty tough. This is this is not an easy pose. Confirmed by Vital, freaking out earlier. <laughs> is this how is this one for everyone else? How are you guys doing with it? Are you are you liking this? Is it really is it too difficult? Like, let us know. All right, let's get some fucking lines in here. Let's go, boys. We got this. We got yeah, six, six minutes for minutes. values. Let's go. Six minutes. Who is Sarah Lizzie, Flo? I have no idea. Why does that name sound familiar? Censoring will be tough. Just make him a eunuch. Just make him a eunuch. I think the actual body pose is tough enough that I'm not really gonna bother with the hands. Like I just wanna actually try and capture yeah. everything. Silas, close your ears. You didn't hear me say that. <laughs> wow. Uh, Mikey says Sarah Lizzie is great. She's one of the UK creatives. Oh no shit. Oh, okay. okay. I, I never heard of her before. Huh. 
What yeah, kind of work does she do? I feel like I don't watch a lot of uh, people outside of, um, I guess maybe the U.S. It might it might just be like when I'm actually awake, right? Yeah, it could be a time thing, right? Yeah, and if I don't get introduced to them, then you know, then I never really go searching. I, I don't even remember how I how I found Mikey. Maybe Sarah's stream. Yeah, I think I found Mikey from Sarah's stream actually. Sarah Jean's stream. Yeah. But I also think Mikey has very very odd hours, so it's it's actually very easy to capture catch his streams. Yeah, actually, Mikey, you, you do um, a good number of like evening streams, like for my time and Pam's time. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, I feel like I'm able to kind of catch you because I see you on. We did we did have a conversation one time on Mikey's stream where he he basically said that if he is able to catch catch your stream, he's been on he's been up for way too fucking long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. And then if he actually catches the Dave Greco see, uh, stream, that means he just hasn't gone to bed. Period. <laughs> My hours sometimes are daytime, sometimes I switch to night depending. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy, man. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> uh, I hope I am not the only one that knows that song, but I thought of... I but they wrote the song about Pam and her spinning. Wait, what song was this one with Nightly? I totally missed this. And my scrolling thing is being dumb. Oh my god, you're talking about the right round. Okay, can can I, I I can't I can't deal with the right round song. <laughs> um Do you do you guys remember I think it was like goatsea.com or something? You know Goat Pam? I'm really surprised, actually. It's because of... Well, I, I think that was, like, around college time or something like that. And, like, I, I think, like, some of my guy friends were like, oh, this is so funny. And, like, he stepped... And that's when, like, the, people would, like, troll you with the link of it all the time, too. Um, But... <laughs> that Goat was mind-expanding and anus-expanding, for sure. It was fucking traumatizing is what it was. Um, because... To this day, I cannot hear that right round song uh, without thinking about that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's 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 what that song makes me think about. And so when Flo Rider actually like came out with that song again, I was just like, why, why? So many, dude, Tub Girl. Oh my god. Oh god, yeah. Tub. Yeah, no, Tub Girl was terrible too. That was also the same, around the same time of Two Girls, One Cup, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, I'm unpacking here, can we not? I'm sorry. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes to go. Yeah. Why is one of his arms so much fatter than the other ones? Oh, God. The proportions on this are terrible. I need more time on this one. Yeah, me too. Wait, my proportions are really, really off. Be the proportions, Pam. You have to be the proportions. <laughs> it's a kill. What's up, man? Uh, hello, Senpai. What's up? You got lots of doing some inking. Hold on, man. What are you inking? Inktober stuff? Uh, in your chat, BQC says, I've never watched Two Girls One Cup. I didn't fall for the hype. You consider yourself very lucky. Is Two Girls One Cup that, like, awful these days. I feel like there's worse shit nowadays. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of tamed by today's standards. Uh, I mean... Well, maybe not, actually. I mean, it's pretty intense. <laughs> As I was saying, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, what actually has been worse than Two Girls, One Cup? Maybe, maybe I don't not much. I don't know if I've seen anything worse than Two Girls, One Cup. Like, I really don't think I have. Hmm. 
Granted, I don't actually watch a lot of porn, so I mean, maybe that's why? Although I have to say our Google, our Google searches lately, I'm pretty sure one of these days I'm going to find something worse than two girls one cup. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. You got, oh my god, is time up? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, time is up. <laughs> Dear lord. What a clusterfuck this one was. Yeah, my proportions on this are really fucked. Like, his chest is not wide enough. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, go ahead and post. Um, <laughs> apologies for the very, very tough reference, it seems. Um, but, yeah. Like, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll switch these up. We'll do this one third, because we'll uh, break up the third, second, and fourth ones. <laughs> Yikes. Let's get catch up in chat real Mikey quick here. says, I'm glad I'm out of touch sometimes. One girl, one cup was the only thing I reckon- Wait, you mean two girls, one cup? Was the only thing I recognized out of that entire conversation. Um, I'm not sure the butthole's meant for whatever you did to go see. Yeah. <laughs> it was definitely uh, anus expanding for sure. What's up, Mark? Oh, Mark, how you doing? Flo says, what is worse is that a few journalists try to track down- Shut up. Why would they- Why? Why? Why would they really? want to? You're like, I don't give a fuck what that guy's doing for his real life at this point. <laughs> Jesus. Panda, Panda Pounder just walked into your stream. What is, what's up, Panda? <laughs> oh. uh, we're, we're talking about really deep and expanding uh, conversations about, like, Goatsy and Two Girls, One Cup. Yeah, yeah, uh, I mean... Easter Kill says I did a Venom one. Hey, awesome, man. Technically, this entire conversation is all Wolf Knightley's fault, guys. He's the one that brought up the Right Round song, and mm. um, it just spiraled after that. So, uh, blame, blame, blame Wolf Knightley, guys. It's not our fault, it's his fault. Puffy says, it's pretty tame by today's standards. I found some myself in some strange parts because I can't spell. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so P Puffy's seen some shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what literally? about getting sun on the butthole instead of getting coffee? Yeah, I mean, anal bleaching can be, uh, I think, beneficial for health, has health benefits, you know? Uh, sure. <laughs> well, quality stuff here. <laughs> right on, Panda. I'm glad you found the stream. <laughs> I'm glad you came back. Guys, go ahead and post your piece up on Discord. We'll start recapping these in just a second here. I'm actually pretty happy with mine. It's just, I need more time to really kind of figure out the uh, values and stuff. Mm. And I think my torso is too short. I'm, I'm kind of liking how it uh, it's coming together. Yeah, that's good. Sanzibar, thanks for following. What's up, man? How we doing tonight? What's on my t-shirt? It's a coffee mug. I'm wearing the uh, the Coffee Empire shirt from Beltrix Stream. Panda Pound. Whoa, Panda with the tier one sub, dude. Thank you, man. Panda. Thanks so much, man, for the sub. And welcome to the Clap Crew. Enjoy that burning, tingling, special itch you get from me once a month. Enjoy your tissue box emote, man. How you doing? Guys, go ahead and drop your studies up on Discord. I'm dropping mine right now. Damn, those emotes, Senpai, look really good. They actually remind me a little bit of, like, Gears style of emotes. Actually, they look really good. Okay, I'm just gonna drop mine. There's there's no saving this 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 study right now. I need like another hour at least. I think. Used to mess with your friends, Mark or Mark? Yeah. <laughs> uh, why are we both doing um hatching today? I don't know. Uh, th these aren't really meant to be like heavy rendering um streams. These are these are only thirty minute references. So mm -hmm. I, I I know for me like by the time I get the anatomy and proportions down, I'm I'm down to like 10, 15 minutes tops. So I'd rather just focus on line work. And getting some initial value kind of chunked in there if I can. Yeah. And not, not worry so much about getting, like, painted value in. It's it's just honestly a lot easier to hatch when you have, like, you know, a limited amount of time to do this. Hmm. So I've gotten, I've gotten a couple shirts. I've gotten mine. I've gotten uh, tater tits. I've gotten Pam's coffee mug. I've now gotten also uh, coffee empire. You are, you are all <laughs> Twitch set. And you have yeah. your Clap Crew t-shirt. Don't forget the Clap Crew. Oh, yeah, Clap Crew. Command CC in chat for more details. <laughs> <laughs> I think Wednesday. 
I think the real reason Wednesday disappeared for a while is because we just kept traumatizing with our Twitch chats. And like the Maybe. first stream back that he, he, you know, that he joins in on, we're talking about two girls, one cup. I'm oh. sorry, Wednesday. Maybe we can go back to talk about dragon dildos instead. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, this song just came on, in case you're familiar. It's, it's that time. It's that time on stream. TK says, I love the colors, Pam. It says, I love the lines, James. Oh, thanks, man. Although I don't, I don't think Pam could hear you. Um... Uh, Maybe text speech would help Pam out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 Tater baps? Tater tits? Tater tits. <laughs> All right. Should we start recapping these? What do you think? I... Uh, yes. Let me just do a quick... Oh my god. Let me see. Okay, I think we're good. We're good. I, I just, I saw good? Sam that I post, uh, asked someone to repost. I just wanted to make sure that it was all good. All right. All right. So guys, keep, keep dropping your stuff okay. in there. And uh, I think the first one's going to be uh, Black IP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Get my reference pulled up right here. IP, I actually really like how you kind of break down your structural stuff. Um, yeah. In almost like a skeletal fashion, like it's, it's, it actually feels like you're drawing the human skeleton, uh, which is which is kind of cool. It reminds me of like our beginning anatomy jam studies. Yeah, looks really good, man. Love the colors. Pam. Um, we won't really critique this. I, I do <laughs> think you need to maybe. Oh god. <laughs> We're not going to do any kind of like heavy critique on it, but I, I do think um, some of your like your some of your your values they read very close in the reference, like the. The left canvas left forearm overlapping that like thigh mm -hmm. like where it's kind of resting so situations like this when you're rendering you got to be mindful like your values are reading very close and you're kind of losing some of those shapes and forms right yeah so i, I think what you got to kind of pay attention to is you got to find some values to differentiate differentiate those 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 forms so the forearm actually reads overlapping the leg because you're kind of losing like that shape altogether right there um, yeah. So maybe like a, a slight shadow maybe being casted from the arm onto that leg behind it, even though you're not really seeing it in the reference, it's going to go a long way to kind of help sell that form of the arm, the forearm, right? Mm -hmm. Over the leg. But other than that, though, man, I think your, your proportion is looking pretty damn good. <laughs> Banana pig. Um, where is his pee-pee? <laughs> it is not allowed on stream, so we cut it off. Yeah, it's chopped off, man. Yeah, it, it's just, I mean, again, it might be a time constraint thing too, right? I yeah. Do, but, um, but yeah, I, th I think this rendering, make sure you get those like hard edge lines in there to kind of just help pull those shapes apart from each other, right? We got Junk Brush saying tough. This is a pretty tough one. This I actually, I love your lines on this. Yeah, it looks really good, man. Mm -hmm. Again, I uh, didn't ask for critique and no worries. Uh, I th yeah, I think I think some of the proportions got a little bit, a little bit away from you. Uh, just namely, like looking at the lower leg, for example, the top edge of that thigh looks angled versus like more like straight and perpendicular to his body so a couple things like that maybe could be tweaked but i think it's a pretty nice gesture overall man mm -hmm. yo andrew what's up man how you doing but yeah good stuff man i think you actually handled that pretty damn well i think so too i, I think yeah the, the overall of it is it's going pretty well um but yeah i, I agree with what you were saying yeah shmandrew mr andrew how you doing yo, dude? Andrew. Uh, we get Vital coming through. Dude, I'm liking this a lot, man. Oh, shit, Vital. This looks fantastic. I think you did a pretty good job getting the uh, overall shapes mm -hmm. and down here pretty well. Good structure on this one. Yeah, I think you, you sold... Like, you got his pose and, like, his sort of, like... Because he actually has, like, a little bit of a weird, awkward twist. I think you got that really well. Yeah. I think this, 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 this reads really well. Very, very good. Yeah, man. It should be a kind of a fun one to see, maybe flesh out a bit more. Mm, I think. That would be actually kind of cool to see. Yeah. We get Ocean. I want all the critiques. I use the ink brush uh, I designed myself and I'm actually obsessed with it. Obsessed with. I've never done this kind of shading though, so let me know what, what I did wrong and right. Thank you. Dude. It's really well, good. This looks really, really good. Yeah. Your hey, portions, portions, portions are like. Look really good. Yeah, it's like spot on. <laughs> um, where's the reference? I just want to check, double check the reference. Yeah, your proportions look really good. Um, I think if you're if you're sort of talking about using your hash lines as a way of shading, um, you I, I think. 
you oh so this is this is more in, in regards to the highlights i would actually use a different brush i would use the same brush for your highlights that you were using for your hash lines and your dark lines just because the the contrasting of the brush it feels a little bit messier and it feels mm. like almost like you were using like a um like a white charcoal brush instead um and i, I found that like with if you're kind of going for this style of study it's just better to use the same brush all around um, if you're going for like that sort of aesthetic yeah i think part of it too is um i think your initial your canvas tone is definitely very dark mm -hmm. so so we kind of touched on this before in some other people's work but your uh your actual canvas you, you're working on it what should be your mid-tone is uh for the skin is very much uh, a mid to dark tone and so it, what's really happening right now is you have like these lines working with that sort of mid-tone and the highlights are just super super apparent yeah and they're, they're like they're, they're amplified that much more where i think if you had a lighter background the the highlights would be much more subtle and then that would actually emphasize the uh the actual line weights that you're putting down mm -hmm. there for your shadows the shadows are actually almost getting lost and the highlights are kind of becoming the focus where i, I think you gotta kind of inverse that a bit to kind of nail more of the look of the uh the reference here mm -hmm. um but i think the actual cr the cross hatching is actually working pretty well I think you have a pretty good variety and kind of a good mixture. Like, I think you're finding some good techniques, like, along that, like, that forearm, the canvas left forearm. Yeah. Um, I think you're finding some good shapes. I, I like that shadow that's casted on that, the the calf right down below it, too. Mm hmm I think some of the stuff maybe got, maybe lost a little bit. In terms of just simply, um, just technique, I can actually tell that I think the, um, the, sh the, the lines you did on the lower leg... It looks like you probably got some lines in there, maybe you weren't happy with it, and you did a straight eraser erase right across there so it's a very kind of uniform line on that lower leg right there and i think some of that stuff looks maybe a little bit off like you, you need a little more um like uh line different differences going on there versus like a straight edge across right there but uh i think from a rendering, rendering perspective I, I like the the line use overall uh yeah i mean what yeah, do you think i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of going along with that um and i don't i don't know if you ran a little bit short on time on um, one area i think you kind of missed a little bit with the hash lines or at least in terms of like shaping out the shadows and everything um would definitely be under his foot right here so actually the underside of his foot is showing just right here um mm. so you would want to go in and add some hash lines there to sort of sell that uh, yeah. angle of it and so that it reads 3d um hi yeah. tina i think too like you could probably anchor this a bit more too like the actual like lower leg for example um mm -hmm. you you maybe get some actual like uh line weight and like thicker lines too, like um, on that lower, the lowest edge, because he actually is casting a shadow on the ground, right? So you can get some nice kind of shadow work going on down here too. And you can get some mm, shadows yeah. in that uh, the hand pressed against the floor to kind of emphasize the weight, you know? Mm -hmm. Just some like really basic stuff you can do right there. But um, I think in terms of going with a, 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 a an ink, a line style, I think it's pretty successful. Um, I do think you maybe want to address the canvas background like that, how dark you're going here. Because I think that's going to complement the line weight that much more if you lighten things up. Mm -hmm. So, but other than that, though, really good job. Uh, next up, we got mine right there. I was pretty happy with this one so far. Yeah, I actually I kind of like the way you ended up doing the hash lines on this to sort of sell the direction of his body too. It looks good. Yeah, it's kind of just fucking around, experimenting a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, I was liking it so far. I, I think this one just needs a lot more time to kind of keep building up line work. Yeah, I okay. agree. I agree. Yeah. But that was mine right there. We got uh, Mr. Wednesday, time to call 100 Truck Masters. God damn it. Wow, Wednesday. I mean, I guess it's not a meh. <laughs> God damn it, Wednesday. <laughs> I guess uh, technically it's not a meh. Uh, Mischievous Worm, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. This is really yeah, good, though. I think so, too. I think you got the general proportions down really mm -hmm. well on this one, man. Uh, again, obviously, the 30 minutes probably don't really afford for like a heavy render like you're used to doing. Yeah. But, but I think some of the loose, I think some of the loose values you're kind of putting in, like even like the underside of that thigh, the angled up thigh is looking really, really good. Mm -hmm. I think the, the values on that like shin, for example, look really good. Yeah, I, th I think you actually, for, for a quick like study, I think you actually um, made it read really well. Yeah, I think so too. I think you made it read really, really well. This is a good example, though, for people that are doing a lot of uh, painting and rendering tonight, um, mm -hmm. of picking a, an appropriately sort of toned or uh, uh, appropriate value for your background. Um, this this definitely kind of trends a bit brighter than what Ocean was just doing previously, and this mm -hmm. isn't like meant to like point fingers or anything like that at all. But this this background that Wednesday's choosing, 
it reads as a really good kind of a a, a very kind of neutral skin tone for, for for like the flats, right? Yeah. So you can see like on the sh the left shoulder, for example, as it kind of curves into towards the chest. He didn't actually put any color there or any value in there at all, right? Mm -hmm. That's actually just the canvas reading through. But that's that's a really kind of a natural uh, value for the actual body right there, right? That's actually a good so. point. You you kind of when you pick your gray tone uh, to to work off of, think of like think of something that is going to show both your uh, like your mid tones really well, like your your shadows and your lights, and like mm -hmm. I guess in a way, what would translate to skin tone if you were to turn into black and white kind of thing? Yeah. Like when I'm doing a, a rendering, I'm thinking like I want my background to be my midtone, and that way, like I'm, I'm trying to minimize my work, right? Like I want to just I want to do my midtone as my canvas. I want to have from there I can do one shadow tone and then like one highlight tone, mm -hmm. and like it all just works in tandem, right? Mm -hmm. if, if you start pushing your your midtones too bright or too low, and this is probably a, a conversation for another day, but um, we probably talked about this quite a bit. Mm -hmm. like if you start doing that though, then. All of a sudden, all your midtones are just are, are too too dark and shadow. For example, so now you're actually working up and building up and building up so much more at that point. So, use your canvas value to your advantage. You know, try to find like a, a nice kind of neutral midtone to work off of, and try not to go too dark or too bright off of it. So, I don't know. It's it's about maximizing or minimizing the amount of work you got to do, right? But dude, yeah, Wednesday, good shit, good shit, man. Oh, my, my, your pussy's there. I, <laughs> <laughs> not, not your pussy, my pussy. Well, yeah, your pussy. It's your pussy. Oh, how have you been? <laughs> you haven't been on Twitch in forever. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> we, we have definitely missed saying your name in stream quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, next up we got Pam's. I think you did a pretty good job on this one too, getting the proportions down. Some slight tweaks I can see, but like I think it's it's it actually works pretty well. It's uh, I I did a small tweak at the very end um, that I think helped, but uh, yeah, I, I just need more time to like um, make it read better, I guess. But it, it it's getting there. It's getting there. It's just it's not the, there yet. The one thing I can actually just let you know like, that I'm immediately seeing is I think the um the canvas left arm. Mm -hmm. I think you got to bring in that like the upper line, like that tricep and shoulder line, in closer to the body. It, it's looking too muscular. Mm. Like too thick. Yeah, I was. I think this the the, the bend of that torso was really throwing me off, and I like I was yeah. trying to figure out how long to make the torso and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's it's just kind of a weird one. Yeah, I, I think that like that minor adjustment actually helped quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good start though. Thanks. I mean, we we both had trouble with this one. Yeah, this is this was honestly a pretty tough one. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Ravage? How you doing? Uh, thank we you. We got Mister Beastie. <laughs> wow, Beastie. Ooh. Aye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my god, the palico face is just like, no. I don't even know. <laughs> Yo, Mikey, have a good night, man. Bye, good Mikey. Too. Thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Um. Again, you didn't ask for a critique, but uh, this actually looks pretty good in terms of proportions already, man. Beastie. Beastie, be honest. How much time did you spend cutting out the palico and the um, the the, fuck? What which one? Which one is that one? Uh, is that is that Nerg? I think it's it, Nerg. I was gonna say it looks like Nerg. Nerg. A lot. I was, <laughs> I was gonna say that the study looks a little bit less intensive that I'm norm that I normally expect from you, and I kind of have to wonder if you gave up and spent half of your time cutting out these heads instead. <laughs> Um, one quick note, I'm not really going to nitpick this, you didn't ask for a critique, but you're kind of missing a little bit of detail here on that right side thigh. Like, the thigh actually should kind of go straight back almost to the uh, pelvis, and you kind of have it angling up. There is an ang a angled line right here, but that's actually, there should also be a line from this thigh kind of coming back more towards the center mass, too. Um, and then there actually should be a bit of a line kind of coming from, like, on the butt cheek here as well. It's It's... It's kind of really tough to tell. It's actually distinguishable through the values. Like this mm -hmm. little angular piece here is actually, you can tell it's a separate set of skin because it's actually, it's a brighter value. Yeah. And then there's actually a continuous darker value here. So it's not an actual hard line you can visually see, but you can, you can dis distinguish that just through the value change right there. So the, the actual thigh goes straight back and this section is actually part of like the, uh, the hip kind of going upwards. So just a quick little tweak you can make right there. But uh, good stuff, man. We got P 
Poppy Chaos Art. Dude, nice. Looks good too. Yeah, this is a really good this is a really, really good start. Um Yeah. Uh you didn't really ask for a crit more of it. I had to see your lines. Your sketch lines are looking so fucking good. Like seriously. Right? They they almost have a little bit of that like animator like energy quality to them. Like it's making me really happy of how confident you're getting with your lines lately. Um, Yo, spin. Hold oh, on. Sorry about that. Spin whiz, dude. Twelve months. Holy fuck. Our baby's one year old. Spin. <gasps> <laughs> Welcome back to the clap crew, man. Wait, how does dude, I'm so happy. Your uh, your your uh, your IG stuff is taken off too. I'd love to see all your comic book that you've been, you've been posting over there. Welcome back, man. Thank you so much. Uh, James, I thought you had a Twitch baby at nine months. How is it already a year? <laughs> It's a year old now. <laughs> don't, don't question it. Just roll with it. <laughs> uh, this looks really good, though, Morbid. Looks yeah. really, really good, man. Um, oh, it's, well, it's it's not so much a critique, Morbid. It's just, and I don't know if you just maybe hid the the guidelines on it, but um, I I think definitely one thing um you could add in as like a way to build out your structure with your with your legs um is actually to to start drawing in your pelvis box more, um. And that way you can sort of identify like where the legs are coming out of and even though you guys can't see like where the the peen is laying in in this reference like you can always just like off of your like anatomy knowledge and building of um of structures you can kind of have an idea of where like the middle of his like crotch is and where like his legs sort yeah. of like would come out of um and I, I think that'll help you too with like a base for it it looks, looks good though man mm -hmm. Algernon Blue. Yeah, lots of inking practice, trying to get the lines, lots of portion work needed. Uh, again, didn't ask for critique, no worries. Uh, yeah, there's probably some um, some tweaks you can make with the proportions. Mm -hmm. You're probably kind of eyeballing yourself right now. Um, so we won't really go into any details or nitpick. Um, I do like the value work, though, man. I think the, uh, so the mid-tone, gray tone, using for your shadows, in conjunction with your actual black line work, works really, really well. Mm -hmm. And again, if you look, he's actually using the paper value as his brightest highlight, right? And it, and it works really, really well. Letting the paper so breathe through, guys. I, I know you're making fun of me, but it's true. Like, he's only using three tones, right? He's using mm -hmm. paper value for his highlight, he's using a gray marker for his mid-tone, or, yeah, for his mid-tones, and then he's using mid-tones in the semi-shadow, and he's using an actual black pen for all of his darker, darker mm -hmm. shadows on there. So, it's... It's minimal effort with really good results, right? Yeah, it's it's actually a pretty, like, I think you actually did a really good job on this one. I think so, too, man. Good job, man. We got Lulu being reposted by Puppy. Dude, nice, nice Lulu. Lulu. It's good to see you jumping in there tonight. I yeah, like that. Very, very nice. Asa, what's up? Asa. <laughs> oh my god um my pussy that would be amazing if you joined in one day that'd be really cool uh, hello jalapeno hi uh yeah again didn't ask for critique no worries i think you did a really good job especially for your first uh study for the night mm -hmm. there's a lot of really good stuff this is, going this on is a here tough too. one to be your first study for the night too holy shit um but yeah i, I think uh in general you did a good job with the pose i think so too very nice work, Lulu. We got Cloudtastic next. Very nice, Cloudtastic. Hey, that looks pretty good too, man. Yeah, that looks good. Um, you got the base of the shoulders and everything into the torso done pretty well. And your uh, your stuff like like the back arm, the back hand lines up with the knee well too. Yeah, there's. I mean, we're not gonna critique this. You didn't ask for one. Mm -hmm. Um, there's probably some some proportion issues you can you can probably address on this. Um. The biggest culprit is probably just the size of the head is too small for the body. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think just honestly increasing the size of the head alone will help sell the actual upper body a lot better. But really, Cloud, dude, really good job, man. Mm -hmm. We oh. got uh, Punto. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, Punto, why is he holding the racket like that? <laughs> oh, to Tihi, I know the racket is small. Wow. <laughs> oh, Tihi. <laughs> he says, I approve. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, Punto, you did a really good job with the pose. I am semi-disturbed that this actually kind of looks like Tihi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in a tennis rack, it's really fitting. For yeah, it is, it is. Um, it, it actually seems more like he plays badminton right now than he does tennis. <laughs> 
All right. Well, Punto, great work, man. We're going to pull this one off stream now. All right. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Oh, my goodness, Punto. All right. So if anyone is new joining in, if you want to join in, we have one more reference for the night, guys. Okay. So we're going to drop that in Discord here in just a second. Uh, one last 30-minute reference. Um, if you do command SJ in either chat, it'll bring up a link to... Or uh, a command with three links. Or links, rather. I can't speak anymore. Whew. <laughs> and uh, basically, the first command will get you to um, the Cadguard link, so you can watch both streams and see both chats. Mm -hmm. Second link will get you to Discord, in case you want to actually draw along with us and find all the reference and study material there. So... Uh, are you ready, Pam? Uh, yeah, timer is ready to go. All right. I'm going to drop it right now. Boom. Chris hey. Cryos God, what's up, man? I'm new. Let's get it. Get in there, man. Join the Discord. All right, ready? Timer is going to go off in... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't say I'm ready. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm posting the work. Okay, and now I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. All right, timer's up. 30 minutes, guys. Last reference for the night. Let's get in there. Look at that potato bulge dropping down there. <laughs> God, this this particular reference, his, like, we, we actually had a bunch. Um, This this model was kind of like the one from last week where we just had a lot of good poses from him. But, like, every single one, his, like, dong was hanging out everywhere. <laughs> it was, like, insane. Like, we couldn't find any that, like, where it wasn't. <laughs> Um, yeah. the Asian in the sea foam. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? So this one, I'm going to basically find the pelvis again. Find the bush. Kind of get that initial kind of box shape put in there. Anything you want to chime in here on the start, Pam? I won't cut you off this time to clap. <laughs> um, I, I actually always look for the spine, spinal curve. Um, and so I, I'm actually sort of looking as to the direction of where the spine is, and then from that I look for the hips or the bush, and then also where the shoulders uh, would line up, and then start building my negative space from there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm doing the same thing. I, I kind of find the I generally find the pelvis first or the spine, mm -hmm. and I and I kind of like find those two elements first and then kind of build off from there. It's pretty much what Pam was just saying. That's usually my approach here. But uh, yeah. Koji the cat, what's up? Thanks for following. How are you tonight? Wow, look at that pup. What a great problem to have. Are, are you feeling a little envious there, Houston? Yeah, so I'm kind of, I got kind of got like that uh, initial pelvis put in. I got the spine kind of going up. It kind of from there, you kind of like find like your hip location, find the knee location, get mm -hmm. that nice kind of perpendicular line from that for that upper um, thigh going across. And start mapping things out. You find the spine, you can kind of find the width of the torso from here too. Also the back butt cheek is slightly lower than the front butt cheek, so make sure you're kind of addressing that as well. Get those get those shapes in there. Uh, Banana Pick says, I do head and then spine. Yeah, I actually okay. used to do it that way too. I think everyone sort of just has their own way to approach uh, what what helps yeah. them as a point of reference. So that's, it's sort of whatever will work for you guys. Um, and and honestly, as you develop in style too, all of that will start changing. Um, I definitely could not uh, before could not draw without actually doing my uh, my head first. Um, like I I I had to like figure out the the shape and distance of the head first before I can yeah. do anything else. But now I actually end up starting more so with the mid-body before anything Yeah, there's, there's like, there's no like right or wrong way to do it. I, I actually probably, I mean, and you just said like, you, you start off the head initially, right? Now you mm -hmm. kind of moved away from it. Mm -hmm. I do think it's a good idea to move away from that, that technique right there. Yo, hold on. We'll talk about that in a second. Oh. Vern, what's up, man? Thank you for the resub. Two months in a row. I appreciate that, man. How you doing? Welcome back to the Clap Crew. Enjoy that burning, tingling, special touch. I give you once a month. It's nice. Nice and sweet, you know? <laughs> Is it, though? I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you, BB. Enjoy that, Vern. Go see your doctor. You may have an STD. Sorry about that. Um, the reason why I do think... like I, I So, the, the way Banana's kind of describing, 
they're basically starting off with the head, the spine, shoulders, hips, etc. They're kind of moving their way down the body. You can definitely do that. It's just I feel like proportions. You're gonna you're gonna you may be hit or miss if you start working in that that kind of format, right? Working top down. Um, um, and again, yeah. it, it, it may it may work for you, but it's kind of hard to get an, an overall kind of. I, I, feel, I feel like it's tough to get an overall kind of sense of the body if you're kind of working in chunks going down like that. I, I, know, I do. do you... I, I don't. I don't disagree. Um, I, I think it just depends on how you're starting and where you're. Wait, hold on. Let's let's reconnect really quick on voice because okay. we're breaking up. I'm losing you a lot. Hey. Hello. Hey, I can hear you. Okay. Um. Yeah. I. I don't. I don't necessarily disagree. Um. I, I do think it just sort of depends on where you're coming from and, and how you learn because I, I think it I think if you go into full detailing of the head um, and then you try to build the body then yes you will 100% uh, run into um, proportion issues mm -hmm. um, I, I, I do think that starting with the body is the I, I guess a, a better way to have less proportion issues but I do think both can work as long as you don't get too detailed with anything before you actually plot yeah. anything out. Yeah, that's fair. Like I said, there's really no, no right or wrong way to do it. Um, I, I do think starting broader, though, and like getting the general overall larger shapes down, which again would be like the pelvis, the spine, like mm -hmm. finding the rib cage, and then kind of like detailing off of that and building off that's probably a, I think more like a universally safe way to approach things. Uh, again, not implying that it's the right way to do it, but uh, uh, I think it. I think if you're trying to learn, though, it definitely kind of helps in that sense. I also think you need to uh, progress that way naturally too. Um, yeah. Like, I don't. I don't know. I, I think that comes from practice and experience, and like it's especially doing the. Uh, I agree with that. The quick studies will actually sort of almost force you into that area, because. Mm -hmm. um, if you're if you're spending so much time just uh, focusing on the head when you're doing the quick studies, you you actually end up running out of time uh, drawing drawing the body. Um, but yeah, I, I think both can work. I, I just think one might yeah. be easier than the other is what it is. Yeah. Oh god damn it, YouTube! Why did you pause my video? <laughs> god damn it. I almost wonder if they started putting that in for liability issues. Um, apparently it's been going on for a long time, but it's becoming more prevalent now. Like it's been actually on YouTube. I actually did a Google search on how to deactivate it, and I couldn't find an answer. Oh really? And I guess like it's been going on for like over a year now. Oh. It's just becoming much more apparent now. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're not like really, like I said, I'm not really trying to say like one way is the right way or wrong way. We're just trying to we're, when we explain how we start stuff, mm -hmm. we're trying to give you guidelines on how we approach stuff, right? That's really what it comes down to. Like we're trying to give you maybe some insight in how we approach um, drawing and finding proportions and stuff. If you're still learning, what helped me understand proportions better is tracing, and also you learned to shade. Just a tip. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely we've actually covered that um, in the stream before. Tracing definitely helps um, as long as you're not. I, I think the best way tracing helps though is to trace and then try to replicate. So take, yeah. take what you've traced over and then try to actually replicate it again to see if you can get Always enjoy watching your stream. Yep. Great artwork, but more Tracing importantly, you memory. provide a very wonderful and entertaining stream. Oh. Keep it up and enjoy TwitchCon. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, thank you so much for that donate. I was not expecting it to be much. I don't know if you just saw my face just freeze. Yeah. Well that's crazy. Um. Oh my God, random, random art fan. Thank you so much for that donation. Holy shit! Thank you. Uh. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. Um. What was I talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, tracing. Oh, tracing. Yeah. Um. Wow. Brain, brain just totally dipped out there. Um. So the thing, the thing about tracing is that um, if you do it too often, if you don't force yourself to step away from it, it becomes a crutch. Um. And yes. then you never actually, it never actually becomes a learning tool. Um. So the best way to approach tracing, and the best way to approach tracing is to actually um, trace and figure out your proportions, and then you know, go to the side and see if you can recreate it without tracing it over. 
Um, and that's how you time. actually start absorbing and taking the knowledge. So if you look here too, um, the back arm is very much at a right angle. Like the upper arm is like 90 degrees perpendicular to the or parallel to the floor. And then the forearm almost goes straight down to the hip. So he's actually putting that back arm like on his hip. He's resting it, which makes sense because if you look below that, directly below that hip is the uh, the leg itself. And that leg has all the weight on it, right? Mm -hmm. That back leg. So it's like a very like a rigid design, like forearm straight down to the hip, straight down to that thigh and to the calf. It's a very rigid kind of like weighty form to it. So. Um, also, make sure he's got pretty long legs. Just make sure you're kind of getting those. Uh, I'm kind of struggling in the actual lengths of these legs. It's a little tricky. He's. Um, I, I don't think I realized. I mean, I, I we we kind of mentioned on the the first pose that we did of him. But like actually seeing his legs like shaped out here and everything, it's like holy shit, you got some really long legs, dude. Yeah, he's got long legs for sure. So, what you want to kind of look, make sure you're kind of keying in on is make sure your 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 uh, thighs, like from the hip section to the knee, are about the same distance, right? Mm-hmm. That's what how you can kind of check on the um, proportions here. Um. Faruthiago and uh, Little Scroll Girl, thank you guys so much for those follows. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Banana Pig says, upside down grid drawings are fun exercises. I don't go. know if I've ever done that, have you? No, I mean, I've done grids before, but I, don't, I haven't done those in a while. Yeah, I don't think but I've yeah. ever done it upside down. <laughs> I think it's probably upside down kind of gets you like just a, a fresh perspective. Looking I at the see actual that. reference. I can see that. A lot of people when they do when they work traditional, what they'll do to kind of like check proportions and if there are any like pecul peculiar kind of like lines or areas, mm -hmm. they'll actually they'll, they'll actually work on their canvas upside down, like they'll flip it vertically. Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. And they'll actually just kind of look at it from a, a, a different perspective. I've seen a lot of people do that actually. So it's just it's more about just kind of changing the perspective to see if anything kind of strikes you as uh, being off. Mm-hmm. I kind of think rotating your canvas, uh, even uh, as you're drawing, actually helps that with that a bit. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Because sometimes like, well, I, also... I am looking at my drawing upside down just because I have to get a certain line, and then as I'm looking at it upside down, I'm like, oh, you know, this could probably be fixed, or this could be fixed. Well, that's also why like, people are always saying, like on like on uh, when you're painting and stuff, do you flip your canvas? Do you flip your canvas? Mm -hmm. well, yeah, that's a, that's 100 why people flip their canvas on digital, right? Dude, there there's definitely you can actually flipping your canvas if you if you have that ability to do it digitally do it because um yeah. you it will change your drawings and if your drawing doesn't change that means you did a really fucking good job <laughs> right the times i flip my canvas and nothing changes i'm like yes so when you're looking at this uh this bent leg the foot placement of the chair is the ankle of that foot that's up should be very close in line to where that uh the back knee is mm -hmm. if you're looking for kind of points of reference here Just find your weights, get those, get the straight lines where they need to be straight. That back leg is really what's straight here. That's, that's really going to hold the weight of this figure, right? Mm -hmm. It's truly really grounded by that back, that back vertical leg. Also, it's also interesting uh, foot direction too. It's kind of angled and twisted away from the camera. Yeah. You know, one thing that I've been kind of enjoying as we're drawing these is actually the different feet angle. That a lot yeah, of yeah. Have. They're they're kind of fun. To, they're they're not easy to draw a lot of times, but they're they're fun. Mhm. Mm I'm feeling like really loose and warmed up right now with this sketch. This like sketch feel... is not not yeah. easy, but it's clicking. Yeah. To, yeah. Uh, Algernon says, I agree, I flip my sketchbook upside down and all over the place. It's just that whole, like, different different eye, right? Mm hmm Give me yourself a different eye. You guys liking this one so far? I think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool sketch for you. It's a pretty fun one, I feel like. Yeah. I'm definitely starting to get hungry, though. Are you? Thinking about that. Oh, you... Oh, you... You got a really cool proportion on yours. Like you, you went kind of like very angular. 
Yeah, I went um a little it's different than usual for fashion you. vloggy almost, I guess. Yeah, I kind of like it though. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know why I don't it's do this pose. more often. I actually like drawing like this. Like I like being a little exaggerated. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't do it that often for some reason. By the way, guys, 16 minutes to go. It's a good pose, the thinking man. Yeah, we actually had two variations of this one, actually, uh, Banana. Mm -hmm. now, we ended up going for this one, but yeah, I think it's a really good pose, too. Which, honestly, I'm thankful for, because uh, I actually think part of the reason why that other one was so hard was, like, that it had such a big, giant sensor where his peen was, that, like, <laughs> it honestly threw me, threw me off. Yeah. Looks nice. Thanks, Ravage. Thanks, man. Uh, Issa Kill says inner flip mines, probably why it sucks. Hey, don't say that about your work, man. Come on. Just start flipping uh, I, now. Yeah, honestly, like I don't I don't do it a lot either, but it's it's definitely a really good tool. It's, it's, if you work digital, I mean, you might as well take advantage of it. You can even hotkey uh, a way to flip your, your canvas just to make it even faster. I mean, honestly, as I say this, I forget I, I would say like fifty percent of the time. But yeah. if you can build it into your habit to try and remember, it, it will honestly save you a lot of uh, heartache later on. And your pieces will be much stronger and last yeah, I think longer. So too. Make sure you're watching your, uh, your butt cre crevice line. Make sure you're not riding it too high up. Yeah. Along that back. It actually his um if you guys look, his actually stops pretty short because of the angle of this. Um so make sure to not bring it up too high. Otherwise he's looks like he's gonna be cleaved in half. Also if you guys can kinda compare this study compared to the full figured ones that we've done or even when we did the booty studies you'll notice with a slimmer body like the the pelvis bones come out a lot more with the butt so his butt's actually like almost square shaped in some places yeah can you do like nose drawings 101 dude we we did that <laughs> We actually did a full study on uh, noses. If you do command uh -huh. A VODs, it'll actually bring up all of the uh, VODs from the Anatomy Jam session that uh, uh, James did, Ravage. Um, and then there's actually a nose one in there too. Yeah. We actually may go back and revisit some uh, popular topics and stuff eventually. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, you should always study things multiple times, not just once and be done, you know? Yeah. But for the awesome. sakes of yeah. uh, keeping stream interesting, that is kind of what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, we basically, we did a full anatomy study. Like, we broke down every single face detail. Noses, ears, mouths, mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of stuff. Noses, like, was pretty early on, too. It was, like, in the first m month or two, maybe? Yeah, well, yeah, we did head studies and all the features, like, First, from uh, right? month one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was well back. It's probably back in January, or February, we did that one. But uh, yeah, I mean, we have we have uh, stuff already planned out for a bit for uh, the current body jam uh, sessions. But we're definitely open to other ideas and uh, revisiting other stuff too. Yeah. We we like to do our study streams in a sort of series portions, just because um. It, it becomes a little bit more on the educational side for both of us, really, and not just not just for our community, but for us as well. Um, mm -hmm. Sort of just building off of previous knowledge. I, I think it makes it more than just a standard study session, uh, but an actual like uh, opportunity to really learn. Yeah, I mean, we've said this before, but this is like uh, we learn from just as much as you guys are from doing mm -hmm. these studies. This has been hugely beneficial for me. So. Square man butt squat uh squat don't help much. <laughs> Gotta eat more ice cream. Eat more ice cream? 
Yeah. That's what my brother used to do. So my brother used to have a really, really hard time putting on weight. And um, he, uh, he, dude, he would eat like a crap ton of ice cream every night just to like... Really? Hit calories, yeah. Yeah. Big man. I mean, it's actually dairy with protein in it. Like, it's not not the worst idea. Mm -mm. It's not it's not great, but yeah. I mean, there's there's definitely probably better ways he could have done it, but yes, absolutely. <laughs> there's ten minutes left, guys. Ten minutes. How you feel about yours? Pretty good. Good. Good, good, good. Ooh, yours is looking nice. You actually, like, uh, got some really realistic looking portions going, too. Thanks. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this so far. I've actually been, been pretty happy with most of my studies tonight. Good. Yeah. Do you feel like you've become stronger, then, with, uh, with the actual study, uh, your study techniques, I should say? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what, I don't really know what it is, honestly. <laughs> Um, you, you do these enough, it kind of becomes a little more natural, right? Mm hmm <laughs> Until we get to muscle studies again. Uh, those would probably flow pretty well for me. Yeah? Yeah, I, I think, well, I mean, again, the comic book background, like, I, I have a pretty good understanding of, like, musculature, I think. True, drawing. true. But rendering out some of those muscles, though, man. That was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> That's true. Guys, we have about nine and a half minutes to go, guys. Yo, what's up, Commander? How you doing? This is kind of random, but um, one of the things I really like about Kindle is that there's a... As long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi, there's like on-the-spot dictionary. Um, oh, okay. And last night, I don't know what it was, but I, the, the section that I was reading last night... Just had a bunch of words I didn't know. Like I just, they're not, they weren't familiar, like everyday common words, and so mm -hmm. I didn't know the meanings of them. So you know, it was it was kind of nice. So I just like highlighted the word and then like the definition was there. So I was like, oh yeah, I actually learned stuff. I learned stuff Damn. last night. Damn. Yeah. How do you do, buckaroos? I learned so much since uh, joining AJ, not just about art, but about how to work and how I can change my process. Yeah, dude, nice. Aww. I feel like I feel like, I feel like that applies to everybody, man. Like I, mm -hmm. I really feel like people are like leveling up big time. I think for me, like if we're gonna talk uh, like people who've leveled up, I actually think out of everyone, I feel like with Morbid is actually the one that I've noticed the most of. Yeah, Morbid's been big. <laughs> He's been big, yeah. Come on, man. Why are you taking a sexual? I don't know. Because that's, that's our community. Do I mind critiquing a sketch? Uh, you drop it on my Discord, my personal Discord. Or you can drop it on the Study Jam Discord. Uh, if you want me to personally critique it, just tag me on my own Discord. Uh, but if you do actually want to critique, just ask for it on either Study Jam or my personal. And I'll try to get to it later on tonight. Um, I definitely won't be looking at it immediately after stream because that's when I actually... I've been sitting here for like five, five and a half, six hours. I need to get away from my computer. <laughs> I get some food after my streams. I kind of relax a bit. But uh, yeah, if you guys ever want any critiques, feel free to ask in my Discord or Pam's Discord, or you can ask in Study Jam Discord too. You and just actually, have to really tag cool. us, otherwise, uh, yeah. most of the time we kind of let the community handle it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we actually, truth be told, we actually have a ton of really talented people yeah. here actually already. Like drawing along with us that also like they offer critique and stuff too so yeah it works man i do know after my streams though i fucking peace the fuck out i'm tired <laughs> i i'm just immediately like food give me food now yeah. <laughs> I 
Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Oh, don't don't DM me for critiques, man. Um, drop it on the uh, unless you're uncomfortable showing it on the uh, the public channels. Um, it's, it's a little bit hard to give like individual critique that way. I, I don't mind working with you though. I, I absolutely don't mind doing that for you. But I, I think the worst thing about D, uh, critique DMs is that there's no like mark as unread on Discord. So sometimes yeah. like if someone DMs me something like that and I don't have time to do the crit now. Like, I yep. have to table it, but then I forget about the DM because it's no longer, uh, it's no longer marked as unread in my, uh, in my queue. Well, um, that's the thing, too. As, as streamers, we DM mods and other streamers and stuff constantly, mm -hmm. like, for feedback and other stuff. So, yeah, like, it, it will get lost in the shuffle, honestly. So, it, it if, if, you have, if you have heard back from me from the DM, uh, and if you feel comfortable dropping in the public channel for the critique, please do that. Otherwise, I'll try my best to get to you, but no promises. But I, yeah, I mean, I really don't mind. If you guys tag me, I, I really don't mind. I don't, I don't pandas mind either. Mm -hmm. um, we're working with you guys to uh, for critiques. We actually offered um, critiques at one point. Um, we were actually asking if people wanted critiques as a, like a break session, too. But, uh, but no one took it. Yeah, no one actually <laughs> submitted for critiques. It was kind of funny the way that worked out because actually even since then we've had so many people say that you guys should do a cr critique day you guys should do a critique day but like the one time we actually offered it like literally no one signed up yeah uh, so i didn't know about. how i don't know if that's something we should offer again or if we just you know just leave it as it is come on salas we'll be saying that shit <laughs> anybody else see a bart simpson said nope <laughs> what? You you posted okay yeah, yeah if you don't mind putting it in the public channel that'd be cool man I'll try my best to get to it when I can and like I said too as long as you're open for other critiques and criticism other people typically will chime in if you've requested a critique too so. Dude, this time it's flying by. We got three and a half minutes to go. Fuck. Yeah. This is a fun one, though. Yeah, this one is really fun. Um, Teho, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Uh, even though this one actually is a fleshy background color, I feel like it actually is pretty legible with the um, the, the skin tones and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I think like... it's the lighting, because in this one he's more shadowed. Yeah. Right? This one didn't blend as much, I don't think. Yeah, the other one, it, it actually did blend a lot, and I'm sorry we guys didn't catch that initially. Yeah. We actually normally try to, but uh, <laughs> honestly, between all the, the, the TwitchCon prep and everything, um... I'm not surprised I kind of slipped a little bit. Well, I mean, it's kind of funny. Case in... Well, I was going to say, like, I'm kind of going back to the whole, like, DM thing. Uh, case in point, uh, I've been talking to one of the viewers right now about a potential commission. Mm -hmm. And they just DM me again today asking if I was still interested in doing it. But their DM got completely lost in my in the shuffle there. Yeah. It's yeah. Honestly... For the record, I'm... Oh, sorry. I was going to say... For the record, I'm very interested in doing that that commission. Just I, I probably need to wait till after uh, TwitchCon when I have more free time. But uh, yeah, it's 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 crazy. I really just want a mark as unread function on Discord. That would solve a lot of problems. Just Dude, wouldn't that be nice? It would be really nice. I think most people have it. I don't know why Discord doesn't have it. Yeah. And God damn it, Wednesday! Don't 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 encourage. <laughs> Don't encourage it. Oh, hello, Mia. Hello. Like, I knew it. I knew it, Silas. Feels bad, man. Right on, Ravage. That's awesome. Okay. Silas, bullshit. They just don't like you. They don't respond to you. That's so not true, though. That's really not true. What's up, Mia? Speaking of uh, critiques, Mia does really good critiques on her stream, I think. She does. 
You guys could be falling asleep to Mia. She does them every week too, actually, guys. So if you want something a little bit more immediate than our slow asses, yeah. Mia is a good place to hang out. Uh, but just do yourself a favor. Don't become a wife to her because she will betray you at every turn. Damn. Wow, after I flirted with you, I mean, you threatened to unwife me today, Mia. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit rebellious, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, I want to spread her wings. I've also Find turned the... Samarium into a side piece, just FYI. Slowly gonna steal her from you. Let's try to find new side pieces, new, uh, new, new wives. Hi, Clary. Well, if I was going to betray someone, it would be my wife, because I already put a ring. Wow, Clary! <laughs> wow, all right then. Um, Not wifing Clary anytime soon. <laughs> I already get enough betrayals between Mia and Sarah. Dude, 16 seconds, 15. Fuck. All right, time is up, guys. Go ahead and uh, post your feet. five seconds. What? Mine is gone. Oh, now mine's gone. <laughs> oh. Well then. I guess our timers weren't totally lined up. I guess not, right? Whoopsie. That's okay. Tis okay. Alright. Define betray. I don't know. Just think of everything that happens on, tw on in Sarah's channel on like a daily basis. <laughs> I have wings? I do. It's for the uh, feather prompt next week. <laughs> Sweet! I think mine's done. Uh, that's good oh, enough. yours looks good. Thanks. Yours is too. Thank you. What's up, Clary? How you doing? Pam has some wings. I go flies. So guys, go ahead and post your piece up on Discord. We're going to hammer through these. Again, if you want a critique, quickie critique, just go ahead and uh, with your post. Say, hey, critique my ass. And then post a picture of your butt. And we'll critique it. <laughs> ass critiques for the low, low price of $24.99 sub. God damn it, more. <laughs> Jesus um, I'm going to take a really, really quick bathroom break before we uh, crit uh, go over these. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. BRB, guys. BRB. Post your pieces, boys and girls. Critique my ass. Okay. I'm doing great. Uh, studies are going really well, Clary. I'm, I'm really enjoying the studies tonight. These have been uh, going pretty smooth, I think. How you doing? I loved your, your Inktober piece you posted. Uh, I think it was last night, Clary. It looked really, really good. And actually, Mia, dude, I've been loving your uh, Inktober. You've been doing, like, digital ink. It looks fucking good, Mia. Like, your ink work, Mia, is, like, is on point. Your digital inks look super, super good. Yeah, the sleepy one looked really good, Clary. You finished your cow? Nice. I'm new here, looking, looking interesting what's happening. Hey, Flying Game, what's up, man? I'll give you a quick quick uh, breakdown. So this is our weekly study series that we do uh, together with Pomada K, another streamer. Uh, so Samski just dropped a link for SJ or Commander called SJ in chat. If you want to join in, there's a there's a Cadgar link, the first link. You can watch both streams side by side. The second link is actually for the study Discord server. And uh, we do basically anatomy and body studies every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern and 4 p.m. Pacific. And it's all community-driven. Anyone's welcome. Any skill level is welcome. Uh, we post and share reference material that we all draw together with the community. And then we recap everyone's work once the timer's up. And we're about to basically recap what you see right here on stream. But it's pretty cool, man. It's been going since January. Uh, we've had almost a full year now. And we're, we're creeping up. We're on, we're on month number 10 right now of... Uh, this weekly series, which is pretty cool. If you're new here too, I'm also James or Jay Hansen Arts. I stream also Fridays and Saturdays. I'm a digital portrait painter. I do ink work and stuff too, but welcome, man. Hi, Pearson. How are you doing? Okay, I am Biak. Ooh. We're like 25 Good. follows away from 6K. Holy shit, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> Guitars has got a special surprise for you. Uh oh. It sucks though, or stuck so. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, 
Alpha says, makes me want to delve into the world of digital. Yeah, really? You should definitely try it out, man. Marvin. Definitely try it out. I just saw Marvin's study. I know. I saw it too. All right. So we're going to go ahead and show this off. Um, Automation, Jason, what's up? Oh, Thanks for oh following. My... How you doing? I think our mods have cracked. Yeah, guys, are you, gonna, you okay over there? Oh, well, uh, did you look at the first two? Not yet. Are, are you ready to pull uh, it up yep. on stream? God, guys, mods. Do you need to ban our mods? I'm doing really well, well tonight, Jason. We're just about to recap oh, everyone's work from the community here. Um, Ravage, <laughs> thank you so much for that follow. Uh, no problem, Clary. Have a really good lurk. And hi, Jason. How are you? All right. Um. You ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Jesus Christ, Beastie. So, long neck style. Okay, Beastie, I feel like you, you didn't really capture the spirit of the study. Uh, Dear Lord, man, <laughs> what are you doing? I think our mods have cracked. Too, too, many, uh, too many anatomy jabs, too many study streams. Dear Lord. Uh, well, um, we're not, you didn't ask for critique. That's okay. I do think the neck is a little bit long for this piece, okay? I think the neck is a little bit exaggerated. I think you may want to address that if you go ahead and finish this piece up. Um, the body proportions look actually pretty damn good, though, man. Yeah, they, they, they really do. They really do. Um, I, I actually I think if you had actually drawn a, a, a proper human head, and it would have fit quite well with the body proportions that uh, you have going on here. Um, I am I, going to critique your cutout of the palico, uh <laughs> face i feel like you have too much negative space showing please do better next time <laughs> i do think actually we're not really gonna critique this really hard but i think the back leg is too short too i think you gotta make that a little bit lower maybe oh, yeah. uh maybe the from the knee down to the ankle a bit longer because it feels mm -hmm. a bit short or actually maybe the uh not not even that it might be the actual thigh that's too short in relation um but yeah that back leg feels a bit bit short in comparison but uh good, good work beastie <laughs> motherfucker beastie got salty <laughs> I mean, Next up. freaking A, Morba, you're drawing fucking Kirby here. <laughs> like, Could we get a tag on Sarah Jean on this one? Maybe go post it in her Discord. In the oh, God. Section. Uh, I, uh, okay, by the way, guys, if you did not know, LA actually genuinely loves Kirby. So you should send all of your Kirby drawings to him, too. Yeah. Um, Great job. I good. think you really captured the spirit of this reference. Moving on. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> oh my god, Vital. Oh god. Next up, we have Vital with kibbles and bits. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. This is, this is, this is really oh good, though, Vital. Um, um, our stream is slowly cracking. Yeah, I think we... I think, did we break people tonight? Was, was the last reference too hard? Did you guys just, like, crack? Did the third reference break you guys? Holy fuck, um, man. Vital, this is a really fucking strong study, though. Like, I, I, I love seeing your guidelines on this, the hash lines. Um, I, I actually very much appreciate that you, you made the kibbles and bits, like, 3D so that the, the foot is, like, actually laying on top of the kibbles and bits box. Right. Like, that's... It's like, that's wow, that, 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 that's, that's a real box of dog food that right That is, there. it is. It is a real box of dog food. Oh, uh, yeah, this looks really nice, though. Uh, I, I've been we've been complimenting your sort of sketch style all night, man. But yeah, mm -hmm. I, I like your uh, your looseness of the sketch. I like the kind of just very like loose, um, like like cross hatching and stuff you're putting in there too. Like you mm -hmm. don't really overemphasize the shadows at all, uh, but it really works, man. It's 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 a really strong study. Yeah, it's nice. It's really really nice. Uh, then we got, we oh, got uh, wayward for a crit. Hey, this looks really good. Is that the, the the Bowser crown? The Bowser crown? It might be. I don't know what's going on anymore in the stream. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, I, don't, I don't know either. Oh my uh, god. This looks, pretty, this looks pretty good though. Um, yeah. You kind of smoothed out the lines a bit. Like, it definitely feels a bit, bit more angular, I feel like, in the uh, reference. Although like the knee looks kind of sharp in the front there. Uh, this looks really good. I, I think the back forearm kind of got... You kind of lost the shape on that a little bit. Yeah, I think actually the the back forearm is probably like one of the only points that I would mention, and maybe the head. I think the head's a mm. tiny bit tall, small. Yeah, it looks it looks a little bit small. I, I, think. I feel like the head is a tiny bit small. Um, but I yeah. actually really love that booty shine that you put on uh, yeah. on him. That's a plus right there, man. A plus. 
But yeah, the, the back forearm though, that interior line of that forearm is like it's way too far in. Like mm-hmm. their actual negative space in that back arm is like next to nothing. I think you actually uh I think you found the shadow line and you kind of uh kind of kind of uh follow that shadow line in instead for the forearm, where the actual um forearm is much broader, wider shape right there. Mm-hmm. Um also I I definitely like the the background color you chose here versus the previous canvas. I think this is actually yes. complimenting a lot more. I think you made a really, really good choice on the uh, the background canvas because, I mean, look at it like you 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 basically only had to work on your shadow lines and mm-hmm. your your kind of subtle highlights. The canvas did the rest of the work for you here, right? For all the midtones. Yeah, this yeah. Is, proportions this is actually look, a really good study. Proportions look really, really good on this. I think. Um, if anything, maybe start playing up some more shadows. Like, if you have extra time, like start like playing up darker values, like the armpit, for example. You can probably work in even darker shadows and stuff there, but looks really good. We got uh, Ocean right there. I don't love it, so critique my ass. Also, I forgot the highlights in the back arm because we ran out of time. Hey, no worries, no worries. <laughs> uh, first of all, the potato down there is amazing. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, my God. It's um, kind of amazing. I, I love that you did your highlights with the same type of brush, though. Um, it, mm. it actually makes it fit uh, really, really well. Um, yeah. yeah that, that actually looks really, really good, Ocean. Um, I, I think the next... Your proportions actually look really good. Um, the hashing line and the way you're doing the shadows looks good. I think the next step where you need to do is you need to start doing more overlapping lines. Um, yeah. Like, you're, you're starting to do it a little bit, like, with the butt cheek and, like, everything in the back and stuff like that. But, like, if you look at your legs, like, there's no overlapping lines for your knees into your calves. Or even, like, a slight line back here to indicate where the, the, um, the knee bends. Mm. Um and uh, right here too, where the uh, foot would kind of cross over to show the foreshortening of the uh, the ankle and the foot. Um, so you, you could definitely benefit from adding in some overlapping lines in those areas. Yeah, I think so too. That's a really good point. Yeah, other than that though, I think you did a really good job on this one mm-hmm. too, Ocean. Yeah, the, your line your line work is really like working quite well here. Yeah. For lack of better like a better term, <laughs> line work is working. Your line work is working. Is yeah, it work, it's, it's work, definitely work, work, work? It's, it's it's pretty sharp though, Ocean. Pam, come on. <laughs> what? Our stream is cracking. Can I not crack as well? Listen, we gotta stay composed here, okay? I'm stay composed. Totally composed. Stay composed with me, Pam. I'm Fuck's composed. Sake. You're not composed. <laughs> All right, guitar. I don't know what I'm doing to be honest, but I'm trying and starting for the lack of spice. Spice in advance? You need to be more a little more spicy, like like a nice crushed red pepper, <laughs> like maybe like a jalapeno. Wow. Wow, James. Wow. You wrote v. spice. What do you want from me? Hello, V. I love you too. And also, OK Water Bottle. Thank you so much for that follow. <laughs> it's a good name. I know, right? It's a really good name. Um, Did Guitar so, ask for a crit? No, OK. You didn't ask for a crit, but I think this looks pretty good, man. I think so too, Guitar. This this for, looks really good. For, for your first one jumping in, I think you got a pretty good understanding mm-hmm. of the negative space like between the arms, the torso, between the two legs. Like It actually it reads really, really well, man. This this like you don't know what you're doing either so just yeah. give yourself more credit please um i actually think yeah. that you nailed most of the proportions pretty well too yeah like th- this study here like that's a really good start for a 30 minute sort of mm-hmm. study here i think you just need to put some actual values and texture into it you're gonna mm-hmm. be you're gonna be pretty good shape on this one wednesday God damn it. <gasps> can we get God a timeout on wednesday just wait for wednesday to talk and chat doesn't yeah. matter which chat just time them out Yo, guitar, you definitely can draw. You don't need to convince any, anybody, man. I was like, this is pretty good. Seriously, you just need, honestly, you just, this just needs a little more time. That's all. Get some value in there. We need money. Damn, Sam went ahead and <laughs> did it. Uh, Sam, but... wrong chat, wrong chat. There you go. <laughs> there we go. This looks really good, though, man. It does. I actually like these scribble lines to for the shadowing area. It's, yeah. It's kind of cool. It's actually nice seeing... Uh, it's a different approach, right? Mm-hmm. From usual renders. Uh it feels really good, man. This is this is this is a nice sketch, I think. It's, yeah, it's a very Portions nice sketch. Really well yeah. Very good yeah. Wednesday. No meh. No mess. No meh. We got mine right there. Nice. I like yours. Yeah, I, I kind of played up some of the proportions. I made the mm-hmm. lower foot too big, but I, I like <laughs> the I was actually gonna say compliment on that one. Um yeah. But no, it's yeah, I really there. like these lines that you're doing. Yeah. I actually also noticed that lately your lines have been getting slightly thinner too. 
Um, which is kind of yeah, nice for these uh, hashing things that you're doing. I'm actually doing that on purpose. I'm trying to get better line work. Okay. I think yeah, I, 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 used like to, I used to. Go, I used to go too thick, you know. Mm. Trying to get a little. <laughs> you did have some pretty fat lines before. I, I think they did work with your style, but um, in terms of like doing these like sort of sketchings and stuff, I actually like this quite a bit. Well, thank you. Yeah, I think I think it's working better now. Uh, we got Cloud dropping another piece. Yo, Cloud, this one looks really good too. Very nice, Cloud. I, I like the addition of like including the rib cage and the the wrinkles into the stomach. That looks really yeah. good. Yeah, I think this is definitely a more successful study than your mm -hmm. first one too. Like, I think you got a better. Your proportions look much better. Yeah, I think you kind of handle the proportions better on this one than, mm -hmm. than your previous one. This looks good though, man. Really nice, Cloud. That's Junk nice. fresh. I'm getting sleepy. Yo, you made this guy look thick. Load, load, goddamn it. Um, um, again, we're not really gonna critique these because you didn't really ask for a critique. Um, I think the reason why like the the kind of the thick kind of feel is on this piece is because I think the back leg is too short. Hmm. You, you kind of bulked up that, like, back thigh. The back thigh looks a bit thicker. Like, you can actually kind of play up, like, that butt shape. If you look at the reference, the butt is actually... It actually curves back in before it gets to the actual hamstring or the back of that thigh. Mm -hmm. like, you, you have, like, a nice kind of thick, round shape coming down, which makes it look more muscular or more full-figured. So if you kind of, like, brought that butt down and then kind of started the thigh more vertical instead of curved here... It'd probably get that more, like, elongated kind of feel to it, but it looks really good, man. Yeah. I mean, Jump Force, your, your studies are always, like, really nice. Banana, I like thick. <laughs> Hashtag thick. Uh, Algernon Algernon says, ignore the chair. I think I like being sketchy in ink a bit more than graphite. Graphite makes me want to render, and ink won't let me do it because I'm still trying to figure it out. Crit, please. Crit, please. I okay. Think, I think also uh, the ink allows you to finish a little bit quicker. Um, mm. Algernon, because I know with the graphite you were only able to get like maybe 25 to 50 percent of the rendering done because I mean graphite's pretty pretty detailed um, mm -hmm. when you want to be. I actually like the ink because I think you're able to do more complete studies. Yeah, I think so too. So for um, these 30 minute ones, I would highly suggest sticking with the ink. Yeah, the, the ink, I think the ink works really well for you, man. Mm -hmm. uh, my initial impression here is that you, I think the um, the back leg looks fine. I think you made the uh, the front leg too uh, short. Like the knee should be further out left because there should be more of an angle. Right now, your your raised up leg is almost perpendicular, like mm -hmm. the thigh, and then straight down. Whereas in the reference, the, he's actually leaning forward more, so the knee is actually forward beyond past where the ankle is. Like right now, your knee is above the ankle on that front leg, mm, where the yeah. knee should be forward. Yeah. And so as a result, if you made that knee forward more, you would by default have to also elongate the torso. The torso is too short. Yes. So it's, it's those two things kind of working in tandem that are kind of holding you back on this mm -hmm. one. So, yeah, I think if you kind of got that torso longer, it would force you to have the knee further out and you have that, that properly long body. Because right now what it looks like is that the back leg is too long for the torso and the other leg mm -hmm. that you have on here. Yeah, but, that's yeah. actually the, the, the thing that I would have commented on is like the torso is, is definitely too short and it... Uh, it, it's it's sort of like what we were talking about how like if you're off in one thing sometimes it can change your entire piece yeah um, and so I think if you just bring out the leg further and make it the, that front mm -hmm. leg longer uh, in particular the thigh like James was saying like it would change the torso 100% yeah it's it's pretty close though it's like a minor mm -hmm. tweak you'd have to make and again I think the ink is working really well for you man like I, I think, I, I so think too. the, the two tone gray with a black and using your paper highlight is working super super well um, actually, you're not you're not using you're actually you're actually using a Copic I think or marker for the highlights. Yeah, too. it looks it looks like a marker. Yeah. Um, one thing um, I guess since you're trying to figure out inks out or not, um, I would pull back a little bit on your black areas. Um, you can always so the the thing about black is like once once you make it really solid, you, there's no like pulling back on it really. Like you can go in with a white pencil, but that only really works if your pencil is like really white. Um, but I, I would start off a little bit lighter first, like, for example, because um, you can actually make different values with ink. Um, even though it's mm -hmm. just a solid black color, you can you can make different values with ink. So, for example, um, if the the uh, the forearm into the hand where that's resting on his chin, like you could have done that as a much darker shade of uh, black with like less space in between the hash lines for the ink, whereas the um, the shoulder you could have spaced out the hash lines um so that it would yeah. be like a lighter shade of black 
Does that make sense? Yeah. I hope I'm explaining that well. <laughs> no, no, I, I think you are. Like, you can definitely layer marker. Like, black in particular, like, black in its, in its, like, black tones are very limited in terms of, um, uh, like, what's actually in the human body, right? Like, you're not going to see pure black unless it's, like, a crevice, like, lines overlapping, nostrils, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing is, like, because you're doing a, a marker render, the marker really should be doing the majority of your render. I feel like if you weren't using marker as, like, your uh, mid-tone and, like, in, in addition to your shadows and you did more, like, paper value, then, yeah, you'd want to do more line work to kind of make up, make up and kind of create the value. But the marker is really doing a good job, which you can then, like, 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 like Pam said, you can kind of layer a marker to create deeper values, too. Um, so you probably want to use the black a bit more sparingly, I think. That'd be a good way to do it. <laughs> marker Mark says, stop saying my name. <laughs> What's sneaking over? Um, Aldrina says, oh, no, I get what you mean. I was definitely seeing that. Uh, once yeah. the darkness got in there, and there's no way going, no going back. Yeah, there's there's no issue. Like especially when you're learning yeah. Algernon, start off light with your hash lines or your your uh, like putting in your dark values because you can always make it darker. Yeah. Um, but you can't make it lighter. <laughs> the other really cool thing though too, dude, is get some like white gel pens or mark white marker mm, pens. Yes. I I use the fuck out of those in my ink pieces. I I love layering like white ink because it actually works with the uh, the ink and markers you're putting down to like. Uh, it, it kind of creates like these nice like mid-tones and mm -hmm. stuff too. You can get some cool results. So it might be something to play around with, I think. Also a really good way to learn, um, especially since we're in, in Inktober and stuff like that, um, get tone paper. Like you're not going to really be able to make good prints and stuff out of it, but if you're just learning and practicing, get tone paper. The tone paper will act as your mid-tone. And so all mm -hmm. you have to do is concentrate on your black lines and your white lines. And that yep. will help you develop more of an ink style. And then you can start adding in like marker tones and stuff when you need to. We got a uh, Pamada case. This looks really good, Pam. I actually, I like how you kind of exaggerate the angles and stuff on this one too. Thank you. This actually may be my favorite one you did tonight. I think this is probably my favorite one too. I think this is like, in a way, the easiest one for me. Like the first few ones were kind of just like warm ups, and it was like, you know, whatever. But this one was actually like I I, I hit a good groove, I guess. Yeah, I and think I, so too. I think that shows through probably too. Yeah. I'm liking your line work on it too. Like I think you're kind of developing like a nice, like sort of a nice parallel line style to it. Thanks. It's working really well. Thank you. Yeah, we, we don't dwell on ours. Let's keep pushing on. We got Ooh. Lulu critique. Any feedback is great. Sorry about the last nip slip mods. Oh, <laughs> is that what happened? We we had a, we had a Lulu nip, Lulu. nip slip. We had there. nip slips. Oh. <laughs> Lulu, this looks good though. Um... I think so too. Yeah, your proportions for your actually your proportions for your torso to the arm looks really nice. Um, I do feel like your legs are a touch thin. Um, in particular, yeah, I, I, I uh, especially because your feet seem too small. Yeah. Yeah, my my eyes immediately go to the feet. The feet mm -hmm. look definitely uh, a bit small. Like the the front foot definitely should be uh, probably much longer. Like the toes actually should be going out past the knee. Mm -hmm. And the heels should be kind of be coming back more. It's, so it's some slight like proportion tweaks. I think that the front section from the knee to the ankle should be angled back more. Mm -hmm. And as a result, you and then you would have gotten like the uh, the the more space there, the more real estate would have been available to then actually render the foot longer and larger, like it should have been. This is um, actually a, a kind of a good point to learn in in terms of proportions and references too. And this is granted, this is definitely not like a, a hard, uh, steadfast rule because. You know the human body has tons of variations but in general if someone is as tall as this dude is um which he's i mean he's easily got to be at least six feet um their feet are going to be longer um and their yeah. feet in general are going to be bigger because they have to support all of that weight you know whereas someone who's more petite is going to have smaller feet too but I think otherwise, I think, honestly, I think from the uh, the waist up is really successful. Like, I think mm -hmm. you got the arms, the torso down really well. The head size and shape is really well done. Like, I, I really think the, um, some some slight tweaks to the lower body would really make this piece, like, just a fucking winner. Um, it's, it's already really good. I think from the waist up, though, like, you really nailed the upper body and the arms and the head mm -hmm. shape. That's really good. Actually, I love the little sketch you did in the background, too. Yeah, with the, the shaping out the the um, the stick man lines, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it worked though, Lulu. Uh, young, uh, young, blood. 
Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We got Marker Mark. Dude, nice. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I like so, the little additional hat thing that you added on. That's cool. Well, we, we kind of we usually mention this at least like once a stream, but this is again is a really good example of taking a reference and making your own thing, right? Mm -hmm. So, marker Mark basically, basically took a um kind of a very static kind of uh, it's kind of a very traditional pose, right? The thinking man pose. Yeah. But he, he made it into his own like little like OC character right here, right? Original character. Yeah, it looks really good too. It actually like yeah. works well with like the everything that's going on. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I like it a lot, man. I think you uh, you pulled it off really, really well. Um, we won't really critique it because you didn't really ask for one. Uh, I think someone, like, maybe the thigh thickness could be kind of bumped up a touch. Mm -hmm. It's looking a little, little bit thin. And I do think the uh, the back thigh on the on the left sketch, you kind of have like, this kind of outward arcing shape going up towards the pelvis, where it should be a little bit more of like a rounder shape in the opposite direction. Because usually your quadriceps are your biggest muscle in your body. It's going to be a longer kind of uh, curving outward shape going down towards the knee. But oh, uh, yeah. it looks really, good. looks really good, man. Yeah. Oh, punto! <laughs> wow, punto! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man! Um, sure, that works. That works, punto. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good solid base, right there. Uh, good, <laughs> good torso, good torso and arm proportions. Very nice. Um, yeah. The 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 ghetto plaster. Oh, wait, the the boombox is really nice, man. I know. It's it's actually kind of amazing. <laughs> oh. uh, wow. Tina is next. I am drawing in the dark because I'm too lazy. Oh my god, Tina, do not draw in the dark. It's so bad for your eyes. <laughs> Please don't do that. By the way, Banana says I can hear the boombox. <laughs> wow. um, okay, please. But you may critique my long boy. Alright, cool. <laughs> Tina, turn on the light. Um... This looks really good, Tina. Right? I was gonna yeah. say this was really, really Your good. Your proportions on this are really good. Um, I think the only area that I I would immediately comment on is um the feet are too small. Yeah. Um, and as a result, um, the ankle into the calf uh area seems a little bit too thin here too. Yeah. Um, yep. But in general, I think the feet are are where your issues are. Um, oh my God. What? Ocean, thank you for the biddies. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think just to kind of um, double up what Pam is saying here, I think the feet are definitely a touch too small. Um, the, the actual anatomy looks really good, though. Like, I, I think the actual thigh shapes going into the torso, the torso length is working really well. Mm -hmm. The negative space between like that that perpendicular thigh against like the, uh, the rib cage and stuff is pretty well rendered, too. Um, I think you just kind of you need to get that like the the raised um, the raised leg from the knee to the ankle need to be a bit longer and a little bit thicker. But you got to kind of pull that that cap or the ankle back further closer to the uh, the back knee, and like that would kind of help you kind of anchor this thing a bit more. Um, I think you did a really good job though, kind of getting the upper body and those arms actually mm -hmm. sketched in right there, and the head shape and proportions are really spot on too, Tina. <laughs> Yeah, no, honestly, I think it's a pretty good start. I think I think people had trouble with the legs in general on this one. His legs were unusually long. They really yeah, were. They're, like he they were was... like unusual. Yeah, they're like long and really like awkwardly thin. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, reference. that's that's why we're doing this body type, right? Because this uh, normally someone who is that tall and slim, they're, they're gonna be kind of awkward in their proportions. So yeah, it's kind of I a agree good thing. That. Akil, oh my gosh. Time right now. Deep. Uh, it's just for viewer serious about the butt review, so I didn't post it. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't do not post your butt. <laughs> uh, if you do want to get a butt review, though, send all your butt pictures to um, Tihi the Epic Beast. Could be doing a uh, personal reviews and DM. <laughs> wow. Um, yo, Akil, this looks fucking nice, though, man. Holy shit. Seriously. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is... I, I kind of want to see you finish this. I know you ran out of time, but I actually... I'm really enjoying your uh, lines on this for the ink. So it'd be yeah. really nice to see it. Um, uh, did you ask for a crit? I don't think you asked for a crit. Okay. No. Um, you didn't ask for a crit, but I'm just going to give you a small one anyway, since you haven't gotten to that part of the ink. Um, this back leg, I think you ran out of paper. Uh, yeah. But it looks like it's a little bit short. Um... At least that's what I'm seeing from the sketch. I'm not 100 percent sure because it's a little bit faint, but yeah, I, I think you you may have gotten the uh, the top thigh a bit long. So in order to kind of compensate for that, 
because you've already inked that portion in. Mm -hmm. uh, you may want to make the back leg longer, like Pam is saying, but then also like emphasize like that butt shape, like bring that thigh in canvas left a bit more. Like you make his ass look bigger, basically. But, like but not so not so rigidly straight down from that butt line, like how you've kind of sketched it in. Because if you bring it in further in canvas left, you're gonna kind of reduce the space, the negative space between that that front calf to where that front of the thigh is gonna be. Okay. Because um, right now, yeah. right now it's looking a, a little bit wide in that sense. But I think you can you can compensate for that. Like maybe actually start your uh, your front of your thigh, like run a line like down from where the abdomen is and go straight down like right here, and just play up the size of the butt. But that would actually make that kind of work better, I think, proportionally. But dude, your your rendering is looking fucking nice. I know, like your it's really your line cool work looking. looks really good, dude. I but yeah, dude. A big butt. <laughs> big. That's our last one. Yay! Thank you guys oh. so much. Holy shnikes. Holy crap. Holy um, crap. Slim Dead, I have not listened to the album yet, so I have no idea. I'm so sorry. I haven't heard it yet either. Mm -mm. Yeah, you guys did a really freaking bang up job. Thank you guys so much for participating today. Seriously. Seriously. You guys are amazing. You guys can't leave yet, though. No, do not leave. Do not go anywhere. We need, we need to drop a fucking fat host of a raid on somebody. Yes. Uh, so we're, we're gonna raid somebody hard right now. Tina says, since joining study jam, my butt drawing has increased tenfold. Good. Good. Um, um, by the way, just disconnect real, dis disconnect, reconnect really quickly. I, just I know, I'm sorry, man. Okay. There? Okay. There you go. So, we need to raid somebody hard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If mods could drop all the social media stuff up in chat, well, Pam and I figure out maybe a, a raid bomb for somebody here. Follow yeah. all of our stuff, guys. Also, BitGoat, thank you so much for the follow. Bye, my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Come on, man. Oh. Appreciate it. Just for being you, it's not a lot, but it's all I What's can bestow upon you since I am broken. Ocean, thank you so much for the bits. That's really sweet. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Um, uh, I think oh, oops, I typed in the wrong one, though. Uh, those are both pretty good choices right there. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just double checking if I don't want to miss anybody. Okay. Uh, what's up? What the fuck? Hello, how are you? I'm down with that one for sure. Oh, cool that one? Yeah. Uh, let me just double. Ch Did you already check in with that one? I'm I'm going to over to right now. Take okay. a look. Uh, Evan There's no way to really know, but I, I think we're good for okay. that one. Evan Blue, thank you so much for the follow. All right, guys. Um, that is pretty much it for this session of uh, Body Jam. Next week we will be doing a master study. So all of those people who are itching to like render. Uh, yes. Next week is the time to do it. We actually have four really good references, so we're we're gonna do two, maybe three, more than likely maybe. two, and then we'll have extra credit for you guys to work on. Okay? Yeah, like we we have like at least four really awesome ones picked mm -hmm. out. So uh, guys, yeah, if you are brand new, please hit the follow button um, on both streams. Pam and I stream three days a week each. Pam actually throws in some secret streams at midnight as well. <laughs> um. I'll be back on Friday and Saturday for my usual streams. Pam will be back on Thursday and Sunday. Also, we do uh, Movie Mondays every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. So please join our individual Discord. discords. Uh, our individual discords, we do announcements for those, for invites. We start 15 minutes early. We've been watching a movie followed by Breaking Bad. We're on season three of Breaking Bad. That's been fucking fun. I, I love those. Um, yeah, follow all the things. Instagram, Twitters, Twatters, Discords, and uh, Anatomy Jam. Study Jam, we will be back next Wednesday. Oh no, Adam! Thank you for the raid, man. We're actually dropping oh, a raid no. somewhere else. <laughs> Adam, so sorry, man. Hang um, yeah, out, guys. <laughs> come raid with us. We're actually gonna check out another streamer. This guy is awesome. He's a mainstay in the Twitch art creative community. He does Please amazing fucking work. Painting is fucking superb. Yes, like this guy yeah. will blow you away. So please show this man some love. Go raid hard. Uh, we'll be over there too. I know we're gonna grab some food though. I think yes. um, I'm starving. And then for everyone who is new to my too. channel, I will actually be back on tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard yep. Time. We will be going over all the Inktober prompts, so make sure you guys have those submitted into the Ink channel by the time we start stream. And uh, yeah, let us That's it. go. Right Love you guys. Bye. Have a good night, guys.